Talk show host. That's basically the same shit. We already had a $10 soup chat. Scott Robinson. Just in the waiting room. It's happening, everyone. He said, thank you guys so much. Keep thank up the you great work. so much. How about thank that, dude? Thank you. Welcome no, back. Thank you. No, thank you. No good job. No, fuck you. What? What? Okay. Welcome back with the Bourbon Junkies tonight. What are the Tuesday. odds Dan cheats? I don't yeah, know. Probably. No, he we probably. We can't cheat. We didn't make the game. Already looked at all the questions. No, we didn't make Googled the game. them. Okay. Don't look at my hand. Okay. Dude, hey, guess what? Alpha Squad Bravo's in the chat, and they put a new video out today. This is a little short, sweet one. Okay, so. I do subscribe. I haven't watched that yet. Oh, bad friend. Don't have the bad All one. right. So tonight's live stream sponsored by Bradley Rubin, as you can see on the screen right now. Um, So we are. <laughs> listen. And uh, their new saying, if you don't have a stash like the porn stars from the 70s, and what the hell are you doing with your life? That's their new model, I, I heard. I thought you were going to rhyme something, like I, you I, can kiss my ass or oh, something. Like, no, shit, stashing, man. I would have... Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. welcome to Eminem, bro. No, no, no. Yeah, but I'm not rapping. Thing. He doesn't oh. rap and talk. That's the difference. Here's the thing. We could have said Ash because of cigars, and it would have worked. It's like a triple entendre. Nailed it. Oh! Is that your phone already going off? I'm. Tell me that was mine. That's probably my TikTok fame kicking in. Let me check it. All right. Yep, then. mine's muted. So, so yeah, bro. Mine. Mine's off. It's uh, dead. Okay. How about that S21? Dumb. Ultra. Fucking stupid. Every Samsung Ultra. phone? Ultra. Fucking garbage. So, Ultra. Um, here's what we're going to do. Tonight, we have a game. <sighs> right? In that game. Well, first, we got we have things to do tonight. I just I haven't carried the bench made in a while. I ca- that's almost the only knife I carry. Almost. Almost. Just about. Love the Bradley Rubin. Bourbon Tech, what's up? You du- give me a shout out. Dustin Blue made that logo. The Bradley. The Bradley Rubin mustache. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to kick it off by reading patrons <laughs> since we haven't in two or three weeks. We haven't, yeah. Stanley Wagner Jr. Sorry I missed last week, but I'm back to crush your dreams, Rain Dan. Hashtag Team Sean. Impossible. Hashtag team Not Dan. You can't. you can't. Only dance. Yeah. Listen. Listen, I, I heard Ooh. you talking shit, actually. Let's have Three this. Three degrees in Minnesota. Fuck smoking that. an Alec Bradley. Outside? No, I would. he said he's in his garage. Oh, thank God. I thought you were going to die soon. It was uh, Jason Anderson. Smoking AB Project 40. My garage. Hey, yeah, you know Three what, degrees. You know what I'd like to try is the... um, I'd like to try the Project 40 Maduro's. Yeah. Very much so. If only we knew a guy. So. Only. Okay. So. Oh, jeez. A lot of breath from drinking water. Yeah, I still carry that uh, uh, Kaiser the Sheepdog Mini all the time. I love that knife. This is a game called Hide the Pickle, Joshua Kohler. Depends on how much we drink. So. And that's usually we on OnlyFans. We don't actually know the... Zachary Jones, I love you. you know uh, thick I is all right. I love you. Like fat. Listen. Fat. I don't... Bro, I'm so... I just can't, I can't even fucking care right now, and I don't know why. There's something in my body. I think it's sleep deprivation. That's really giving me a hard time motivation wise. Someone commented on our uh, Blaine Bow video. Yeah. You shot that at night. Yeah. They were like, You guys need to Get sleep. Yeah. You're like, You're tired. I, I was like, Yeah, that's what happens when we shoot at night. I haven't figured out how to sleep yet. I, Lutz. What's up, Michigan boys? Dan, package is delayed, but you will have in hand for next Tuesday. Thank Hashtag you, Team buddy. Dan. I'm excited to get it. So, wait update. He went up. Even though Drink Dan gave you shit, sober Dan Lutz. Oh, okay. He mistyped. Drunk he Dan. Mi- and then he retracted. <laughs> Drunk Dan gave you shit. Th- dude, Dan, Sober Dan might be Drunk Dan again already. I like it. Listen. The I, Yosh I love is sober, in here. I love Sober Dan and Drunk Dan. Right. I love them alike. They both got those traps. You can get I'll it give alike. them both back rubs. You know what I mean? I'm about to hang. I'm about to just hang a picture of Dan like up everywhere I look often. Fridges, uh, pantries, right? Places where their food lives. I'm just going to put pictures of Dan like up, and then it'll make me lose weight because I'll feel like shit. <laughs> <sighs> Nick Bernhardt. Class of Eagle 17. Oh Cheers to you guys. Gosh, good you one. fancy motherfucker. Nice Cheers. Aiden Craig made a clay statue today. Guess you could say I'm high-functioning artistic. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Oh, oh shit. Listen, you're funny as shit. I told Ricky what you said about her sister. She laughed. So, uh, what did you say? When he was like, hey, is uh, April single? Oh, yeah. When she was in chat. <laughs> and then he's like, ah, just by the way, I meant that to be creepy or sound creepy. <laughs> yeah. So, Okay. Uh, David, thanks for asking. Like, she's doing great, man. She's uh, she's like walking and shit. She talks right all away the from time. Dan. She 
made a face at me last night that I literally almost called an exorcist in for. She looked at me and gave me the stankiest stank I've ever seen. And I looked back at her like, what the fuck? And then she just went and then turned around and kept eating her food because I, I told her, hey, don't do that. And she looked at me like, bitch. I make the rules. Yeah, 100%. She's doing great, man. What she do we think of Pendleton? Uh, what is it? Pendleton. How do you spell it? Like that. Oh, that's the Canadian whiskey. I had a bottle of that a long time ago before we started the channel mm -hmm. because somebody told me that Pendleton was really good Canadian whiskey. It was fine. Now, uh, they make like a higher end one. That Those both weren't me, okay? Oh, I messaged you on here. That's why. That's no, that's up. James. I know. James is literally messaging you. James, you shut your fucking mouth right now. Fucking interrupting us. James, shut your... You don't even have the code to the door. Okay, okay, so anyway. I just closed your email. Fix that problem. Uh, I muted my phone. Okay, I I'm need... from Russia. Move the Russia. I drink the vodka. Is that Russian? <laughs> it's retarded. I fucking nail it. I feel like I kind of got into it. I felt like it I sounds went like there. you get hit in the head with I a hammer, like lived, and that's just how a, you talk now. I feel like I lived in a communist country for a minute. Scroll up a little bit. Uh, scroll it. Scroll it. So hey, interestingly enough, remember? Did I tell everybody on here that I told James and Ricky to sleep together in college, or was that my Twitch stream? Probably your Twitch stream. You know, that one gets a little more, uh, let, I don't even know what the right word is, because it's not like we're real good at staying on topic here. That one gets more secret gets time. All I right, think. Pete Keeley, good evening, gents. Pete and Luke Keeley had a great trip to Kentucky and Ohio doing a Weller Foolproof and Bardstown Disco. Three tasting spoils the Hell trip. Hell yeah. That's so good. I didn't think anyone could even find Weller Foolproof. I didn't either, but Discovery 3 is amazing. So. Solid. Don Thompson, good evening, BJ. Is a locus so forward. Chat, to Tuesday nights. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Okay. I need to scroll up because uh, Destination Schmerman said oh. something. I knew. Fucking knew it. I said this when I streamed yesterday. Got him. Okay, scroll up. I wasn't going to do it, but he said something. So, <laughs> what do you want? No, uh, Klein said something. What's Klein He want? tagged us in it. Big board meeting all day tomorrow. I'll check now early, but we'll catch the re... Is it nine? How? I mean, how early is early, right? What are we doing at nine? You're not laying down to go to sleep. Hashtag I know it, spicy, you liar. Spicy Dan. I like that. Keith... <laughs> McWeld. I'm going to go with it. It's Casey Weld, but <laughs> I don't know where I got McWeld from. Uh, shout out to Bay City. I sunny in 70. And that can't be right. Uh, nah. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> thanks for everything, guys. Okay. I was like, wait Hold a second. I got stuck on your first name while Sean was explaining the last name. Keith? Yeah, but you said Casey, and I didn't even look Casey at Casey Weld. Name, so I yeah. just saw <laughs> Keith, and I'm like, how the fuck did you do that? It's the worst shit I've ever seen in my life. Oh... Uh, <laughs> One, two, three, four. Don't give it away. All right, Alex. Now we got to change it to two, three, four, See, five. Dan Vershawn, bro, your cheating advent ways is done. <laughs> if you don't think I have the time, money to spam Team Sean for three to four hours, kick rocks. <laughs> oh, you're putting that you don't have the, like, if you don't think I have uh, the time and the money in there, it's fantastic. Ken Martin enjoying our new cigar room. That's Awesome. I'm very jealous. With a Mictor's Toasted Rye out of my Bourbon Junkie Glen that surprised me in the oh, mail yeah. today. Thanks, guys. I'm hoping a lot of people that the yeah, Decembers people and Januaries are getting all their stuff mm -hmm. right now, and everything should be good. I've got a um, lot of messages of people that are getting their stuff. So. Yeah, and then we talked to Ben to set aside some stock for future stuff, so hopefully we'll do some... Oh my gosh, coffee. Uh, stuff in the future. Hopefully maybe February-ish is what I've been kind of telling people. Not really knowing if that's true or not. Ryan Butler... Good evening, guys. Oh, no. Fun of KO, raw batch four, bourbon batch ten, and <laughs> it sounds like you've been drinking all of them, looking at that sentence, <laughs> and two Jack Daniel Bear Strength Rides the other Holy day. Holy shit, did you, you buy, wait, did you find those or buy those? That's a lot of money yeah. in whiskey, but um, I don't know if the owl batch ten is good, but the rest of the things you just named are really good, so hit the thumbs up, truth. 666 in chat. Been watching that evil show, so that sounds about right. This place is Levi fucking Hall, got my Glenn and Flash today. Thanks, guys. Glad everyone's getting that stuff. We got a demon ben, infestation hey, over that's here. That's got to be Alcorn. Oh, my god! Bottle flips. My back is sore, and I have not barely moved, so that's interesting. <laughs> got my Glenn, too. Currently sitting with it. Hey, old man, Joe. I'm glad you got it, dude. Hey, old man Dan just came out. Oh, no, what's up? Oh, Chris I am sore. Sprug you. Okay, so I'm going to read patron names, then we have a little video to play, and then we're going to open these things, and then we're going to taste these samples, and then we're going to get into the game. Fucking. You ready? I was so close. Yeah. What is it called when agenda? That was, you know, close. Freedom said, new fan, love the show. Listen, the fact that you is freedom, I'm in. Thank oh. you for being here. Okay, 
Um, oh my gosh, wait, hold on. I have to tell James everybody. Taylor said, so you really moved? <laughs> okay. Okay. Listen to Robert Orozco. Got my Glenn Flash guest today. Phil, Widow Jane Tenure. Oh, nice. I like Widow Jane Tenure. Um, we do need a Noxy Mo. What the hell? No, we don't. Fuck. Nox is a fucking douche. So listen. Excuse you? <laughs> What'd you fucking say to me? <laughs> Jacob Enriquez, take my mind off this. Thanks for <laughs> merch. What is happening to the Father Time, or have I just missed him? Uh, he's got some stuff going on. Yep. Um, I actually talked to him today. I texted him last night. He texted me back today. He said that he's working on trying to put content together so that he can have a video a week out for a little I while. I can't believe no one's made this comment yet. Dan's back is still from carrying Sean for so That's long. That's a... F- okay, first off, great comment. When you said it, I was like, I want to make a Warzone joke, yeah. but I'm really bad at it, so I probably should. <laughs> okay, Daniel Rose said, have we tried your sample? So yours is right there. We're going to get into it. That's Daniel Rose's. We're also going to drink these from Jacob, who just talked to us. Oh, it's painter's tape. These I was like, are, this is the worst electrical tape I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> these are Chattanooga's. Um, it's a free wrench. These are Chattanooga um, barrel picks, by the way. Oh, really? We've never tasted their barrel picks. We're screwed so, on them. From 1 to 113, 1 to 109. So right around the 111 yeah. then. And we like the 111, so I'm hoping that these are fantastic. How's the internet holding up? I don't know, man. Like, this requires drastically less than streaming. Dan's was shitting out the other day, so I had to send him the picture of mine being 100 up and 100 down. <laughs> so fucking annoying. I can stream 4K like it ain't fucking so thing. So annoying. So, um, I'm going to read Patreon things, then we're going to watch the video. That's the agenda. Do okay. You, right? Yep, sure. Okay. You ready? Are you, is everybody ready? That's the real question. Okay, I also want to preface this with, I kept, I've told Dan for three weeks now, you need to do this, and then somehow we always get off fucking topic, yeah. and you haven't done it. Yeah. I think the first week that, I mean, it's gone up every time. You're at 80 right now. So. 80, yeah. 82. Gig speed 80 life? Unread. Fuck. Okay. That's all. Oh, my gosh. Pay me. Or I'll pay you. Uh, scroll <laughs> up real quick. Somebody said, uh, I think Daniel Rose said, yeah, all the li- all the beers are almost gone. <laughs> I think we have like one or one, two beers two? left. One. How many have you had? Two. I've had two. James has had one. So there's one left. Okay. Okay. So. Um, just make an email like Sean's child size hat picture. You have a baby panther and Oxcoin. The dog is selling product too. Team Sean spilled whiskey. Okay. Thank you for super chat. <laughs> just take the Team Sean out. We, you know, we're good. I, I feel like it, he was Team Sean, but really wasn't I know, there. right? <laughs> like it kind of hurt my feelings, but we're okay. We're okay. We're still here. Uh, Alex said, first time caller, long time listener. Nice Bradley logo earlier. You I know, hope he didn't see it. You know, you know. All right. Okay. So <clears throat> patrons, new patrons. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, I don't know. If we're getting through all eighty in this one run. Or At least you got to knock out fifty. Just fucking rolls. My mouth hurts when I'm done with. It. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Please just now. please start reading. Mike McIntyre, Patrick Knight, Scott Duncan, Ryan Werner, Ryan Werner, Cam- Carmine Grippondo, Carmine Grippondo again. Alec Poles, so like Coles, but not. <laughs> Austin Musi, Ali Bordeaux, Sean Leg, Tom Kashner, Greg Henderson. Ray Young, Lee, just Lee, thank you, Lee. You know what, Lee, thank you, like, four times for just having the name Lee. Todd Egan, Nick Combs, 41, Bubble Bath, Bourbon Bates, Bills, 33, fucking terrible football team, John Stoddard, Richard Reck, Dan Tosh, Jesse, Sementhro, mm, TD, I almost said meat because it's yep, so short. Meat TD, yep. Byron Danglehorn, Nathan <laughs> Hebers, <laughs> Jeremy <laughs> Jeremy. It's Dahlgren. I'm just going to throw <laughs> that out there. That's Dahlgren. I don't... Danglehorn, you added another fucking word to it. Keep going, though. <laughs> Jeremy Burns. KT Tice. Cole Georgia. Aaron Stairzik. <laughs> Ed Blitch. Greg Harsborough. I almost said Harsborough. Like this, the company. Oh. That's everyone. Just, yeah, no, no, no. It's not. That's we, There's two pages. You got to click the arrow on the yeah, top right. But I can move all these ones over. Right. right? And yep. then it'll show me. So I got to do 50. That was 32. Click. There you go. I'll scroll down. No, all right, the, all just... the way down. <clears throat> Kevin Loffner, Adam Hunt, TB Locke, Tyler Snesselson, Stephen Schmidt, Wynn Smith. Smythe. Wow, that might be. Smythe. That could be Smith, though. That's the craziest fuck. It looks like a Griffin spelled your name. David Kruger, Caleb Neff, WR, definitely writes books. Vinas Vizks, Mark Vasco, John Eckling, Ryan Randall, Kevin Randall. Ryan, his name was Kevin. <laughs> There's no oh. Ryan at all. 
I don't. There's not even a Ryan there's on, not. on the screen. Alex Darrow, Kevin C., Trenton Morris, Alex Weber, Jeffrey Gillum, Nick Shelley, Stephen Schmidt, Jeremy Hawk, Tony's brother, I know for a fact, Jeremiah Patterson, Zach Haddon. We know a guy named Haddon. Leo S. Biat. Roger C. Ganton. George Chapman, like the church. Miles Farrell. Farrell. Related to Farrell. Joe Meyer, related, related to John Mayer. Lawrence Clements, Michael Olson, one of the twins, Brandon Steffen, Brandon Harper, Stoden Freeman, Matt, my eyes are hurting, Matt Neff, Jaron Samuel, Aaron Johnson, Caden Decker, Jordan Reinhardt, Robert Reinhardt, Jimmy Munt, Eric Heidolf, like Rudolph, but kind of, Bubsky, Aaron, Bobsky, Jesus Christ, Aaron dude. DeWitt, like the tool company, Martin Flores, like flowers without the uh, W, Jordan, Nate Gordon, Forrest Harvey, Jack Westbrook, Noah Camp, the guy that fucking built the boat, and Daniel Middle in the North. Nailed it. Mindorf. Fuck. I, what's funny is I really only correct you on the ones that are just fucking asininely bad. Killed it, guys. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it, everyone. All right. We definitely missed some soup chats, and I apologize. I All missed right. some names there, if I'm being honest. All right. Where are we? Uh, <clears throat> Daniel Mindorf. Just read your name. He said, saw Mictor's 20 this past weekend going for 4300 <clears throat> I passed it. Yep. Probably the best bottle I've ever seen in my eyes. Should go back and get it or not. Nah. Probably Somebody not. Somebody wanted to see my arm. That's why I'm doing that. I just thought you were being annoying. Both, really. Nick, Bovee, you didn't you didn't do anything. You Thanks just for the super chat. Appreciate it. Let me just throw a sticker on there. Bourbon Beginnings, enjoying early times out of my new Glen and Flask. Thanks, hashtag Team Sean. You're welcome. Okay, I need my glasses now. Why? I'm getting some. My eyes are like, what the fuck? I haven't read Blink. a book in seven years. Oh, my God. That's it. the most I read in, since college. Keith. KC Weld. We Ever since it. Advent, things have been different. Dan, show us the birthday bourbon bottle where Dan touched you. On the birthday bourbon bottle where Dan touched you. <laughs> gotcha. What yeah, I mean, listen, Sean's never been destroyed so heavily and hard. <laughs> Embellish Podcast. I wonder if Sean has ever been confused with Crispin Glover's dimwit cousin. Hashtag Team Dan. See, here's the problem. I know who that is. I know who Danny Glover and I know who Donald Glover is. Mm-hmm. Not related either. Tommy D. <laughs> Dan, straighten your arms. Oh, so yeah. I can show my wife and she can translate it. Oh, wait. That is an offensive way to spell Japan. Hey, this hoodie is from fucking Walmart. Not my fault, right? I don't, you know what I said? You know what I said? There's a flower here. There's a tiger on the back. Fucking bought oh, it. Oh, God, I see it now. That is just a very offensive way to spell Japan. Did they spell Japan in English? Yeah, but with... This uh, is just a font choice. That's not offensive. You font cannot be fucking offensive. Carmin Grippando. Good job on the names. I broke out the Eagle Rare tonight. No, not in every game station here. It's yep, not here that. anymore. Matthew either, Meyer honestly. Sr. looking forward to getting the coffee cup. Wife wife upset him by a set for <laughs> set of four. When can we expect more being available? Keep it up, BJ. That's I you. don't know about that. I don't know. Maybe. Thrasher. Good evening, boys. Trying out some swordfish oil from a very generous hey. Jason Ross. Thank you. Going to put it up against some pandemic special tonight. Hey. Pfft, don't do that. It'll hurt clients' feelings. Matt from SMM. Montana usually isn't great for selections, but the Stag Junior 15 has been flowing like water around here. Oh, my it's gosh, glorious. bro. Now I can go back to chat. That's wild. You're lucky, man. Oh, Stacy Ferraro said she... I'm going to assume that's a dude or a guy. Okay, I can't get but canceled I want to say a girl. Spell spelled Japan. Anyways. Fucking fine. Um, Not possible. A dovetail in Pennsylvania. Apparently, they don't get anything else but like four year old releases. Pennsylvania? Yeah. Are any of them good? I don't, it's dovetail. Dovetail's not four years old. It's old. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It could be an old batch. They've done a couple of batches. None of them are four years. When you, you said four year old release, oh, <laughs> you don't mean the age of the whiskey. Travis Stolenberg. Dan is apparently into K pop now. What a dweeb. Alec Pulse. What there the you go. fuck? Drinking Knob Creek 12. Glad to catch you all live again. Glad to hear my name read off. Hey, I listen. How much How much stock of Coles do you have? Because your name's very fucking cool. Stacey Ferraro, I'm a girl. <laughs> See, he said font can't be offensive. That's true. Can't be? Cannot be. <sighs> a font cannot. Okay. It, if it's a font you can read, it can't be offensive. How about that? You can't read. Daniel Rose, happy Tuesday. Glad Just you all enjoyed the bruise. We'll have Younger on the way with some hashtag oh, sours shit. for you too. No, don't Also, P.S. Sean, check them. your Facebook messages. Keep I don't even know where my phone's at. Keep them. Okay, Prescription Bourbon said, Dan's a savant, no denial, but I'm Team Sean. Hey, you don't have to be on the dark side. I'll message you later. <clears throat> you don't what? have to be on the dark side, but Corey, you do have Spango. to agree that I'm Spagnola? The I'm a, I don't know. Comic Sans is offensive. Yeah. Wingdings, you bitch. Finally found all three of Redwood, hey. Redwood Empire releases. 
Lost Mountain, definitely my favorite. Yep, Very recommendation. Drink it tonight. Cheers. Tis the best. I just killed mine. We'll today. see a Jack Daniels 15 in... Or Jack Daniels 15. My brain just fucking broke. You're dumb as shit. Bye. Have a good night, everyone. A Stag Jr. Batch 15. I don't know where I even... Is it, I even see a Jack Daniels. I just, hey, hold on. Let's pause. We'll just, see that. I'm in gonna like give your March. brain a break. Pause for a sec. Good. Just needed you to complete the sentence. You know the thought. We'll see it in like March. Because you got lost in your own sentence three times, and I was like, I don't know where this is going. I'm really excited to see though. <laughs> like, nah, the old fucking fifteen. Nope, wrong one. Uh, anyways, shelf. shelf. Haven't drank tonight. Squirrel. Just had a full blown stroke. Tommy D just wants me to take it off, dude. He's a liar. <laughs> What? No one wants that. What is that. this? This is Frey Ranch. Frey Ranch? Why does it smell like that? I don't know if it's the coffee. I'm going to have to. I don't know when the last time I took a. It's creamy. You don't have a Senpai pill. Okay. Hey, you guys, fuck. It's got a tiger on the back. And that's why I bought it. And it was like. Scott Robinson. $12. Dan is the best name pronounced. Yeah, while well, Sean serves as Dan's verbal autocorrect. Well, often. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty I let often. him go. A lot of those are close ish. I'll let it happen. People know what they're talking about. But some of them are just so fucking bad. I mean, I said Ryan, and it was Kevin. So some of them... Well, you could have just tagged us there, Nick. Dan looks like Squidward. What the fuck? Hey! It, get, He's still Team Dan, get though. Get the fuck off my team. Zachary Hess get comment off my right team, there. bro. I don't want... Ah! We don't allow people call me Squidward on this side. Mm. Fucking A, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Did you said James. Yeah, he accidentally donated 50 last week due to the rising cost of menthols. Can I get a smidge of that 50 back? I'll give you 30. I gave him like twenty cigars the other day. We gave you more. William Bunch, welcome to BJ fam. Thanks for being here. Hey, Appreciate you. For joining, dude. JM likes turtles. Oh my gosh, bro. Okay. Oh my fucking goodness gracious! It is I whiskey. She won hey. in the chat. Thanks. Thank you, my buddies, the junkies, for keeping me occupied tonight. Miss you all. And how to be back the YouTube's soon. I think it's supposed to be hope to be back to the YouTube soon. Probably now. I know she's slapping a bag right now. Oh, nice. Because I saw it. Franzia, huh? Uh, I saw. I saw the. I saw the box that the bag came inside of. Let's put it that way. Bobby got sworn as a I U.S. Marshal. I told. I messaged her and said, "Tell him I said thank you." Also, listen. Now that he's looking a, good in the uniform. Hey, I, I said that too. Now here's, right. hear me out. <laughs> I said sexual things about Bobby. Okay. I wanted Sam to pass them on. Nick uh, just commented and said, "Squid." Listen, listen, wait, hold on. Don't fuck you. I didn't even, hold, that didn't even hit my brain until three minutes after you just said it. Squid. Fucking Squidward, bitch. I'm, if I'm anything, I'm like a smart Patrick star. Right? Everybody in that show fucking sucks. You know what I mean? I'm the big red lobster. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like what, Mr. No, Krabs? No, no, hard no, name. no, no, that's the short fat one. There's a big jacked one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, bro. Listen, everybody in that show sucks. What do you want to be, SpongeBob? You know who's the best one, honestly? Squirrel. The squirrel. Sandy one. Cheeks. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> yes, I swear it's to not God. Her name. Yes. No, it's not. Chat. No, Chat, it's help not. me out here. It's no, Sandy it's, Cheeks. It is Sandy. It's not Cheeks. It's Sandy Cheeks. Buddy, it's not <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and Squidward's name is Dildos. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck. Like, oh, uh, shit. Uh, so, I'm not Krusty Krab. Larry the Lobster. Okay, that's the jacked one. I'm Larry the right, Lobster. Are we on low? Bro. Low latency? How long is this going to yeah, take? I am. Normal. I'm on low. Yeah, I know. Sandy Cheeks. Night Angel said Dan trying to find a SpongeBob character to relate to. Which one's... Okay, Sandy's the only one with any common sense in the whole show. Plankton's probably the coolest one. <laughs> yeah. But he's fucking... He's an idiot. And he's tiny. He's a little bitch. I mean, he is a Plankton. Right. <sighs> it's not Sandy Cheeks. <laughs> Alex no. Furlock. There's Guess who's drinking no Stag Jr. It's Sandy Cheeks. Bro, that's the most inappropriate chef I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, apparently, I'm a bony Mr. Krabs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, hey, okay, hey, if Patrick. Anything, if anything, settle down here. Sean is fucking Squidward because he's cranky as shit. That's 100% accurate. Sean hates fun. <laughs> he doesn't like loud people. Me. Okay, Squidward and SpongeBob. Nope. SpongeBob and Patrick together are the basically the arch nemesis. Dude, Michael's right. Gary is the best. Who's Gary? The, oh, the snail. Squid, or the little guy, yeah. Gary? The dog, basically. Is it really Sam? That's Klein is plankton. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be a bald guy. No, Squidward's bald. Yeah. Klein could be Squidward, too. Klein, I don't... Klein, You're just really trying to get out of being Squidward. I'm not fucking Squidward. I'm not, I'm not accepting that. I'm not accepting that. Dan's more like King Neptune. True. <laughs> True. There we go. We found one. 
Thank God for fucking Jacob. I, I'm dandy very... cheek still. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Your name is Aiden Roper. He shoots ropes, bro. Roper is such a good last name, Ricky. Zero percent. Zero percent. You barely watched it behind the scenes. Oh, <laughs> we've had probably two or three of the back to back to back the most inappropriate behind the scenes we've ever had. Uh the one I put up isn't that bad. The For ropes Friday. one, okay. Yeah, yeah, ropes wildly inappropriate. Yeah. Our OnlyFans chat, chat wildly inappropriate. This oh one. my gosh, but Zachary S. Let's be honest, I'm Team Sean, but I respect the build of Cocktopus. Okay. But Knox for the win. James enjoys the random settings of Knox more than Cookie. You know what? I'll take Cocktopus over Squidward. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Stanley Wagner Jr. I just want to wish Bobby Godspeed. Mm-hmm. Wish Bobby. I don't know who that is. Wish Bobby Godspeed. Sam and Bobby. Bobby and BC. Oh, I want. I, there's a comment between Bobby and U.S. Marshal for the inauguration. Oh yeah, he, he probably should have kept reading. And he I wants got to that. wish Bobby Godspeed. Godspeed. Comma. This is what I want to say about Bobby before we moved on. Punctuation. He's looking fine in his in his uniform, right? Yeah. And then he got sworn in as a marshal, and I watched Justified. All right? Oh, yeah. And when I saw that he became a marshal, I went from 6, six to, midnight. to midnight immediately. And I'm waiting. Ooh, I can't. When I, The next time I see that guy, I'm going to kiss him. It's pretty good. It tastes better than it smells. I think so. Way better. It's got that, like, um, that's why I didn't know if there was co- and, like, oh, coffee okay. left over. Because there's, like, that um, chocolate-covered espresso bean in the back. Right. It just kind of sits there and melts on your tongue like butter. Fair. Late finish. A lot of oak. A lot of chocolate. There's not a lot of oak. A lot of deliciousness. There's not a lot of oak at all. Bunch of oak. It's probably four years old. Get your mind right. Feels good. Hey, if anybody bet on Sean winning tonight... You can back off on that if it has anything to do with whiskey because Sean just said the four-year-old whiskey, a lot of oak. Yeah. Ricky can get out of here with her fucking Ricky leaks. I can tell you that right now. Mikey Tom. Oh, I'm sorry. If you don't like being straight, you're Mikey Thomas from Backyard Basketball or Baseball. Wow. Or Kesha Phillips. Hey, Nick, how fucking old are you? I don't know you? who that is. Those movies are 250 years old. Those movies aren't even in color. I don't even think one of them has sound. I would assume they both have sound. <laughs> no, remember the old movies when you just watch them in the theater, there's no sound? Called silent films. That's what I'm pretty sure he's referring to right now. Old. Fucking old. <gasps> I got somebody so good today in a YouTube comment. Got him? Oh, the old. Yeah. Fucking got her, dude. She's like, you two are too juvenile Dan to be taken seriously. doesn't respond to hardly any fucking YouTube That's comments. That's not my job at all. Except for somehow you have this weird sixth sense when someone says something dumb. No, I read a lot of You're them. just like, in. No, 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 no. No, no, no. This is untrue. I read most of them, and how you know this is because a lot are hearted, and I'm the harder of the group. Right? I just rip through. I get I hearts. No, you don't, don't give care. Hearts. No, I give a lot of hearts. I'm a harder. You know what I mean? And so I read them all, and then when I saw that, I went, you're too old to be leaving negative comments on YouTube videos. <laughs> Boom, fucking. You didn't it. tell them what, they, what she said. Yeah, I no. did. You you probably spoke over me, but I did say I, I'm, She said to me. I was having a To, to you. my face. In a DM. On YouTube, publicly in the comment section, she said, you two are too juvenile to be taken seriously. And I said, you're too fucking old to be leaving negative YouTube comments. And she looked old. She was at least 40. So younger than you. (laughs) I don't know how old she was, but I know she was an adult, which means she's too old to leave negative comments. Michael, we were drinking a Frey Ranch Distillery Reserve. It tastes really good. That's from Daniel Rose. That's That's 130 proof. Holy shit. That's why... I'm like, it's so warm and toasty. These are This is a good winter whiskey right here. Man, if that's only four years old, that's really good. Jimmy, we were supposed to have a bottle of that, buddy, but the person that picked it up ended up having some personal issues, so it hasn't been sent yet. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't smell as good as it tastes, I'm going to be honest. Dan's the kid who laughed too hard at recess and got milk up his nose. Yes. So, okay, there's youth up front on that. It's not overwhelming. There's a lot. Like, I think the, it goes away so fast, though. I like though. the proof a lot. The, I think the proof is part of the, like, the finish experience. Yeah. And it just, it's really nice. It's buttery. That's a lot better than the Free Ranch, um, that, just the normal one. That's, yeah, I don't This know. is a lot better. The yellow label one with the yeah. cool. This is, a, this is a barrel pick, huh? Uh, Billy Shelton likes to be wrong. He said Henry McKenna over 1920. Ugh. It must be the best Henry McKenna ever. 
Probably not, Brian. Said, so does anything we <laughs> we can raise 6K tonight, like ADHD? Holy shit. Probably not. I doubt that, buddy. Um, Ron, yes. Oh, uh, it's, someone emailed us about the, the Detroit Whiskey Club. Society, yeah. Yeah, that, they did a pingree pick. Oh, the answer is yes. I forgot we were, I was going to talk to you about that email. The answer is yes. It was right. one of the picks they did. Yeah, right. the Red Label. Yes. Oh. I don't know if that was Always it. yes. Hey, how did you guys get a... Hold on. How did you get a pick? What the? It's an email, bro. What the fuck? Okay. They put out like a 17-year, 10-month uh, whistle pig pick. Damn near whistle pig 18. <laughs> um, yeah, so did you know that that's, that whistle pig is letting 18-year-old whiskey into the 10-year pick now? Into the 10-year pick pool? How much stock did they have? Apparently all of it. Um, it was from... I don't know who sent us that email. Power Keeper, the Kintsugis are good, man. Did you delete it? I don't know what Dan did in life. He probably deleted that email like an asshole. Was it the Detroit Society? It was just an update email. Yeah, and, and part of it was that the, he was okay. extending an offer for a They're gonna. W- I've talked to them about this a bunch. They're going to eventually, when the next two <laughs> picks come in, they're going to send us a blind flight of the picks, and we'll... We'll do a blind. Yeah, well, on one's here. a pingree. I know one's a new riff. One's that whistle pig. But they haven't gotten two of them. And I yet. can't. Just one of them, I think. Is oh, he said two. Oh. In the email, if you would have read it. I will fucking cut you. Okay, next samples. Dana Rose, thanks for sending that because I've never had. We've only had one Frey Ranch, and that one's really good. <laughs> Matthew Meyer Sr., the last <laughs> BTS behind the scenes for you guys on our Patreon, was top notch, except for the idea of Dan yanking his junk out for cash. It was an idea. Save our eyes. I was just junk. talking through it. You got to talk through ideas, and you do how, that's how you figure out their Aiden good or bad. Aiden Roper, does each super chat get another entry into the giveaway? Hashtag Dandy Cheeks. Um, there's not a su- giveaway tonight. I don't think there we was have a big one giveaway last, last week. I ran out of. Sorry. I'm going to say two thirds of that giveaway has gone out. Ran out of tape. Oh. Need more packing tape, like the like the bundle rolls of them. So I'm waiting on the tape to get Jeffrey here to tape things. Gillum. Got plans. E.H. Taylor's small batch and 1792 single barrel last week. Found all to be pretty boring and had to grab another 1920. Blanton's small batch. I would, I I could get on board. I like Blanton's and small batch. I like all those. One more cast. Cheers, junkie. Spending my birthday evening oh, with your immature selves and loving hey, it. Happy birthday, happy sir. Happy birthday, dude. Why haven't you guys tried the product? We, did, we didn't play the video yet either. Let's play the video. I'm going to pour this whiskey. We'll play the video while we do that. It was on Dan's agenda. That's wait, wait, wait. Do. Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. What did... Did Alex say, why haven't you guys tried it yet? I don't know, buddy. Do you know? Uh, I, I haven't been able to find any. Yeah, it's there's weird. none in town, yeah. which is weird. Well, okay. We guy. Stanley Wagner Jr. So Dan said he heard oh, I was talking smack, but as usual, didn't finish his comment. I'll come on and discuss if he wants. We're not Hashtag doing that. I can Hashtag tell you that right now. <laughs> so, okay, here's the thing. I heard you talking. Sean fucking distracts me, right, all the time. I heard you talking shit, bro, and listen. You can rely on Sean to send you stuff if you'd like, but he won't. Right? Stanley, win something, and then we'll let Sean send it to you. Might be the only thing Sean actually fucking sends out out of spite of what I just said on the stream. But I hand-delivered so many swordfish oils. In two years, that is the first thing you've hand-delivered. Oh, my God. It might be the third. Okay, so. I just want to dump that right back in there. I don't give there. a shit. I'll drink it. What, am I not going to drink whiskey tonight? Oh, no. Is there whiskey in my water? Oh, no. Oh, no. How will I hydrate? That was so- fucking terrifying. <laughs> I felt the table shake and got nervous. Okay. Well, I almost broke a black glen. Okay. Racist. Wow. Whistle Pig was partially bought out by Hennessy. Ugh. That's a bummer. I hope they keep all that. I like their staff. I hope they keep them on. We were going to drink this one first. Okay, you're fucking retarded. Why? These are 124 and 124 proof. Those are the barrel numbers, I'm pretty sure. Because see how it says 124.5 and 124.4 P. Make assumptions. That could be particles, idiot. Particles, huh? Particles. Uh, Linus Cat, have you had the Traverse City Rye pick before? It looks like one of the groups. Yeah. I think I have two picks. And then... Yeah. Um... There's a wheat over there, in there? That's not a pick, though, but, yeah, there is a wheat. One from, never mind, sorry. Um, but, yeah, they're, uh, listen, some, they're good. Old Kirk single barrel releasing in Tennessee only and supposedly Willet Juice from a failed partnership. Someone compared it to Purple Tops? I've never heard of what? it. What? It said Old Kirk was the name of it. Okay, 
I hey, listen to me right now. Before you drink that, you fucking idiot. I literally said to your stupid face, we're going to drink 109 first. I said that out loud. Okay. Not this was instructions I was given. Drink the 109 first. You didn't say that. I Never I swear happened. to God I said that. Looking forward to your next barrel pick. Swordfish oil pick was amazing. Thank you for saying nice things. We talked about a possibility of one in Dan's. Billy Shelton, there's not a giveaway tonight, buddy. Uh, fucking stupid Twitch stream. Uh, we talked about what? Well, I typed it out. You guys. Oh talking. yeah, you did. Okay, so you're so annoying. Uh, when can Dan try to pass the Savant test flight? We sent. Oh. When can Dan try to pass the Savant test flight? Mm. Uh, Jacob Enriquez said 124 proofs. The barrel 109 is done at 25 gallon casks. Okay. We need to play this video, right? Ready? Okay, go ahead. Okay, so tonight's stream, real quick, is sponsored by Alec Bradley, obviously. So Alec. Bradley Cigars just recently in Cigar Aficionado became in seventh place for Cigar of the Year with their gatekeeper. So, which is an Alec and Bradley cigar. So, in which is like, a, which is a big deal. You know, so we have a couple gatekeepers here. We'll have a little bit. Yeah. They have a video right here that I've received that we're going to play. Dude, at least try to take credit. Like, we edited this. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm not doing that. All right. So, we're going to... It's like a 45-second video or something like that. We're going to watch that. Then, we're going to drink these Chattanoogas. That's the agenda. Nailed it. The what? Chattanoogas. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh. Okay. Nailed it. All right. So, if you haven't had those, try them out. They're fantastic. Um, I think that's one of our, like, first. I, I like all the Alec and Bradley stuff, honestly, for real. Because I think we had, like, when we first started working with Alec, like, we talked about the black markets, and he's like, let me send some shit. Yeah. And that was one of the ones that we first had, and we're like, holy shit, these are really good. The, Ooh. um... The Blind Faith is literally one of my favorite Alec Bradley, mm -hmm. Alec, Alec Bradley or Alec and Bradley. Um, what did that say about porcupines? <laughs> Everyone under the Team Dan banner has intimate relations with porcupine. <laughs> I can't believe you read it. You actually read it. Well, I saw Team he Dan put and it, got excited. He put it on the screen and I he read it. I literally saw Team Dan and got excited. Oh, hey. Sammy McGorry? I don't know. McCrory. There you go. McCrory. <laughs> I think moving it, on is I mean, there's a C and a C. You got the double C. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait for the coffee mug. Order mine on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. We didn't make that fucking video, by the way. Now, people think we did because you said that. We didn't make that video. Now, Blind Dang Faith. Horn. Blind Faith is one of my favorite cigars they have. Gatekeeper and Kintsugi are both amazing. I I hate talking about how good Kintsugi is. Why? Because not I mean, you, you can't really some get over it. there can't really get. Yeah, okay. you can buy them online. Yeah, yeah. So you're good. They're one out place. now. They're out and about. At one place. I know one place. Well, there'll be more eventually. That's probably <sighs> my favorite cigar right now through Alec Bradley. Dan it's Kintsugi. Yep, it is definitely Dan Burgundy. <laughs> Sean Burlingham, your fucking last name makes me think of corduroy pants for some reason, okay? So, listen to me right now. Call me fucking Squidward, right? Corduroy Yeah, because Burlingham would sell corduroy. Like, that's a store that only sells corduroy, right? Are we you on think board? of, like, Burlington Coat Factory Yeah, here? corduroy. Why is that weird feel? Coat Factory. No, You're no. saying it wrong. Corduroy. Coat Factory. What's, it's a, like... Pant. Yeah. Yeah. But they make jackets out of it. It's a texture. Yeah, okay. 
Did you not know they made corduroy jackets? Yeah. They made corduroy stuffed animals for a while. Did you know that? You never saw the corduroy What's bear? What's the best AB cigar for someone new to cigars? Uh, maybe Lot the 40? Connecticut. Lot 40? Wow, Project 40. I said it, and you fucking knew what I meant, but I was so wrong. <laughs> I'm going to move on with my fucking <laughs> shit. Project 40 is pretty good. Shit. Oh. Okay. Cord- well, at, dude, corduroy feels weird. Or the, uh, the American Sun Grown. Hey, hit that like Solid. button for real. Yeah, the American Sun Grown. That's, that's probably where it's at. I love that. That and the, the, the Merdero. The Coyol is oh. actually probably one of the best. It goes with a lot of shit, too. Um, so the other was a savant test, clear moon. Then you're, it's right here behind me then. Cause I put both of them back here. What'd you do? We have, I think eight to get through right now. This it game what? is one of them. This is fun. What are you doing? Oh, motherfucking YouTube. Mm-hmm. Can you get it together? You guys make a literal kajillion dollars a year. Literally. Can we have a platform in which we can read things on? Uh, for you, another company, not a cigar company. That's a whiskey company. Boom, nailed it. Okay. Cigar yeah. Club said that the Blind Faith is actually their featured cigar this month. There you go. That's perfect. Holy shit. I, Blind Faith, for real. Yo, Carson. Literally welcome to BJ Fan. Thanks for being here. We appreciate you. Thank you, Carson. Okay, now I'm, I'm, I've got to gotta drink this one on night. Patrick Fulmer had a Blind Faith with Remus cast last night. I get it now. Thanks. Cheers. Oh, nice, dude. Solid. Thanks for the super chat, buddy. Saffle? Be like 50 bucks. Yeah, and that's a 375 so. <laughs> Dan's too fat to wear a coder, right? He'll burn the hot down <laughs> from the friction. Get it? Because you're thick. It's remember? weird. Because I read it and thought, fuck you, I know exactly what you mean. Maybe. <laughs> True. Who knows? That would mean I'd have to move quickly, though. Coder Royal? <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. Fuck. Oh, that is. Have you tried the 109? I'm not a big fan. It's hot. It's 124. It's spi- no, but it's spicy hot, too. It's like a pepper. I did it out of the. My mouth is a little numb wow. right now. Uh, how wildly different those smell. A 113 smells like my jam. When you go back to oh, uh, the gosh. 109, it smells so much more Tennessee. <laughs> well, it's just. Dude, my mouth is literally fucking. This. It fucking, I swear to God, I'm, I'm, I'm running out of words. I see that. You got, I, I you feel, got to be a five. I feel like I burnt my mouth. Uh, 113 is fantastic. I'll send you a bottle if Dan can do 20 push-ups. Send me a bottle of what? I'll do it on the fucking table. I'm alert. No, you won't. This is not screwed in. You're going to have to You're hold the table. New. I'll hold, hold it. it. Okay, you okay, get it up there. Take, I will do fucking 20 push-ups. What's the bottle, though? I can do 20. I just did 30 in a row to show my fucking son I was better than him. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most you thing I've heard in a while. Oh yeah, didn't run out of words. Who would have thought? <laughs> well, no, it's because my mouth hurts. <laughs> One thirteen is a weeder. Wow, bro, okay. my I swear. Did you take did a you? sip of this? Yeah. Did it burn your mouth? A little bit. I ain't no bitch though. Why? Hey, hit the like, please. There's eight hundred sixteen of you guys in here, right? Let's do some math right now, right? There's eight hundred sixteen of you. There's 352 likes. So much cinnamon. That means there's at least 542 of you that have not liked it. <laughs> hey, Ty, you're not wrong, dude. It's fucking winter time. Nope. You know what? Nobody in here, you guys don't live in Michigan. Everybody call me fat where you guys live, LA, Florida, fucking Texas, Louisiana, where it's warm all, all year, Nevada, Arizona, Mexico. <laughs> Italy. Ita- Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. What's I think the, that's in the, the behind. The, oh, oh, is that in the behind the scenes? I, I, I think it's going off on Friday is where you become Ricky Bobby. And we, I think I have tears streaming down my eyes during that part. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. What was Justin Seymour bottle? tried Malort in y'all's honor this weekend. It was bad. I'm I feel sorry. like the capital of BAD just doesn't quite do it justice. You're underselling. Oh, it is bad. You're underselling. Yeah. What was this fucking bottle? Put your mouth, money where your mouth is. What bottle is this? Not push-ups from the knees. Yeah, I fucking know how to do a push-up, okay? What was it? I see it corrected. Okay, no, that's not it. Uh, not saying that Dan shit. is a bad guy. I'm just saying his head may be a little large for a man. It's 5'8 and 265 pounds. I'm convinced he might not be able to get out of the I bunker door. That I keep talking to Stanley about the shit he was talking, and then I yeah. keep getting distracted over and over. 
Oh, my God. We're around Midland there, Joel. We're in the, the tries. Tony Bag of Donuts. Tries for the guys. Hashtag Savant. Glass drinking Jepson's bourbon oh. cast drink, 124 proof from oh. Benny's. Dan, oh, so please good. tell me you have more Savant so glasses. Bro, it's, I got some plans, dude. I got some fucking plans. It did not snow real snow in Texas. It snowed three fucking inches. Okay, scroll up. Ricky's talking shit, and I need to address it for the people. She's a oh, fucking liar. Dan's weight is now on a seasonal schedule. Gains in the winter, shredded. Dan's never been shredded in the summer. In the fall and spring, he transitions. No, this is our conversation we had the other day. Oh, this is a Ricky leaks, I know. Yeah, I told you, her this in the car. Patrick Knight, Sean looks like DJ Qualls, the actor from the Road Trip movie. Scroll up. Somebody said, I'm from Michigan, so I have a certified dad bod. Hey, that's in now? So watch your fucking girls if I wasn't married, but I am, and I love my wife a lot. She's a beautiful woman. Alec Forestier. <laughs> Hard to drink winter whiskey when it's 75 in January. Hashtag Louisiana life. Jesus. Oh, wow. Your life, I mean, that sounds fucking miserable. <laughs> Embellished podcast. Snow is the only time guys think three, isn't, <laughs> three inches isn't much. Fuck. Okay, so we're in the car driving. <sighs> We're in the car driving, and, and I'm, just I'm, eating, I'm eating some bullshit, right? I, shit happens, you know, whatever. So, anyways, I, I, who the fuck wants to bet I can't do 20 real fucking push-ups? You get the 19, I'm cannonballing your ass. What if they're going to send us shit? Depends on what it is, doesn't it? <laughs> is it worth hurting Dan or getting a bottle? Yep. Um, so Maybe both. I'll wait until you're done. So, the... I don't remember what I was saying, but I was trying to tell Ricky it's cold as fuck, and when I'm skinny, I'm cold all the time. When's the last time you think you were skinny? Like two weeks ago. So I'm I'm like super like two weeks ago. I'm fucking I'm in the house. It's <laughs> seventy. I'm always in a blanket. I'm so fucking cold, right? I told Ricky I can't be skinny in the winter. It's too cold for me, right? Can't can't do it. So I'm done being skinny in the winter time. So I can be skinny in the summer because it's warm then, and we have hot summers here. Uh huh. So, now the spring and fall. A purple one, Robert Lim Luzi. Thank you. For you forgot the type. Geez, oh Don't donate again. You send a pretty one. Just add us. I I've been there. I have ten dollars on Dan Place. You only put ten on it, Davil Art. What the fuck kind of confidence is ten dollars? Okay, go back. Go back to where you. Uh... So then I'm telling Ricky the seat. Uh, the spring and fall are kind of hit or miss for me. Mm hmm. Because it's it's cold at one point and it gets warmer at the other point. Mm -hmm. So I transition now. I have seasonal transitions. You a fucking butterfly here? She, I'm glad you said this because she said to me, so you, how long is it going to take you to get, I, I think I said shredded. And I said one month. She said, I don't think so. I said, I'm a fucking caterpillar and I'm going to come out a shredded butterfly, dude. Come summer. Now, I did tell Ricky quite a while You're ago. You're that middle stage where they liquefy their body, right? And they're just right. a fucking blob. No, no, no. Right <laughs> now, I'm full caterpillar. Yeah, you're right just now, a blob. I'm full caterpillar. But. Uh, I told you you didn't, didn't have, have to. Thanks for the other. I said just ass. Oh, Jeez, oh, Pete. So here's. Thanks for the, the, the I want. Ten. Sean cannot do double the amount of push-ups I can do. I know for that for a fucking fact. I don't want to do double. Can you do 60? I don't want No, to. there's no fucking Fuck way Sean no. can do 60. <laughs> Bitch, who the. I got 3,700 Bitcoin. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, needless to say, I'm doing this. I'm doing... So I did tell Ricky years what ago... What the fuck is a tank pull-up? I don't know what the fuck that is. Do six tank pulls and pushes. What's that? Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, that's his little... His cart with the shit ton oh, of weights fuck, on Oh, fuck, yeah. It. Um, pull and push? Yeah. I could pull and push. He's a big man. Um, It's got that going for him. If he leans on it for yeah. long enough, it's going to go. Yeah, listen... Large people have a lot of mass. <laughs> come to find out. That's yo -yo I can diet. do 80. Keep the not weight off your body. We'll come around. No, no, no. Not, not in a row. Let's, yeah, that's not. Unfortunately, I live in a world of extremes. I, I can do more than Dan by one. I'm not going to double <laughs> it. Fuck. <laughs> uh, Whatever listen, you do, I will die. <laughs> you guys all want to talk shit right now, right? But nobody is putting their fucking money. 10 bucks for it. every 25. Sounds can like 10 it? bucks. <laughs> I don't think that's worth it, man. I don't want to. I'm not doing 25 put for 10 bucks. I'm doing that right now. 50 on do I have to do it on this? Doing, so you're more confident in me doing 20 or less confident in me doing 20 than Sean doing 50. Fuck, that's so many. 
I did 32 weeks ago, literally, in front of my wife and child. That's that's fucking muscle at rest, okay? I didn't, all right. That's muscle at, at peak rest. Extreme rest. Pe- <laughs> <laughs> okay, when is the Alpha Squad Bravo and Bourbon Junkie stream? Well, we have to clap their cheeks in a competition. Oh, you've been watching a lot of Twitch. <laughs> a lot of Nick Yeah. We got to clap their cheeks in a competition. A lot of people think you can't do 25. I'll bet everybody in chat. I'll bet every person in chat wants to. Dude, I'll take that bet. Okay. I'm cannonballing I'm, your ass. No, you're not. Oh, yeah. Just shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> because the channel's paying for it when I lose. So, <laughs> okay. Um, I don't, you can call, call my bluff with your fucking, with a bottle. I'll bet you I have a bottle of Old Forester birthday bourbon from 2020 that I just happened to have fucking won. <laughs> beating somebody's ass. So, I will bet that bottle. Let's go. I can do 20. I guarantee you. I guarantee fucking to you. No, it didn't take me two weeks. Oh, my fuck. You guys are ridiculous. Just watching all the hate scrolling. I Bro, love you it. You guys are all fucking haters. Yeah. Ricky even was in chat saying I did 30. I want everybody to know that. Just so you, Rick, hashtag fucking Ricky leaks. I did 30. Get it together. Not at once, but he did 30. I did 30 at once. <laughs> fuck. Okay. Uh, I don't think most people... James Croft. Okay, he he said he's going to send us some old curve. That's oh. that orphan barrel from Willet. W- wait, what? Is so this a new one? He was saying that... Um, they, they were saying that it was a, a failed partnership that Willet had. Okay. So they're, they're orphaned, actual orphan barrels okay. that they, they sold off. Six year, nine month. That was the one that they said they were really? comparing to Purple Tops. How interesting is that? I never even heard of Old Kirk of you. Mm-mm. Damn, interesting. I'm not doing. Listen to me. I don't want to see any... hundred push up in sixty. That must be sixty seconds. There's no way. Hundred push ups in a minute? No, I'm not doing that. I do what I told. Zachary you. Zachary says on your knees don't count. Carson said Team Dan, let's see twenty. Hey, here's what I want from the chat right now. Right, all of you is sitting in chat. Right, I want all of you to shut the fuck up about me doing push ups unless you're gonna donate. Bot unless we're betting my birthday bourbon. Against each of you donating a bottle if I fucking win. Hater. I'm so confident. I'll buy more for you guys if I lose. Fucking yep, the game is a pissing contest with Dan tonight. All Brian Nemec, Dan got piss. 40 easily with Sean on his back. I bet he doesn't have four with me on his back. I'm going to fucking jump. <laughs> okay, if Sean's laying on me. No, no, standing. In a dominating fashion. <laughs> Drive a stolen bird. Surfing. Dan, I'll bet you a bottle that you don't take a baby bird from Sean, the true test of man. <laughs> what the I fuck? I like that bet. That's a good bet right there. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> Sean definitely can't carry me to the car to get me to the hospital. Dude, we he's live in America. 911. the ambulance. <laughs> I'm sitting here and drinking. I bet oh, I'm, shit. I'm going to be drinking that middle shelf, too. <laughs> you ain't <laughs> getting up. Just yeah. staring. Oh, yeah, just pour some in your mouth. He just bottle chugs the Lost Prophet, kills it. Matthew Meyer. Aiden Stop the, the silliness. Oh. Dan will stroke out, need the laughs. <laughs> Gosh, dude. What's more believable, that you can do 20 push-ups or that you're younger than 50? Well, both of those things are true. That's interesting, isn't it? But which one's Cameron more believable? Bottle. I bet Dan, he can't bench press Sean at least five reps. Are you fucking kidding me I right now? I weigh a lot, dude. That's a... I, just, I am live weight. I'm going to be squirrely. <laughs> what the fuck? What kind of bet? What kind of bet? What do you... What do you I don't think anybody in chat fucking understands strength, right? Like, the last time I benched, which was maybe three weeks ago, probably, probably about three weeks ago, I hit 225 for eight. So let's relax on the 150 or pounder over here for fucking I can five weigh reps. like 300 when I'm, <laughs> when I'm like a fucking swordfish. Yes. Oh my gosh, dude. Are we going to drink? You guys, I'm I'm real Are we fucking do confused something? about how, how people think they know what strength is in this chat when none of them, not none, very few of them do. Okay, what are we drinking? I don't fucking know. I can't with you tonight. Okay, I'm drinking the 113 right now. It smells... Head over shoulders better than the 109. I already had that. What Did you prefer the 113? Yes, I already said that. 113 is a weeder. Someone said. What about squats? I can squat more than I can bench. I don't know. <laughs> Next live stream. Beat some strength. Oh, no. No, no, no. I like how the one on. What is that? There's a dusty. Whoa. Hey. Easy Ooh. YouTube. There's a dusty mustiness 
to. There you go with those words again. <laughs> Dude, the that one thirteen just shot my mouth. Dan, your knees can't be on the ground when you do your push-ups. Okay. At this point in time, people are just ripping you, bud. I. I think you just gotta let her go. I'm fucking stronger. Hey, what's in that box? Than almost every human being in chat. What's in those boxes? Is Chris Reggie in here? Like, who the fuck is strong <laughs> in here? Right? What the fuck? Uh, it's not Dan walking out during this live stream. <laughs> Okay, a five-year-old gymnast can probably do about 300 push-ups. So, yeah, that makes sense. Do you know, okay, I don't think people know how small people can do body weight movements drastically better. The bet is a bottle. You can't bench press Sean five times minimum. Benching an apparatus. He's saying, like, benching a bar is easier than benching a person. Yeah, I know that. What's the bottle? How still do you want me to be? Yeah, if Sean's still, then I can bench him five times. Now, if Sean's a fucking... Having can't, a seizure? Can't do one, I bet. No, I'm not even getting them off my chest. <laughs> I'm landing on your face. <laughs> okay. There's a, I don't, there is something to this 113. It's that delicious. Is throwing me off. We got to try these samples now. And that one, I'll drink those it one more clear. time. Those are clear. This one's not. Yeah, those two are clear. How many times can Dan Scott Sean? I, literally until I puke. It's not going to be a strength issue. It's going to be a cardio issue 100% I don't want to squat time. Dan, though. Yeah, I'll kill Sean. Uh-huh. Let's just squish him. <laughs> now I got you once. The bet's a hundred dollar bottle. We, you're gonna just lay still for a hundred bucks. Jeez, I guess so. I mean, fuck. We'll, we'll film it. Yeah, let me drink. Floor some press, more. or do you want uh, on a bench? I don't want to do floor press because it hurts my. That's not good for. I know, elbow. but me falling distance shorter. Okay, <laughs> sit still. <laughs> okay, let me uh, rinse one of these, and I want to try this. This is a uh, whiskey that was sent to us. 18 something. 1833 by Wildcat Willie's Distillery. I'm in. Bro, that's a wild name. Speaking of Dusty, found some Dusty Russell's Rye six year old label thoughts. Uh, the one that we had that was the, the old label one, it got like big old chunks into it. Remember that? Sorry, what? The Russell's Rye six year that we had, the old label oh, one. Oh, those uh, d- the dandruff chunks. Yeah, <laughs> dude. They're just white, you could humongous. Pick chunks. it upside down and it just snowed. It looked like a snow globe. It was yeah. like, Ew. oh, it was rough. Okay, Trey F said his bench is three sixty five. Okay, mine was fucking higher. Like I don't. What, what are we talking about here? I was. I could rep three sixty five at one point. Twice. <laughs> Three times. Probably <laughs> triple. Twice. Probably triple. <laughs> Um, I can do it more than one, which is my... Sean has laid still for $100 anymore. Fuck. (laughs) Wait, hold on. Fuck. The stream went down the rabbit hole. Yeah, because of chat. No, it's because of chat and not because of us. Listen, that's a truthful statement, right? Dan is immune to more. That's true. No, not anymore. Nick Bernhardt. I will send a bottle of ejecting with Sinatra if Dan can do 30 real push-ups. Okay, that's a hundred. I will fucking... You know what? All right, I hope you guys are all in the Facebook group. We'll fucking post this shit tonight. I'll put... You know what? I'll do you know what goes out the, the window when you're... Fucking push-ups. Hammered. <laughs> <laughs> I was crank. sober the last time I did it, so hell. I'm tagging Nick Bernhardt. I'm benching Sean five times after the 30, and I'm tagging fucking Robert, and, and then we're getting our shit. You know what I mean? What the fuck is that? Okay, hold on. It's 1833 from Wildcat Willie's. Wildcat is how I would describe that whiskey. Four-year-old Kentucky straight bourbon. So I that's I think that's all I know about it. Uh, it was sent to us by Wildcat Willie himself. I don't know if that's true. It was sent to us by Wildcat or yeah, Wildcat Willie's Distillery from Winchester, Kentucky. We distill liquor from grains grown organically at the Mount Folly Farm. Run a farm-to-table restaurant. Now, he sent us whiskey and moonshine. I don't know what's going on in that whiskey, okay, dude. I'm, I'm excited to get into that. There's, like, some weird flavors that are hitting each other upside the face. Okay, Cal Tate 99. Kevin Campbell, There's who wins a- in a fight between a shredded butterfly and a drowning pheasant? Kerber and I need to know. Probably the pheasant, right? Well, I mean, yeah. If you just wax the butterfly. Eat the butterfly. That's true. Hold on, big fella. There ain't no way you're doing 30 real push-ups and then bench brushing Sean. I, I don't, I don't, ro- listen, I don't think you guys understand how any of this works. I think you guys are very fucking confused. <laughs> Someone said uh, 30 real push-ups equals one push-up. <laughs> I'm loop. Just looped. Um, somebody said there's it's no like way I bench, and they put it in kilos too, 165 kg per hour. Um, th- there's literally a video of me benching like 390 in a meet with a pause. So, 
I for sure did. Okay, so anyways. Never happened. Yep, yeah, for sure did. Anyways, moving on. Dude, I got video evidence of shit. Like, we used to film all of our Nick, shit for our coach. Bobby, we back. I spend more on YouTube than I do at the strip Ooh, club. How you my doing? Buddy's bachelor party. Listen, dude. How many bachelor parties have you gone it's to? Also, yeah, it's also... That's pluralized. It's also more um, appropriately spent here. You're just getting blue balls. Yeah. What, what, you know? They don't actually like you if you don't know that. I'm sorry. Oh, that's not, I mean, maybe. Spoiler alert. You never fell in love with the stripper? <sighs> you T-Pain? <tea> <laughs> this doesn't smell terrible. It tastes wild. It's, does this smell, okay, hold on. Does this smell better than Frey Ranch? No. Really? David Babb. Not competition official, but my best lists are 260, 182. Those are all KGs. Yep, and 270. My last mock meet at 93. I forgot how to do KGs. So 2.2. I know, but like I used to know like 260 is 520, whatever. It double was. it. So is that 540? Ish. Those are good. What's 93? Uh, one. Brett Gibbs. Oh, those are good. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Uh, John Hack. He competes at 93. Now. Okay, those are still good. Yeah. Like if you're if that like not in wraps and not on gear, those are good. Yeah, so that's like a 600 deadlift. That's really good. Oh. Yeah, that's super good. See, all Three of my two. videos are from uh, first, yeah, it's about 600 from meets. I met my first two ex wives in the strip club. Well, three around. Alligator pole boys. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Bovey. Last time I met a stripper that I fell in love with, we got brunch in New Orleans. Alligator. Okay. I got crabs from watching. That's fair. You could. I, okay, I got to try this. It smells. Oh, there's a real numbers. David Babb. 574. Bro, you benched almost as much as you fucking deadlift. Squaw. No, buddy. Nope. Oh, well, yeah. you're missing a hundo there. No, bench squat. Or I went bench squat oh, deadlift. I was like. That doesn't seem fucking real there, bud. But doing squat, okay. bench, deadlift seems way more appropriate. Those are good numbers in that class. Uh huh. Everyone falls in love with a stripper. That's how they make money. No, everyone falls in lust with a stripper. And that's that how they make money. Yeah, that's almost 1,600. At two weight classes below you? Three? I mean, I only lifted for two years. He could be lifting for a week. You don't know, his, true. You don't know his fucking life. Touché. Um... There's a lot of tobacco on that. It's wild. There's like a really weird sweet note in there. Yeah. Like there's a little bit of menthol. Dude, it's it's like um, sweet pipe tobacco smells. That's what it tastes like. Is that weird? It Alec, is, like, I hope like you're cooling. in here. JW asks, Alec Bradley, find a rare set for $123. I don't know it, what's all in the set. When you say set, what do you mean? Because I don't know how many that's that not is. one of those black boxes because those were like six hundred dollars. Yeah, I. That's why I don't know. Michael Gibson, ten. Thank you, buddy. Type. Add us. Don't donate more. <laughs> oh, I heard Bart's on Discovery Four is fantastic. Yeah, heard that too. AB cigars isn't here now. Tell me what is it? A set. What's a set, dude? Is that JW? How you feeling over there? I, I'm going to be honest. My, I think it's better than I thought it would be. If you have to drink and say words tonight, it's not going to go well for you. That's fair. That's fair. Every time you drink, yeah. your vocabulary goes down. That time, you just said nothing. That's fair. <laughs> uh, Tim the Time Man is probably my favorite. I don't know. Tim, Nick, Dr. Disrespect. How do you not like Dr. Disrespect? I watched Cloak if all of those guys were off. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's a great price. One of the older boxes. Super hard to find. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, dude, listen, if there's multiple, if there's a handful of finding rares in there. Probably. It's a hundred-ish bucks. I'd buy it. Yeah. They're, the finding rares are awesome cigars and really good, like, celebration. There goes. Special occasion cigars. They're great for that. Is so one, if you can get, like, a cool, hard-to-find box for a hundred bucks at this point. Oh, okay. JW said it's one of five that makes up the black box set. There you go. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even, I didn't know about that. Oh, shit. Crazy Nas says, I have to pay to be a part of this, so here's a few bucks. Hope it's enough to hang out. Shit. My message was right below my ten dollar dono says Sir Gibson. Oh. Sorry. Let me go see it. Oh, right there. My whiskey collection is getting 
big enough that I can no longer drink them in a timely manner. What do you all do to preserve your bottles? Do you gas it? No. We just leave them. I don't do anything. Just um, them. I'm, Over time. I, man, I don't worry about it, man. Like, honestly, I, really I, don't. I don't know the last time I've gone back to a bottle and thought, wow, this is way different than what I think it should be. More often than not, it's like, is my memory of it wrong? Or you know, I, that's what I probably is going to be more often wrong than the whiskey being wildly different. I don't know about that. I think the I personally think the whiskey's different. I don't think that it all. I don't think it gets ruined. It's wildly different, though. That you're just no, 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 no. I'm saying how many whiskeys have we hated? I'm thinking like down the line, we drink something down. We're like, oh, that was pretty good, okay. and then we come back to it, and you're like, oh, what the hell? That's like crazy different. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly, it definitely changes. Hey, here's but what but does I, it? We didn't try and go. I don't I know if it, it changes. I just don't worry about it, and I yeah. drink them, and then if I enjoy it, great. If I don't, then I move on to a different bottle. Honestly. Tim? Fent, have you guys done Opa Dan? I, that sounds... What? Opie Dan. They have a rye that's 100% malted rye. Really? It's fantastic. Never They're out of Illinois. It. Sounds like an opiate. That's... Nailed it. I know. I missed some. Sorry. Kevin, blue. Early times, bottle, bottle, wild turkey, 101. Early times, every day of the week. Yeah, that's from... Yeah. So, and Sean likes turkey more than I do. That being said... Mm-hmm. It's not even remotely close for either of us. Early times is so good. Oh, Squad Bravo doesn't fuck around with bench presses or squats. He specializes in 12-ounce That's, curls. I mean, he did start lifting again, but he also does specialize in 12-ounce curls. Yeah, he does. Like, like He came here the other night and shotgunned a beer outside of the hut. As he waited for us to unlock the door. Because he didn't know the code. Kelly Blue, how much has Dan had to drink? Um, Not enough. Maybe three quarters of an ounce so far. I mean, I mean, we both went pretty hard at that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, got it out of the neck. I mean, we went real hard at that one. Uh, yep. It's, it's out of that. It's right there. This is not quite half. You can't see, but it's not even half this gone. This one is at right there. And then that fragrance, and two ounces, range, half gone. Yeah. So probably three quarter ounce. Ish. We might have a full ounce in us by now. Maybe. It's only been an Oh, my gosh. We got to play this game. Exactly. Michael Foot. Love you too, buddy. How you doing? Uh, I think Dan hated my super chat with all the soul. Was that Dustin Ballou? Jeffrey Seifert. Dan just wanted to spend good money to remind you that you have bad taste for disliking Letterkenny. Oh, I've never seen it. Your spare parts, bud. Oh, I've never seen the show. Wait, did you guys all think that I've watched it and didn't like it? I watched it because it's not a, from a freedom country. Canada? Is it from Canada? Yeah. Fuck. Oh, well, here goes that excuse. I just didn't watch it. I've never even seen it. I don't know where it's used to it's even available. Hulu. Busy. <laughs> Stop watching your evil show. Evil is so good. Okay. Give me whiskey. Let's play this game. We all done a video of Thomas H. Handy. Would love to see your review, said Julian. Oh, we've never even had a Thomas H. Handy. Uh, here's a 2011. We've tasted, we've tasted it, but we've never owned a bottle of it. Someone tell them to play the damn game. Dude, you did it, That's Sophie. good. That's good. Okay, we will play the game. Very minty. Wow. Let's play the game after. I'm just kidding. That was fun. Fucking though. stab you tonight. I felt good about that. Okay. Like, you know how you can feel your blood pressure kind of yes. climb at some Sometimes, point in time? often, yeah. Right there. It's usually when I think about you. Now, we should try that. their moonshine first. I don't want to. Though. Liberty Lightning and Sweet Potato. That's vodka. Bro, I swear to God, my eyes are fucking going. Jay man. Hamilton. I once saw... Holy oh, fuck. Canada is <laughs> a freedom country. I once saw Dan do 30 consecutive push-ups in Ann Arbor. I think that's what they're called. Hashtag Dan after dark. Oh, that's funny. Robert Limlusi. Canada isn't a free. Kind of. Chris Bradley with the old laughing pair. Dan is feisty. No, I'm not. No, 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 Let's get at her. I'm not fucking feisty. Chad's being real fucking assholey. You know what I mean? No excuse. I'm not having BTAC vertical. Y'all got channel money. No, there is an excuse. Yeah. Hey, this year, for real, we didn't even have the- Embellish podcast. You get the fuck out of here. We didn't even have the opportunity to buy BTAC this year at any price. Legally, um, is what I'll say. We were going to put a bunch of money into a charity uh, raffle yeah. and then just try to scoop up a couple things. But every raffle uh, was gone this yep. year. Okay, so one of these is corn whiskey. Chance. One of these is distilled potato? from sweet potatoes and grain. Yeah, that's vodka. That's vodka. <laughs> yeah, that's what I already said. Dan is pissed constantly. I'm He's not... a bad sport on things. Kelly? Okay, you know what, Kelly? You ever watch team? his Twitch? Jesus. Oh, that's true. Fuck. You play with James when he's sideways. Okay, did you not remember it was moonshine? Or, I mean, it's basically moonshine. What? 
Did you not remember? It smells so good. You're going to love it. No, I don't like sweet potatoes. Take a drink, you little Suzy Q. Oh, oh, you didn't even... Dr- I want you to know I haven't <laughs> sipped this one yet. That They're the same. Do it to touch your lips? Yeah. Put it in. <laughs> <laughs> Just a tip. Don't make me do it. It's good. It's real good. I think you're going to like that one. Dan, <laughs> Sean calling Dan a bad sport. Pop meat cow. Oh, isn't that the fucking truth? I'm going to... I need a fucking second. Right, let's get this over. Yeah, I'm gonna have some Gatorade. Oh, that's a godsend. Oh, don't say things like that out loud. Could you have waited for me to drink? I haven't tasted this yet. Oh, go ahead. Could you have waited? Ah, it would have been polite. Liberty Lightning's not bad. It would have been very polite for you to not say it like that before I drank it. You know, Scott Erickson. Fucking. <laughs> what I miss is doing push-ups with Elvis Squad Bravo's mom. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, that's interesting. If I was Sazerac and Sean was co-hosting Bourbon Junkies, I wouldn't send any B-Tech samplers either. Fuck. We talked about it on Twitch the other night when you weren't there. Fuck you. They asked when we were getting some, and I go, Sean's low-key mad about that. Never. Okay, this is not a godsend. This is way chiller. I think we just both just hit it. Like, if we go back to what we right. had before, we it's would think, It's that shock to your yeah. palate. Yeah. Okay. Rich McAmeo. On a lighter note, Dan, thanks for turning me on to the Lost Monarch. Great value. Yeah. Hey, thanks for the Super Chat, man. I hope you enjoy that lot. Yeah, I read that one. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like rocket yeah. sauce. I, I hope you enjoy that Lost Monarch, dude, because it's fantastic. And do the can if you can. And we wouldn't mess with you if you wouldn't, if you couldn't take it, Dan. Dan, calm down before you start yelling at us to get off your lawn. Bro, listen, you guys are <laughs> fucking assholes, right? Chirp like Shorzy. Fuck, I love that. Okay. What was your favorite thing we drank out of the stuff we just drank? The 113. Oh, or the Frey Ranch. Fuck. See, I'm for me, it's between the... It's got to be the Frey Ranch for me, honestly. It's between the Frey Ranch and the uh, Chattanooga yeah, 113. For me, I like that a lot. I think it's the Frey Ranch. Okay. I'm going to move, both good. move this stuff out of the way. We'll play the game. We need the laptop because the instructions are in the email. Just pull it on your phone. Oh, do you need to see that? Yeah. For what? Charles. Hilger. Yeah, nailed it. Welcome to BJ Fam. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. I, you know what, bro? <laughs> Keith Edwards, if we weren't assholes, you'd complain about it. That's fair. Yeah. Um, I have a giant dent in my head. I was just going to, I don't know why I said that part first. Give your balls a tug, you tit fucker. Uh, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. we got to back up. <laughs> so I did that you in uh, the video, and mm-hmm. you're like, that's from Letter Kenny. And someone went back, they're like, holy shit. In one of the old videos, you said, I'm going to need you to take about 10 to 15 off there. <laughs> and so, also from Leonard Cunny. And you were just like, eh, okay. All right, let's do the game. All right. So, here's what we're doing. What are we doing? We're reading. I'll take some water. This. Yeah, you should have brought some. Um, Joey, video idea. I thought the lid was off then. I'm like, well, fucking A. I mean, you drank all the Gatorade in the fridge. Haven't refl- no, replenished it. No, I didn't. Oh, I, okay. Hey, you drank okay. all the water. Okay. In the okay. Fridge. Okay. Haven't okay. Replenished okay. It. okay. Okay. Sounds true. Yeah. I don't like, like Gatorade. I would come here like and they're just fucking gone. I, that's not for me. That's <laughs> cookie. I fed it to cookie. If I can help you secure the Redwood Empire pick, what do scroll down? <laughs> I get it. They're only a few miles from me. A bottle. I don't know. Go knock on their door and be like, yo, email them back. If you had 2000. Would you buy two very high quality bottles or five high quality? Five. Yeah. Five. For two grand? Ooh, yeah. I don't know. You can get a Maker's 20 and an Eagle Rare 17. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with the five. What five? A five King Kentucky. Those are grand each, so good luck. No, no, you're going secondary. <laughs> yeah. Why are you doing that? Because that's how you obtain those things, unfortunately. All right. Okay, five. let's go secondary. I go five. Old Forest right, President get- Choice, Old Forester President Choice. And then that three more times. Bard's time. Just get a like a discovery four, three, whatever. You could buy like twelve of those. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do f- ten, fifteen of those. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be, yeah. I'd, I'd buy more than less. Been online tonight for a while, but just got sound love Dan slash Savant. But what? I'm pretty sure Zachary Jones is on your team. He just said, "Fuck it, stab Dan." <laughs> oh, 
Whoa, 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 whoa. When you're on the fucking Bre- dark no, no, side, no. you can't. Tyler, it's breakfast. <laughs> is- I don't know what the fuck's happening in chat tonight. You guys are fucking wild. When you you were like, this is a good breakfast whiskey. <laughs> breakfast. Nope. Nobody says breakfast. Oh, I will get the clip. What, did I say breakfast? No, you're like breakfast. You put a like a weird it, fucking. I'm drinking in the morning. Everybody relax, right? Marcus Upchurch, keep up good work. Thanks. Thank you, dude. There's a gift too. So what the fuck are you Shut doing? Your mouth, man. I'm gonna put them on the fucking table. Okay. Here's what we're doing. I don't need that. Okay, we have gifts. This one's mine. You wanna read it? This one's Sean's. Yeah, don't open them, Pausey. Okay. So now Joey sent us a game, right? We have things to do. Can you not see it? Your dumb I, eyes? No, I can't fucking read hey, it. There's a bag in watch. the fucking way. Just, no, just lean. No, lean over. I can't. Lean. I, ah, no, I tweet my back. Okay, here are the rules. Each question will relate to a gift with your name on it with the corresponding number on the question envelope. <laughs> already lost. You're already lost. You're such a fucking loser. I ran a charity. 15K just to raise awareness. <laughs> 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 Are you doing Letter Kenny shit right yeah. now? Yeah. Stop. With the le- Sean is literally a fucking dog with the squirrel uh, shit. Hey, bro. Go fuck yourself. Listen. You laid down an agenda and forgot no, after I, five minutes. I know what it is. All I right. just got off topic because you read chat and then I want to talk. Uh, okay. Ready? Rules. Okay. Each question will relate to a gift with your name on it with a corresponding number on the questioned envelope. Two. You will get the question right. You will get to keep the gift. Three, you get the question wrong, you have to give the gift to the other person. At the end, you have the chance to win all your gifts back. We all know what you will have to do to get it back. Malort, I found it. Where was it? It was behind the pound hound. Shucks. It was hiding. Yep. And I drank it and realized not, oh. I am no longer immune. So. We through? We good on that? We're good. All right. Now. Hey, look. Back hey, up. Question, I'm going to. Cheat. Do it like this. Cheat. Damn, that's not Naked Twister. See you Thursday, Dan. Fuck. Okay. Uh. Okay. So question one is on top. We have gifts here, gifts there, gifts in the bag, and then... Gift one. Gift number one. Okay. Are we just supposed to open that one? Because it's for both of us? No. Not if we get it right, I guess. Maybe we'll we'll both get number one right. All right. So while we do this, I'm going to pour whiskey into a glass so I can drink it. Where's my black Glen at? Oh my fucking lord! Oh my. I can't with you. No, no, my mic. Was like I wasn't it. gonna let you find it. My mic it... was in front of it. Look at. I literally can't see it like this because the mic's here. Oh, you've never. Hey, could you read the fucking thinger? Or you were like, oh, the bags are too big. Okay, I'm gonna pour whiskey. I love. I, I thought you were just gonna hit me with it. So. Dude, the other day when you were ringing out that. Yeah. I thought you let one go through the wall. Seriously, <laughs> just. Phew. Will you grab me no. a, a <laughs> double rye finish situation, please? Hope you like that one. That noise, when you aren't paying attention, sounds like you're destroying everything. <laughs> like, oh, this one's okay. This is a gin one. Uh, can you get me the Railbird uh, Kentucky? What just happened? I don't know. I'm in a black glen. I can't see. It's like being fucking blind when yeah. you pour whiskey, but only for that moment. What? Which one do you want? Nothing. I just wanted to make you get up. There's no railbird over here. You're dumb. It's yeah, right that there. one. The railbird Kentucky spirit. Right there. That's not rail. Is that? That's not a railbird pick. Do is you it? want to say rare? Is, is it railbird? Ra- yep. I'm gonna let you have that one. You know. There is a railbird pick in here, though. There is, and you know who they're from? Yeah. Justin's House of Bourbon. Yeah. This is from Railbird 101. Okay, Nailed I just it. want to get it straight, you know, so we're all in the same page. <sighs> Drew Fierstenberg here. Sorry for the late join. Pumped to receive my BJ's Glen today. Team Dan, face poor. Nailed it. Thank you. Dan, so Dan had nothing to do with that. This is a gin. <sighs> what do we have in here that's Railbird? You dumb little fucker. <laughs> there's something in here that is Railbird. Yeah, I just told you, buddy. We Where's have, it at, though? There's an old Forrester Barrel Proof pick, right? There's an old Carter. Yep, there it is. Hey, no just, things. Right? Just no thing. Yeah. All right. So, anyway, <laughs> so anyways, this is my double rye finished. Uh, nope, this is my gin finished double rye. 
this is the Rare Bird 101 pick of Kentucky Spirit Sean's drinking. That's actually probably, that's the best Kentucky Spirit I've had by far. So, we're getting into the thinger. That hurt your ears too. Yes, that was why? the loudest clap I've ever done. No, in my it was life. like a pierce. Oh, it's like somebody took a knife to my it's fucking like I broke the sound barrier. Oh. Jesus Christ, Brad Smith. I we got a carbon monoxide detector out here, and it's not beeping, or at least we can't hear it's it. It's unplugged, but I don't think it's working. Uh, DNL Project Forty Maduro and storage fish oil is really? pretty decent. That's interesting. What a fucking flex. That's interesting. Move the bags in front of you. No shit. Dan put him in the worst well, fucking spot ever. Okay, you know what God, I hate you. <laughs> Sean's like, Dan didn't have it. Bro, I'm, I am, I was born of it, right? You've merely adapted it. You're dumb? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to adapt to. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't give you the context. Somebody <laughs> mentioned the patron rewards in chat. <laughs> And you said I had nothing to do with it. And I said what I said. I said the uh, Batman line. Okay, yeah. question one. Ready. Railbird are picks from Justin Tells of Bourbon. Yeah. They're doing Railbird. Like, that's what they put on the front of them is Railbird. Yeah, it literally says Railbird. Or Railbird's doing them through Justin Tells of I don't know. And they're really good, though. Rare bird. Cause that's a, so this is a person. And it's through Justin Tells of Bourbon, though. No, that is this one's not? not. I thought the, they they did it. Well, I, I don't know what you're talking about at all. I have no idea what you're talking about right now. I have no idea if... Anything you're saying is public. I don't know anything what you're saying right now. I think you're saying fake news, conspiracy okay. theory, <laughs> tinfoil hat shit. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> oh my fuck. This one was his pick from last year, we'll say. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> question numero fucking canceled. <laughs> Who I won? I don't think we can get canceled for that. Oh, so this is why, he, this, this is why this has both our names on it. We literally can't get it wrong. Oh. Who won the Bardstown Bourbon Company World's Top Whiskey Taster in 2020? Michael Klein. I saw him with that chat. I was just going to say the same fucking thing. Tony Bag of Donuts. Thanks, Junkie. He's got my Glennon Flask. Five on Sean to win. Sorry, Dan. He's got to win once. Okay, that's fair. That's a fair statement. I'm still beating you in BJ battles. <laughs> no. Nope. Yep. No, nope. I refuse to even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Okay. So this is gift number one. Joey said that he sent us things because he <laughs> loves us. Oh, we got to open those boxes, too, from Dan and Julie. It's a counter for strokes. Holy it's a stroke counter. Fucking shit. I don't think it'll go high enough, though. It's I don't gonna, know. If, wait, wait, wait. If this doesn't go hey, to double digits. Can we kill all digits. our bottles with that, too? No, it only goes to 10. Oh, fuck. Well, That's I mean, you tens. could. Yeah. yeah, but you'd have to. It's a lot of 10s. That's what he said. Dan's at 9. I know about 1. <laughs> Jerry Black, for the marriage counseling fund, daddies are fighting. Right? <laughs> Look at that. This is amazing. So... Thank you, Joey, for the. St it literally says stroke counter on it, which yeah. makes it the best. We'll put a picture on then the, the Sean or two counters, and then literally says stroke counter in the middle. <laughs> Sweet Cthulhu, ask oh, if we I might ask. I might do. <laughs> Tisn't the season. <laughs> it's a summer sport, <laughs> bro. I <laughs> this thing. I'm, I'm gonna fidget with that. I like how Zachary Jones is saying it. 550 likes. I'll chug Malort. <laughs> <laughs> Ten likes away. <laughs> he just picked an amount that it was like we could do that in the next three seconds. Yeah, all right. It's a key fob <sighs> to a Woody Station wagon, lampoon style. About that's amazing. Okay, question number two. We got a chance here. Okay. I thought that was the stroke counter versus like that was fucking rude. I didn't do these right. No, it's on top. No, it's not. It's on God, the you suck. I went too many. Question number two. Oh, oh my. the bags. Getting my first Bardstown from a friend visiting Kentucky. No one comes to uh, Virginia. Thoughts on the Fusion? Uh, I don't know. We had not had any of the newer ones. What? The Fusions, Bardstown Fusions. I've I've ha heard from people who have had had them. They aren't worth the money. Yeah, because they're well over 100 No, no, no. The Fusions are only like 60 to 80 but that's still... What's the other expensive one they have? Discovery. I thought they had two expensive ones. Well, then they have the, all their wine-finished ones, which are like 130 yeah. Fusion's okay. the one that has, like, the two- and three-year whiskey okay. blended yeah. into it. Yeah, well, I, we, I'd pass in the Fusion. But if you're... Get just the, get John get, Bowman. Just, no, just get doing? the Discoveries. If you if you have access to Bardstown's, get the Discoveries. Is that Stormy on your hat? Basically, it's Knox. Stormy <laughs> is uh, the German Shepherd in Leonard Kenny. Stop mentioning 
You know Fusion what? is 60 ish. Okay. Stop mentioning what this stupid fucking show. What? I like how everybody thought I watched it and hated it. That makes me so happy. I'm thinking back, yeah, because we had the. Um, were you going to read the question? Hey. You read it to yourself. Yeah. You, you haven't. I know, because you've been fucking chatting. You're just opening it for the answer, but haven't said it to answer. me, though. Okay. Do you want me to say the question or do you want to keep talking? Go ahead, bud. All right. <laughs> Who won? <laughs> Listen, we can, I don't think we can get any of these wrong. I don't know if they get hard after this. Who won the 2019 Advent Calendar Contest between the Bourbon Junkies? If this doesn't say this fucking savant on the f- paper. Damn. It what? says Sean on the paper. Oh, the tw- did you say 2019? That was two years ago. I did win. Fuck, we have to pass these to each other. <laughs> I thought it was a 2020. <laughs> oh, my God. I was looking at it and thought 2020. There you go. There you go, buddy. <laughs> now, do we open them? I guess. Or do we open them at the end? We. It didn't say we can open them. No, no, no. I feel like we got to go do it at the end to see if we want to fucking get our shit back. Okay. Like, because that could be a good one. Okay. Bar- this could be three. a shit. Yoshi, Fuck if you're in me. here, tell us if we're supposed to open them yet. I, I won and couldn't even fucking say that. Hey, quest- I keep pulling five up. Sorry. Question Sorry, three. Yosh. In the Bourbon Junkies battle, number three. Oh, my fuck. Oh. What are we on? Uh, that was literally at least a year ago. Probably. You guys are dumb. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Joey literally made it so we could get those right, yeah. and we fucked it up. Ugh. Okay. In the Bourbon Junkies battle number three, so BJ battle number three, which he did say was the single barrel video, with Michter's 10 and Elmer T. Lee, which bottle took second giving Dan his first win in the series. I, I don't say anything out loud because I don't know right now. So. Okay. Do you know? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. 50, Wait, 50. if you get it right yeah. and I get it wrong, do I have to give mine to you? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Joey said hard enough for you yet? Fucking A. Okay, so this is this one then. That's what's on the line right now. Okay. There's Makers 10 and Elmer. It's a single barrel. Oh, the BJ Bells, we pick the bottles, don't we? Mm-hmm. Now you're getting a dirt. I don't remember what the other two are. Fuck. One had to be E.H. Taylor. That had to win, though. That would have won if we put that in there. What came in second? What a fucking question, Joey. <sighs> Do you really know for real? Mm-hmm. That's annoying as shit. That you immediately fucking remember. Sean, hey, by the way, has the worst memory of all time. So when he's right on things like this, it's more annoying. Because tomorrow he'll forget that we had this question. What? So let me get, take a drink of this whiskey and... You can Holy fuck, it's a 50-50. Just fucking say something. He's not saying that one of these two won and came in second. He's saying there was four bottles. Uh-huh. And these were two of them. I need to read the question. Because you That's apparently... Fine. No, I read it right. You're dumb. The single barrel video with Mictor's 10 LT, which bottle took second. So he's not saying one of those took second. He's saying those are two of the bottles of the four. Giving Dan his first win. And I don't think Elmer took, I don't think Elmer got second, dude. Personally. In Bourbon Junkies battle number three, I think. What would I put in a single barrel? What would, yeah, what would the other single barrels be? I remember the Michter, the 2018 Mictor's 10. That I was, was much there. more confident on this because so I was misremembering it? it. Okay. This double ride gin finish smells like cinnamon Which? botanical. Dan L., that's interesting. I don't know if I've had a cigar with that whiskey that I enjoyed yet. But I also haven't had it. I don't think I've had a Maduro wrapper cigar with it. Hmm. Zachary Jones said you were literally fucking there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. And we edited it, right? But here we are. Would it have been that? Maybe. I don't fucking know. What? We're just looking around. I feel like we shouldn't be looking. Mm-mm. I'm going to... What came in second? I'm going to... I would say that Mictor's 10 came in second. 
Elmer didn't. I know that. Elmer came dead fucking last. I think Ian Taylor single barrel came in first if it was in there. And I think we had one then. I'm going to say I think the Mictors 10 took second. I'm going to read it one more time out loud for the crowd. Because I feel like those are the two options we're supposed to be picking. Okay. I'm going to read it with punctuation so you guys, like, can kind of make out what I'm saying. In the Bourbon Junkies battle number three, with Mictors 10 and Elmer T. Mm -hmm. Lee, comma, which bottle took second, giving Dan his first win in the series? Heavy Mictors 10. I'm reading this as, in the Bourbon Junkies battle number three, that had Mictors 10 and Elmer, which bottle took second? Like, those came third and fourth, and we don't know first and second? Or first. Mictors 10 could have come in first. Um, Elmer came dead fucking last. All right. We have 30 seconds to solidify our answers. Okay. I got an answer. Okay, me too. All right. John J. Bowman. Plans. Shit. I don't think either of us are right. I don't. He's going to be like, you fucking idiots. It said Mictors 10 on the front. That's yeah. That's what he's going to say. But if it's between those, I think Mictors 10. <laughs> oh, we're so fucking dumb. You're drinking it right now. Really? Wild Turkey Kentucky, Wild Turkey, Kentucky Spirit took second. I don't fucking remember that. So. You would have put it in there, too, which is the worst part, right? Probably. <laughs> I guess. We switch. Ah, oh, I like how we're like, this is so easy. And then Joey goes, is it hard enough now? You fucking idiots. I don't remember putting a wild turkey in there. Bro, who, which, now, let's think about it like this. non store pick. If we reshot that video, neither of us would pick a Kentucky Spirit no, bottle. No, fucking, yeah, ETL would be yeah. in there. Jeez, oh, Pete. Okay, Joey's like, you guys are fucking dumb. All right, question four. Did it again. Ooh, one more cast got that mini sheepdog. It's a great knife. Oh, I, rem- I know this one. Thank God I know one. Then let me read it. On Patreon, what bottle did Dan flip on court? Oh, fuck. Did you really not? Oh, thank I God. I have to remember. Oh, no, 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 I remember. Damn I remember. It. Okay, you, okay, you say it first. Plan straight from the barrel. Yep, that was it. That was 100% it. Rodney Pierce. Yeah! Okay, so yeah! We, I'm going to open it just to confirm. What's up, so boys? We were wrong earlier. Thank you for Super Champ, buddy. Yep. I'll never forget because I literally remember going, that's a $100 bottle we can't replace. <laughs> okay. Was that, what question was that? Four. Sean's so fucking antsy. You can't fucking count. Oh my God. The behind the scenes is fantastic. Because at one point in time, you're like, what day are we on? Like 20, 30. I was like, say it to my fucking face right now. <laughs> what fucking day did we just do, Dan? My boss watched one and she watched number 12. And she goes, you guys are a little slurry. <laughs> yeah. And I go, don't watch 6, 12, 18, or 24. Because those are the last days we shot in a row every time. All right. Question number five, last question. In what video does Dan introduce Cookie's name to the rest of the BJ fam? Oh, oh there's, there's no fucking way ever that we get this right. There's no fucking way. That's not even a confusing question. What mm-hmm. video did I tell people Cookie? Holy shit. Zach, see, yeah, we have jobs. Dude, this is like Sean's a chemist. I'm a way fucking old building shit. Mm-hmm. Has to be. I have an idea of we. I think we were against the that wall. Yes, I would guess because I, I don't you. think we were when we were still shooting into the gym. Fuck, dude. I'm uh, gonna say if you really love Cookie, you'd know. Fuck. Now listen, Cookie's a fucking asshole sometimes, but sometimes he's not. Don't say it out loud yet. All right, how about we just have a minute? Um, what do we got to... Okay, like... Give let's, me 30 seconds here. Let's go... It's not going to be episode number. No. We're just going to say, like, the gist of the video. We'll do that? Yeah. Okay. Because it could be a Thursday, which would have, like, a fucking title. Yeah. Okay, the gist of the video is going to be the fucking answer. <laughs> what video does Dan introduce Cookie's name to the rest of the BJ fam? Oh, I got an idea. I'm going to just say it. Okay, hold on. Wait. <laughs> Got this. Jeopardy I, music. Okay, do, I think... Do, do, do. Are you done? You're yeah. not going to change? No. I think it's a Thursday. Yeah. You do too? Yep. It's not the old Forrester Whiskey War, because that, that one was, was the, like, against yep. the gym. Yep. Not the white wall. That was when we still had the old intro, too. I think that was the first Whiskey War we shot, actually. I think so. The, the I bet we were Forrester talking about whiskey. War. I guarantee we were. Um, Man, Cookie must have jumped on the table. Well, otherwise, I wouldn't have brought Cookie up, I don't think. You know what I'm saying? Like, Cookie had to have 
involved himself. And then I'd be like, oh, that's Cookie. Yeah. All right. What, 15 to 20 seconds, something like that? Um, At least I think this video came out on a Thursday. How about that? Well, you know if it wasn't a review, it's a Thursday. Yeah, but it it might have been a... I don't know if you release this on a random Saturday. Oh, okay, I see. I, we don't think we did Saturdays then. Okay. Um, <laughs> what whiskey award did we... Okay, I got. I have an idea. Okay. Mine is... We did a blind whiskey war of BTAC yep. that was sent to us by oh, it was so cold then. by community. Yep. Um, I I don't know the name of it. I'm just gonna go with that. Yeah, one. Uh, I'm gonna say how to build a whiskey shelf or something. Oh, whatever, that, like that whatever the fuck it was, because you guess. were you were like building and you were around the the, yeah, the gym a bunch. Too. Yeah. So that's my one. Thank God. Top five beginner bourbons posted September 13th, 2018. Wow. Top five beginner bourbons. 1792 small batches in there. I kind of want to watch that now. Watch the other day. No, I kind of want to watch like me introducing Cookie, Cookie into the channel. Um, Man. That's so This is like watching two dementia patients argue over the events of a war they didn't actually fight in. Fuck. Okay. Okay, so we got. So we switch. Switch on fives. Now how do we, wait, how do we decide what's the other thing? I, I feel like, are we doing this right? Joey, hold on. Because if we both get it wrong, do we just switch? At the end, if we drink Malort, we get our gifts back. Is that what it says? I think he he intended this, that one of us would get it right and the other one would get it wrong, so we wouldn't have the even amount of shit. I know, but if <laughs> but you, if you we want... We have equally fucked up. Oh, we can open these whenever. Well, I mean, I'll look, and I'll see if I want mine back. <laughs> Of course, that's what's in this fucking bag, dude. Yeah, if we drink more, we can have it have our own gifts. Oh, okay. You're really that's what he said, man, aren't you? That's, no, that's what he said. He said yes. <laughs> Is it candy? <laughs> There's pretzels in here. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that Malort. Wait, hold on. Uh, oh my! Oh, this one's get, oh, This one's Sean's. Okay, hold on. I opened your number five. I'm gonna keep your stuff. Like no. This. What? Yeah. Oh, you know, he said I thought gonna, you were just gonna say I'm gonna keep your shit. I'm <laughs> allowed like, to. <laughs> Not if I drink Malort. Listen, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, these are Dots pretzels. Uh, these are Skittles. Okay. A lot oh, of Skittles. I actually fucking like Skittles, so good call It's on three that. bags of Skittles, if you're wondering. Okay, wait. These are... Okay, oh these God. are Sean's right here, too. Uh, so this is these your, are Dan. your number five, so everybody knows. This is, is a Robert, Robert Peel. Fuck, I'm definitely drinking it's a, Malort. That's a box press. And then this is an Opus X... Yoshi's our Opus guy. He is. When I saw cigars, I kind of assumed there was an Opus in here somewhere. This is a Fuente, a Fuente, Opus X. No, I'll keep which your one. shit. It's fine. What's that one? What number is that one? Well, I can just, I made out that label right Here's there. There's an Opus situation there. What oh, is that's an Angel Share and an Opus X. I think that's, so that Opus is the same as this in a different size. I really want that Robert Peel, though. Hmm. Uh, Dan three. Let's see what we're at here. Wait. Oh my gosh, this one's got the mo. Oh, is this one of the reptiles? <gasps> That's one of those MBK yeah, reptiles. Prince Otto. Yeah, Prince Otto. Okay, so these are these are yours. All right. These would also be yours. Joey, thanks one's for a sending pack all. Of a <laughs> fuck. Joey, thanks for sending all. This he mixed those dude. in with the Skittles. Actually, I good luck. Sounds good to me, man. What the fuck's the downside? You know what I mean? Oh no. <laughs> oh damn it. Oh, Blind Faith. Oh, shit. All Out King. This one's mine. All Out Kings. Oh, it's an 88. Ooh, and a and the Illusion. Aviva. Okay, these ones would be mine. Which ones are? So oh, those are Jasper? mine? Those would be yours, okay. yes. All right, here we go. I just want the dots more than anything. <laughs> be honest here. And then... God damn. I am very embarrassed that, that it was 2019 and you... Just fucking went so hard at it, and I was like, "Oh, well, then he Dan won." Bro, I read it, and, and thought, I didn't even like I hear it. Or we're think in twenty twenty right now. These are mine. Oh shit! Those are the, I wanted those to get cool. some of these. So those are the coronets, the the T fifty two. That's not, so I, these are supposed to be fantastic as a, a coronet cool goes. Size. Okay. And oh, well, that's a Vita. Oh, wow, you're drinking. I just fucking had a thing. Bro, I'm not. I just took too much time off. <laughs> if they drink, do they have to swap all the gifts or just the ones that were they're going to go to the other? I think just we, the, we get our gifts back if we drink the Malort. 
roll. That's not supposed to be in your body, man. I swear to God. It's not that bad. Oh, it's there it always, is. Uh, like... So happy it kicked Oh, in. fuck. Okay. It tastes like dirt and pine needles every yeah, time. Yeah, it's fucking terrible. All right, those are yours. Don't touch them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Joey. Yeah, I'll thank, trade you. I'll Joey, trade you for that angel share. <laughs> Joey, thank you. You still have Angel Share over there. I do. I just I've got one. I opened your shit today because I'm a good I friend. I opened mine today too. Did you? I, I just opened it. Um, I've got. I think uh, Alex sent me two Robert Peels. I think I still have one, but uh, the ones that he sent me have a red band. I don't, I don't know the difference you... between the red and the gold band. I'll let you know the gold one's good. Why? Um, Why do you know that, Dan? Because I had a gold one. You got mad at me for it. Remember? Remember that? I told you to kick my ass. Yeah. Remember, I'm like, oh I don't yeah, fucking die. I took a God, nap. you're an asshole. Now the gold, uh, dude. Gold these uh, NBK reptiles. Oh my gosh, bro. I. They're so <laughs> Fuck, good. that's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> um, dude, these things are awesome. I remember you picked those up, and you're like, dude, they're like a uh, limited NBK, and that was right after we got them in uh, one of the Lux boxes. Yeah. Dude, NBK. That, everything we've had from NBK now has been really good. I, I'm actually very excited about these, and I think these are. Probably I the cheapest ones in here. I haven't seen those. The the little coronets. Yeah. Yeah, because you can buy a box of like 20 oh, of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Dude, Joey, thank you, buddy. Seriously. Thank you for sending You sent cool stuff, man. This is a bunch of stuff we don't already have, too. So yeah. I appreciate that. Uh, I was just. I got one. I was literally just talking about how much I love Blind Faith earlier. Illusions are fucking amazing, obviously. There's. These that two, 88. These two opuses, and then I... These that all-out kings, kings are I fucking wild, dude. I am in dude. love with uh, Caldwell stuff. Yeah, it's well. the the Lizard King is the, the limited edition NBK. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, so bag of donuts, yeah, Sean, you're coming around. Not that bad in a week. You won't even care. Yup. Bro, here's the thing. Up front, it just kind of is like, eh. And then afterwards, it's like, oh. Thank you, Joey. Yeah. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, and thank you so much. Fun, this dude. is awesome. Also, apparently we're stupid. Come to find out who would have thought. Not a single one of you don't want to hear anything in fucking chat right now. So Why would you even say it? <laughs> Why would you say that? Chat would be like, oh, you're actually retarded. Oh, gosh, man. Ooh. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be honest. We should have gotten two. We For real, probably should have gotten three of those, right? Aiden said the, the 88 Madero is our personal favorite. They're so good, man. Uh, all, I got to retry an Epernay. Other than the Epernays, everything I've had from Illusione, I've really enjoyed. Yeah, we weren't a wild, we're wild big fan. That of was the one I got a lot of pepper on. What was the, um, Rodney, email us at uh, bourbonjunk at gmail.com, buddy. Um, what was the, <laughs> what were the uh, ones that we smoked with Alec for the pairing live stream we did with him? Remember, they were they were some weird ass. The Illusion, uh, I called it the wrong name. I called it like the Dick Car or something like that. I called it the wrong name the whole time. He might remember. Okay, Zach, listen, he can look it up and we couldn't, right? Damn it. Zachary, what? You, you know what? Hot 10, that's what yeah, it was. Yeah, hot, because he kept saying hot. Hot 10, yeah. or hot, hot 10. Hot 10. God damn it. I was like, dude, I knew I had a weird vowel in there sound because you were like fucking just annoying me with it. All right. Man, that that more is not leaving. <laughs> you know what you do? You just, I thought you were going to drink more. Like, I'm here. No, I'm taking the sticker off. Oh, it's not coming off. All right, the sticker's staying on. Wow. What's funny is I put that wild turkey in there, and it tasted like Malort at first. wonder why. Because you just drank more. Fuck, is that bad, dude? Okay. So, that was a fun Plus fucking one game, dude. That was a fun game. All right, so what we're going to smoke tonight is a gatekeeper in celebration of Alec and Bradley making top seven. Now, what did they? What was the number eight one? They beat them. Oh, the Oliva. The Oliva the, v. Mil the Millennial. Mother dude i swear to god i'm just like i'm i know what i want series say, five and my tongue's like <laughs> the whole fucking time i swear to god <laughs> my tongue feels like fucking goofy right now dude uh so jordan if you go on the do you mean fedex or ups yeah don't go don't have you uh hand deliver don't use usps <clears throat> felonies you what mean usps yeah them yeah okay Ugh. oh yeah dano the the boxes are right here Let's do it. So Dan L. and Julie sent us these things. These boxes. Oh, I forgot about that. 
I don't know what they are. He said not to open them till they were both here and we were on the live stream. Oh, is that what the little one is? Yes. I, the little one, I think, is yours. And also, the one, yeah, go into Amazon and just look at, uh, bu- what are they, bubble mailers, like wine shippers? Wine shippers. Wine shippers. Really cheap. Definitely uh, secure your shit. Ricky opened it, retaped it. I was like, they sent it with painter's tape on this there? This one, no, they didn't. Ricky opened it, retaped it because she thought it was. She just opens all the Amazon mail because she buys so much fucking Amazon stuff. She's like, that must be mine. Oh, my God. <laughs> What? Hold on. Wait. What the fuck is this thing? The fuck is it? Is there a sheet of paper? Oh, there's a paper. Hold on. Oh God. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't say you had to do it live, but this works. Dan says. Ooh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's a, an actual murder. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is fucking awesome. Okay, this is a murder, murder weapon. weapon for real. Dude. It says wild turkey. Yeah. It's like a talon. Wait, why is it? Hold on. Dude, it's that fucking. Uh, that is a fucking I don't want to spin it, but it was the one that he was spinning. It's a kar- karambit? Karambit? Yeah, that. Okay. Karambit knife is for Sean. The karambit, <laughs> yeah. That was the one that he was fucking spinning and opened the top off with. Hold on. The CSGO knife. You gotta read the rest. Holy shit. The Wonder Woman shield. That's what's in this box. Is for Dan to defend yourself from Sean. <laughs> I need to see that. So he said, "Rip Dan, <laughs> dude, this thing's fucking not small. Okay, <laughs> this is not. All right, you want to test it? Tiny. I, I think that knife goes right through that oh fucking my God. shield. Hey, you guys didn't give me proper protection. Dude, just this a thing heads up. would. Dude, this thing is so fucking heavy. Feel that. Okay, this is brass knuckles and a fucking knife. Hold on. Dan's in trouble. Hold on. Useful for carry? Are you going to go... Th- oh, my God. I want to cut the tag off. Oh, it's sharp. Okay. <laughs> I, ju- very, I just watched you go... Whoop. Very fucking sharp. <laughs> Wait, hold on. And it's Damascus. That looks awesome. Dude, it'd go right through that thing. You're going to fucking I'm not going to stab, stab myself, dude. This is a long ways from my body. Line of fire. I, that could easily go through this fucking shield. I love Wonder Woman, by the way. So I don't even... I love... I don't like... I love. Now... The old wild turkey this, handmade. You, you put this... You put your pinky in here? Yeah. And then you... I'm not spinning this shit ever. Yep. Never, ever. I will literally die immediately. I, I was like, I could do that. Hold and on. then I looked at it. I was like, I don't want to do that. Oh, my gosh, dude. Okay. I kind of like this because it feels like a claw. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wild Just, turkey. It's a talon. <laughs> okay. This says Wonder Woman <laughs> adult shield... And then it says 14 plus. A child could definitely handle it. All I right? like when he sent the text and was like, it was funnier when we were drunk. <laughs> it's hilarious now. <laughs> let's all handle, uh, Mike Fuge said, let's all handle knives safely. Okay. Okay. I handle everything safely. Relax. My body wasn't near it, bro. And I'm not pushing that hard. Here. Line of fire. Okay. Wait. Now th- that what I just did wasn't super safe, but we're fine. Shocked here. Reverse grip on the knife. Well, so look at this, bro. I This almost covers my whole fucking torso, realistically. Oh, okay, let me try. Just hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need you to let go. Okay, hold on. That, listen, I, I know this shield is a fucking joke, dude. Listen, Just, hold on. This feels like a murder weapon. You know what I do kind of like this shield for, though? I can be as fat as I want behind this fucking shield, and you guys can <laughs> fuck off. You know what I mean? It's not dull. I'm going <sighs> to give it that. Oh, I'm gonna I, do this. I love the feel of Damascus. Oh damn! I'm gonna be honest. She's not real thick. This thing's heavy, dude, bro. That is a real fucking knife. Like that's not like a toy knife. That's no. a real fucking oh, knife. This is a murder. Okay, I is it? Well, it says wild turkey. Is this legal? <laughs> they used the wild turkey logo almost. Wild turkey. Nope, wild turkey, handmade, Damask. Okay, hold on. Look at the Damascus word. It's, it's sticker. <laughs> so I bet you they make a bunch of these, of and then course. they just throw the, yeah, the sticker on right. these. Is this legal? Where's the? I know the. Is this a? This is from Wild Turkey. Is that fuck? Is that from Wild Turkey? I don't know. She said it's real. Is oh. that from the? 
I know it's a real fucking knife. Michael, I have Gibson so many knives. Bug out better. I have so many knives, and I have never died. Right? Yeah. Uh, Stanley Wagner Jr. wants to know when the Hungarian cigar is coming out, and what the hell is candied sugar? Um, like cotton candy, like confection sugar, yeah. confectionery. I like that I can just rest on this. <laughs> Last BJ stream ever as Dan drops a knife onto his femoral <laughs> artery and Sean just watches him bleed out. I'm going to drink, too. What if I just had the shield in the wrong place, dude? Aaron stirs it. Nailed it. Uh, favorite AB cigar, Kintsugi, and then... Uh, Blind Faith is up there for me. Really? Fire Rares are up there. Really? Oh, okay. Okay. You're going to just throw Fine Rare out there? I threw two out. I'd say Tempest Natural. It's probably, like, one of my go-tos. I've... I always just have them. I smoke a bunch of them. I like those a lot. What are they? Tempest Naturals. Not one of my favorites, but they're really good. It's not my favorite. It's your favorite? I, it's what I tend to smoke he the said, most. said, what's of. your favorite? Uh-huh. Wait, what was his question? Which one do you smoke the most? Mm-hmm. Or was it, which is your favorite? Mm-hmm. <laughs> or things start working again. I said that like an hour ago. Here we are. <clears throat> Kintsugi's probably my favorite right now. Here we are. That's fair. The Kintsugi... Oh, put hey. it... Oh. Oh. That's yeah. how you're supposed to hold it. Because you can <laughs> punch people now. You don't, have to, you don't even have to knife them. Oh, my... God. I... Don't... Don't look at me in your eyes like that, dude. Oh, I just want to cut your arm off. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I just want to... I don't... Don't... I don't want you to spin it near me. Like, that makes me so fucking nervous. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, it's like it's almost like you gave Sean a gun at this. Point. <laughs> like, you know, it's good. It makes it makes me feel very nervous <laughs> trying to spin it too. Right? This thing is heavy. Oh, like it's gosh. not just willy nilly. Like this makes my bench made, uh, like feel cheap. Yeah, because of how light it is. That thing weighs two pounds. Like that's a fucking heavy ass knife. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Holy now shit. here I found the one downside to the shield covering my fat. I can't reach anything, so I'm gonna need you to get the cutter and torch, please. Okay. And then I would like to use them as well. Okay. James. You're being a bitch. But thanks for being here, buddy. I love you. Good night. <sighs> Literally punch and follow through is how that is used properly. Well, there you go. That was Night Angel. I with this thing last. What? <laughs> what? what? What's happening? <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Yep, I knew you were going to be an asshole, and I can reach this one, you little fucker. So. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything yet. Probably um, not. I'm going to enjoy this nice cigar. Oh, my gosh. It's almost like this limited edition Alec Bradley cut the tip off perfectly. That's actually probably one of the best cuts I've had with this thing, honestly. Okay. Dude, look at that. That is a perfect cap cut. You see that? Yep. Totally, bro. I feel like I could do some shit. I feel like I could sled on this shield, honestly. I bet you can't even fucking walk down the driveway, bud. <laughs> I went snowboarding last night. How'd you go? It was fucking incredible, dude. It feels know, good. Yeah, it's like... You gotta go about 20 feet, and you're just like, oh, okay. Well, My body figured the, it out again. I think this is the third time we went this year. Can we get an all together? You're stupid from. No, hey, Aiden, you're fucking kicked out, dude. You're in timeout. Is it not lit? No. Oh my gosh, it's not lit at all. Is this your first time? We're not doing the push up thing again. I'll, I'll fucking put it in Facebook and I want. You know it'll what? be in the Facebook group. Tommy D samples? Yeah. Wait, we had Tommy D samples, didn't we? Yeah, I drank all mine. You haven't taken yours home and drank them. Remember? Where are they at? I gave them to you. I put them on. I always, okay, people don't know this. Sean's homeless, right? So, Sean, Sean puts his clothes here and his shit, his dog collar. Give me the AM shirts. Yeah. Just all, no, just all his shit. Coffee yep. cups, fucking shakers, whatever, right? So, what I do inevitably when I clean for like B roll or like you put them? clean for the live stream, the only I put time you everything clean every, is what you just met, mentioned right there. Those are the, what you is, live in a fucking pigsty out here. Hey. Are those hey you dumb, five other days? Hey right? you dumb dumb. Are those 
the two things we do every week? No. So I clean twice a week is what I just heard out of my own fucking mouth. Thank God. Yeah, somebody's got to do it. Ricky, where's... Oh, nope. Yeah, you came in here and shot off 19 fucking glitter cannons That's in fair. bullshit. That's fair. You clean. That's fair. Who's you, Squidward now? You work out here five days a week? You clean. I don't work at these tables. I No, you just put your shit on this table. Listen to me right now. Okay. You know for a fucking fact, okay. this table's going to look like this when right. you leave tonight and I go inside, right? You and I aren't cleaning this shit up tonight. I'll move some shit. You fucking... <laughs> I'm just going to pick it all <laughs> and set it on that table. <laughs> and then leave. Then I got to fucking clean because inevitably I'll need the table for something. Can you take something. that shield off because I just want to stab it? Shield fatty? What? What? <laughs> this is actually a shell. I'm going to turn it into a oh, fucking what? shell. Okay, just because Dan has children... Doesn't mean he couldn't do some stuff out here. I do stuff out here every day. You play fucking Warzone. Oh, you, you, you don't want it. How much giveaway stuff did you pack and ship today? None. All right. Shouldn't have to. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, you guys are about to see the channel end right now. <laughs> you guys are about to fucking watch it happen. I don't need a knife. I'm just going to strangle him. See if we can get the knife first. All right, go. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> awesome carving tool. It's about to carve Sean's body. Oh! I mean, this cigar's okay. Uh, I, you know where I'd put this I probably cigar? had about six better. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was literally going to say, I'll, I could probably give it a nice <laughs> seven, dude. Ah, uh, fuck. Sean digging his own grave. Dude, fuck no. I, I He's got, got a tractor. <laughs> Dig it for me. <laughs> Sean's like, I'll pay for the gas. Just fucking dig <laughs> You're it. Trying to make our tips gently touch of there. Of course. Okay. I just kick Cookie's food over. Food dish. We're done. What Close it down. Listen to me. What? What? I said, what a guy. I drank all my fucking water. I got uh, pina colada in there. Oh, I'm not doing that with a cigar. It's really good by itself. I text you both the pick of Dan's knife that will be there. Sec you don't have to send me a fucking knife. Why would you send another one? I'm going to turn that shield into a backpack like a turtle shell. He did text us. Oh, fuck, that's awesome. I'm going to stab Sean to death with it. No, no, you chopped things with that thing. Perfect. I like chopping. Do these need to be in the set somewhere? That is a fucking machete. Okay, listen. <laughs> Ninja Turtle with engineers and count. What is it? I don't... Okay. Engine years. Is ears. He said ears. Yep. He capitalized the second E, so he meant ears for sure. Sugar kid. You're an engineer. Dan L. It's wait. Sad that it took Dan L. Super Chat to have them read about a gift that'll be there later this week. Birdhouse. <laughs> no, we're how many fucking of these? I swear to God. I swear to God, Birdhouse. I we're all, we're reading mostly fucking super chat or non super chats right now. Yeah, because you guys aren't donating. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! And Sean's bye. going under the driveway. Nah, fuck no. We got eight acres. Fuck a driveway. That's close to the cars. Oh no! I was gonna say you just paid a lot of money to have that. That's fucking true. Thing and I did rolled. a lot of work. I had to yeah. move all the shit with a tractor. I did that too, bitch. I did it for three days. Sean did it. Mind you, it's my fucking house. No shit. So <laughs> I, was gonna, like, I was gonna let okay, you go and then right. remind you of this. Now, real life gulag. Will that be on Patreon, Facebook, or YouTube? That, I think that's allowed on Patreon. I don't think of anywhere else. Real life gulag. I think that's like uh, deep web shit right there. Real life gulag. <laughs> well, you each get a 1911. Have at it. <laughs> I don't own one, so. <laughs> I'll take the at six. Night Angel said, I can't even donate and they read my stuff. Yeah. Night, Night, Night Angel's fucking. Dude, Night Angel's in Twitch chat. Night Angel's here. Night Angel's. Doing important shit right now. Doing fucking cool shit. Okay, okay old, that's the like third time old groups come up tonight. We well, have I've never even heard of it before. So that must be something new? that just like happened that uh, they're now releasing under that that label. I'm looking it up because I don't even know what it looks like. Oh. Old Kirk Willett. Yep. That, Dude, that article fucking 24 hours old or what? Okay. Those, those are go, human beings. I want to go images. I want to see what the label looks like. Is it not a is it not a bottle of whiskey? Daniel Carver said $100 super chat. 
for <laughs> listen what can somebody like send an up or put it in I just want to see what this old Kirk shit everybody's talking about is and why are they talking about it Jacob Enriquez said he sent you a pic okay thank you man because I really that's old Kirk oh that's cool as fuck is that in your fucking kitchen? It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? That's funny. <laughs> yeah, somebody sent this one. I've just been drinking it. Okay. I don't hate that. That's kind of cool. So this is supposed to taste like Willet, you're saying? It, it is Willet. It is Willet? But it's so they were saying, barrel? Yeah, because it was a Willet partnership that fell through. So there are orphan barrels that they're releasing. So who's <laughs> releasing it? I think Old Kirk. I don't know if they just went and bought so them. So Old Kirk is not part of Orphan Barrel. Like, no, no, not no, no. part of Diageo's like, So, barrel. like, they were orphaned barrels, I, not orphan barrels. That's why I got so confused, dude. Yeah. Because I was thinking it was a release under the orphan barrel shit. No, 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 no. And they, I'm like... They were orphaned. That makes so much... I'm like, how have I not even fucking heard of it, man? They brought back the Old Kirk name for this special release, Four Stars in Memphis, Tennessee, you got a barrel each. Okay. David Babb, I haven't heard anything about the Rare Perfection. I would ask... Probably good. The world's top whiskey taster, if he, he might has any information. ADHD Probably whiskey. owns six bottles. Um. <laughs> I would ask him if he knows anything about it, if you're interested. He might. I'm not saying he does, but he might. Okay. Old Kirk hit Nashville a few weeks ago, sold out immediately because of the Willet Purple Top. That's so That's fucking, wild. That, so when I Googled um, Old Kirk Willet, Reddit popped up, which makes sense that it because that's usually where a lot of that type of information goes is Facebook and Reddit, so... Need something. It's a good cigar. You know what? I haven't had one in this size in a long time. In honor of GDM, because he actually messaged us and got back to us. Did he, you see he recommented? The, yeah, he commented. commented back. Oh, he did. He talked back. Oh, I didn't see yeah, him talk. I was going to okay. tell you that. Um, see, I do read comments. Kind of. I responded to that one. That's true. And I hearted it. Yeah. I said, "Send nudes." He commented back. Okay. I'll said he still watches it. our stuff. Oh, cool. And he says that bottle's now three hundred euros. Wild turkey. Jeez, oh, please. Oh, this is another one from GDM. I'm glad that he hangs out, man. I, I didn't know that he was, like, still around at all. Wait, wait, wait. What's in here? Um, oh, my double rye. Yeah. Mm, Orphan Bell Rhetoric 22 for 150 every day. Done. Week, Holy forever. shit. That's still, to date, one of my favorite bottles we've ever had. I think, like, Angels cried into that bottle a little bit. I cried when it got empty. I cry every time I see Dan come out of my basement because I know he just fucking drinks something. I, I drink the barter house first. <laughs> You're such an ass. My hair under his hat. Oh, yeah, I need to get my hair cut. I, I bet you my hair is about mm, you're long not homeless as yours. Yet. No, 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 it's probably about as I went yours. back. Okay, so here's a little behind the scenes for everybody, including you, because we haven't talked about this yet. In the video that we put out last Thursday, which was the our favorite whiskeys of 2020. Yep. You said you won't find that. We have 493 videos or whatever the fuck you said. Yep, you found it. I see that you so did So I that. took my fucking spiteful ass back into our archives, mm -hmm. and I found it. Now, going through a lot of COVID videos when, like, clearly your barber was fucking closed. I back when people, people were calling you homeless, Sean. Yeah. Well, I like, literally everything was closed. Like, everything. Yeah, I, I wasn't seeing anyone. Right. Still not. But. So I still I haven't had my hair cut by anybody but me since... COVID started. It's been over a year. I usually go there every month and a half. You, your hair, bro, I forgot how well oh, it was it got. very bad. Because someone coming in the other day was like, why does Sean look so fucking like <laughs> young or weird or something? I was like, oh, it's my COVID. I was like, what the fuck is this? Dude, it was your COVID hair. It was uh, JW, definitely email us at bourbonjunk at gmail.com. Oh, blowhard? Fuck. Definitely interested. That's the 26 year one? Uh, No, Hoop and Holler is the 20. No, Hoop and Holler is the 28 year. Okay. Hoop and Holler is the oldest. Yeah, I think Blowhard, it was 28. Well, Blowhard is 26. It's supposed to be really good. It's like the the blue label bl one. Hey, nobody, nobody, maybe Redwood, does art as well as yeah, Orphan Barrel. They kill it on that. Redwood does an incredible job if you like their art style. But Orphan Barrel is just that, like, they're, they're marketing. Oh, <laughs> soup kitchen, Sean. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's a good way to put I it. I didn't do my hair up that day, and it was just fucking yeah, I think it got to the point where you awful. almost couldn't do it anymore. Oh, it's about that, right? It, it's longer now, well, but it's at least cut into a fashion that I could style it. But the right. problem is that it was right after, like, the honeymoon came back. Sean and, gave like, up. my hair, yeah, I just fucking gave up. <laughs> and I was just like, eh. Didn't have this hat then, so couldn't hide it. 
Remember when Sean read every single Super Chat last week? <laughs> he did not. No, I think you got like I read five. At least Twenty, and then I was like, "Please fucking stop." <laughs> Just fuck. I stop. remember when Someone, Sean read like 30 or 40 and then said, can you read some? Then yeah. I read some and then he made me stop reading. Compass Box does very well. Um, and then someone asked earlier, I'm sorry, this is uh, an old uh, Logic Crack Barrel Proof. This is the old Pirate Bottles. Yeah. This one's 135.6 proof, if that helps you. I don't know when it's from. Um, it's amazing. So the Compass Box bottle art <laughs> is the, is Compass Box owned by Diageo as well? They might, I don't know if they are. But anyways, the Compass Box bottle art is literally... The the Scotch version of Orphan Barrels, a hundred percent. Don't you think? They're both so artsy. Compass Box has those wild ass labels too. Dude, that new Peat Monster the, label. That's those are both. I Compass know. Box. That's what I'm saying. Like that's on. Bro, point. all of they have like a circus mm-hmm. label, and it's this super insane, colorful. Listen, if I had yeah, all the well. money in the world. I would buy every Compass Box release, and I just let them sit so I could stare at them. I swear to God, $400 good? Wait, for what? What? I'm sorry, we might have missed something there. Zachary Jones said Mandy's Soup Kitchen. Remember that video I showed you at the beginning? Fuck you, James. He commented on that that TikTok, and he goes, I want some of Mandy's Soup. And I'm like, you know, I don't, I don't, that's my sister. I don't know what. <laughs> All right, I don't need <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Brian. Put her email in chat. DB, COVID update, got my smell and taste back. Hell yeah. Hey, congratulations. Been building up to do a hitter blind tonight along with Thanks, the, man. the stream. I hope you're feeling good. Yeah, I'm hoping that you're getting everything out of it. Okay, Alec, my hair looks the same as me cutting it myself. But. As it does at the shit place I was going anyways. You remember when you were really fat and you were like, why mm-hmm. is no one honest with me? And I was always like, bro, I called you fat all the time. Yeah. So your you're hair, honest with me. Your hairs looked better. No, I mean, maybe a little. Mm-hmm. Are we talking like, like I, now, listen, it needs a cut right now, so let's relax. Like, maybe you should spend some money and go get it cut. Like, you know, that. I don't think it's looked that much better. I really don't. Oh, God, dude. Because they always fuck it up a little, you know? And I do, too. But I'm free. You know, this always go, brings me back to the point of why I pay extra money for the barber I go to. Yeah, that's fair. Because you just sit down, he cuts my hair, and I'm never like, am I about to look like fucking Lloyd well, from you, Dumb and Dumber? You can drink a nice beer when you get there. Yep. I like that a lot. Yep. I don't like small talk with strangers. That's true. I've been going there for like two and a half years. Right. Right the, after they opened. I didn't know that. So here's the other thing. The other thing is the small talk shit. Yep. You're, you're chilling with your barber... Who you can kind of chill with? Yeah, I'm chilling with the. I don't really know how to say a nice put word this here. Politically correct, <laughs> it's like say a nice word. I'm here. chilling with. I'm gonna just say it. I'm chilling with these ladies who are cutting hair, who don't have anything interesting to say. Nothing. No. The last time I was, you know what, chat? The last time I was there. Okay, you know what? Fucking thanks, Matt. Matt, I appreciate your super chat and I appreciate the love and care. I now here's the thing. I oh, cu- when are we getting you just for men, by the way. I'm gonna we, dye we my sur- hair. I'm gonna dye my hair. Okay. I'm dying my fucking hair. All right, so you're sitting with these ladies. Maybe you know what? We'll do a little fundraiser. You guys can pick the color. They're pink, pink. Oh, you can't go pink. You gotta go blonde first. Matt W for Dan's barber, and yes, small talk sucks. Here's the thing. I don't like any of the ladies there. None of them are interesting. The last time I was there, the one lady go, because this is how they always do it. I'd rather just, hey, can I put headphones in and you can just not <laughs> talk to me? I'd love that. That'd be amazing. But I don't want to be mean. That's not. <laughs> no, no, no. You guys aren't strangers. That's fucking different. We're hanging out. You're fam. This yeah. is a fucking BJ oh. fam. That's the name. When you say fans. Mm, hurts fam. My, fam. Oh, I think you said fans. No, I've never used the word fans ever in this fucking <sighs> community ever. I never have. I've read a chat with fans in it. I've never said it myself. Fam, this is a BJ yeah. fam. That's what this is. So listen, Dear Sean knows how to get the pink weird. Um, uh, we had a co-op that always did like weird fucking hair colors, and she'd tell me about her hair shit. So, the the okay, don't I? I swear to God, you guys, I, you guys might be the greatest community ever at backhanded <laughs> compliment. I swear to God, you guys might be the best ever. Which isn't a compliment to you either. Uh, no, that is. No, not to them. It's not. So listen, the light up a cigar. That, so uh, I go in and this is what the lady goes. Hey, this is what they all fucking say because they, they, they there's nothing interesting to talk about. They go, hey, well, what do you do? And I'm like, or where do you work? Do you work in town? And I'm like, yeah, I work at that credit union. I swear to God, the last time I go there, she goes, oh, 
I owe them money. Got a loan and I didn't pay it back. They keep con- they keep calling me. Nate Russell, Dan's hair club for men. Ten dollars for Dan's purple top. <laughs> Night Angel, I thought you were on my fucking team. You know what, dude? You're you're banned. Damn, Twitch that's good. No, nope. ban- you're banned. Nope, mods, you fucking no from Twitch chat. That's oh. my fucking. Chat. It was like you fucking pop I, mod here. I'm taking your mods. I actually am in love with Night Angel, so he's not. But I would yeah. like him to be. Can I trade my BJ family family logo for a BJ fan logo? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what if we made a fan, like a fucking ceiling fan type shit, but it spelled BJ as it circled? We wouldn't do that. We'd pay someone to do that. <laughs> we can't draw. I love watching YouTube. Who do, I watch YouTube in the shower today and yesterday and the day before. What do you... I'm not going to... That's a bad question. So, Sh- I shower in the shower, Dan. Okay. I, I listen to I music. I want a little credit where credit's due. Because, I, you know what? Next stream, I'm going to show the rabbit next stream. Oh, really? We gotta show the rabbit. You're gonna get it out here though. Yeah. He, I carry him around. Okay, I was oh, say, I'm his favorite now. Yeah, but have you ever carried him out of a door? Oh, like out to outside? Cool. Nah, he's cool. Nah, he's cool. Dog. You think that I can carry a cat around too? But right. if I go outside, he's a dog. He's not a cat though. That's the difference. They don't like outside. He's a dog. Oh, he wants to go outside. We just can't let him out. We're putting a pen outside for him in the summer. Mm-hmm. During the day, he'll. Peppa be... th- thought she wanted out. Oh, all cats do. <laughs> she took two steps yeah. to the deck and was like. No, nope. immediate panic. <laughs> this is stupid. Okay, so I'm gonna show. The, I'm a uh, listen. I'm gonna be completely honest. This morning, I was laying on the couch with the rabbit, smooching, just snugging. He likes to kiss, and he licks my face. He licks my cheek. He's getting neutered tomorrow. That little motherfucker, because he, he keeps pissing and shitting everywhere. So, anyways, what I want to say, a dog, and that isn't neutered. And I don't have that issue. So but you have a rabbit. Rabbits weirdly are super territorial. Yeah. I didn't know this. Mm-hmm. The big fuckers, which he is, are even Super? more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so they were like, if you don't neuter them, if you do, did you know if you don't neuter a female rabbit, it will get cancer and die? I did. Its hormones cause cancer over time. Well, that's sad. It's literally evolutionarily built into it itself. Like, it doesn't even make sense, man. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to bring the rabbit out. I don't even have, fuck. I don't have my fucking pockets turned out. I'm going to bring the rabbit out so you guys can see Timothy. Timothy! Oh, I was going to say, you said his name without a dumb... So, you do that. He don't. He won't bite your lip. He's literally... All he wants to do is snuggle ever, period. Is that why Ricky had you fixed? <laughs> Fuck, that's good. Mike, I thought you were on my team, too. What is fucking happening? So, anyway, bro, everybody from Twitch chat that's, like, super supportive, assholes now. Mm-hmm. All of you. They've seen the real you. Nope. Oh. You know who's not? Old St. Majesty. He's the legit one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's your fucking pretzels. Dude. So this is the one pound bag. We normally get the one that's twice the size of this. Did you see all the Skittles? You got to pull those out. So this was uh, in my bag. I forgot that uh, we never showed the bag. Okay, so I'm going to bring two things out. I know, Night Angel. Holy shit, there's three fucking yeah, family. Yeah, three bags. There's three family sizes of Skittles we'll in We'll bring here. one out. I think they're all the same. They are. You bought the good ones too. And there's tropical. There, it's a it's the mix of wild berry and tropical. So listen, I didn't know that was a thing. Oh yeah, I just had a bag like a week ago. Do either of you have kids? If so, age, boy, girl. Weird question. Going to be Ooh. honest. Have two kids. Oh. If you want to expand on why you asked those questions, then I will answer that. And he also owns guns. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. And I live. Where, with this. And I live where we can bury people. So. <laughs> Um, I like them too, which is weird. Um, I do have two kids. Sean has a dog kid, a kid. Uh, what is it? What do they call them? Fur kids? Fur baby. Fur babies. Um, I got, dude, I know. Listen, Mike, I got 102 subs on Twitch right now. And I was at 95 and Mike goes, if you guys win, this is when James was sideways. You joined late and James was fucking sideways. He goes, if you guys win one game, I'll put you to a hundred. Like I'll gift subs. I go, okay, man. So I said, James, lock it the fuck in. And, I mean, you saw it. What the fuck? James is fucking upside down trying to jerk off in a fucking sex, sex swing at one point in time. I swear to God. And he did have 100. While he's playing Warzone. <laughs> so we didn't win, and Mike still did it. So I, I know, man. But anyways. Gosh dang it, dude. <laughs> Bro, this is. <laughs> okay, listen. I'm not bad at I'm the best at whiskey that you guys know. Name somebody better now that's really better. Don't fucking fake it. And if you say Matt, we... Whiskey and, what? 
I just good at it. I'm good at it. Like Matt's it, a better taster than me. Yeah. You see the fucking advent. Yeah. He I killed this. I clapped your cheeks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he killed his. That's my favorite phrasing of all time. Yeah. It's the um, best. If you want to do like trivia and shit like that, Jason. Okay, Fred uh, Minnick. If we want to go history, Minnick, I ain't it. No, I'm probably one of your last. I don't know picks. real history, let alone <laughs> bourbon I'm history. I'm probably one of your last. Hey, if you want retail pricing on bottles or like labels and shit like that, I'm go good back at that. And watch the BJ battles where we get those wrong all the time. <laughs> pricing, you got them wrong. So I was you, right consistently. You've done it wrong. Too, I was buddy. always right. Okay, every time. Okay. So what I wanted to say was, I am good at spilling whiskey too. Don't say. Okay, why do I see Klein's name in chat? Get the fuck out of my face. What? Klein? Wait, wait. You're going to agree with me on this. Klein called Smoke Wagon fucking vodka, and he called Stag Jr. rum. I don't want to hear Klein's name when I say who's the best. He smoked three cigars. I don't care if I ate a cigar that was on fire. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, shit. I think I just about oh. watched Retzel on that one. <laughs> Poor clients. I'm in here. <laughs> Dan, who's better than me? Sean, 10 minutes later, still reading off his list. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Bro, you guys, you guys are kind of downers. Scotch Test Dummies post-COVID. <sighs> I haven't watched... I'm, I'm way behind. I've That's only watched so the first good. couple episodes of his oh, uh, COVID shit. comeback stuff. I, 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 I want to, like... I'm actually super interested in that. And I need... I always... We always talk about it, and I'm intrigued by it, and then I need to go and watch it. Damn. Um, Mike said, I trust you guys and Jason see most on reviews. All the bottles I own are basically the ones you guys have said are good. Here's the thing. That kind of comes, for me, that kind of <laughs> comes down to um, who you agree with often, right? You, you find flavor. Like a palette. Like, yeah, like. I was going to say, like, if you watch people in the whiskey tube long enough, you'll find people that you usually agree with on like 90% of your bottles. And then you'll just be able to base that off that. Bro, I almost inhaled the smoke choke because of what fucking the cannon just said. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> At least no one said shock. Power gamers at me. <laughs> oh, Loon's Cat tears, buddy. Okay. Oh, shit. That's funny. Okay, Sugar King literally named everybody a whiskey <laughs> <laughs> How long you got? Okay, the, um, what was I fucking talking about before this got started, though? Oh, I want to bring the rabbit out. Here's the other thing I'm bringing out. I want you guys to see what the fuck I'm cutting my hair with. I feel like you guys would be a little impressed. It's like a beard trimmer? No, it's a fuck. it's like the mustache electric razor shit. That's a beard trimmer. But not... Oh, wait, you're talking like the three heads. like. And on the back, it's got the little tiny. That's an edger. There you go. I cut this whole thing with an edger. <laughs> now, tell me it's not that bad now, though. You know what I'm saying? Bro, the fact. I don't know where my samples are, Tommy D. He said they're in the hut somewhere at this point in time. <laughs> you moved them, which is the worst part. To where? I, I, cause I, I put them in your chair, and you moved them. I know what. They, they're in square bottles. Yeah, is that them? Are they in? They're in square bottles. Look at, see the bottles up there, um, next to the are moonshine. Ones? No. Who yes. are these from? Yeah, those are from Tommy too, as well. There should be more though. Is it these biggest? Unless we're supposed to share with those. Oh, that says C and D. I don't like where this is going. Those I think aren't we're from about Tommy. To find another whiskey one. Tommy. <laughs> I don't, I, what is a flow bee? That sounds like a vibrator. No, no, no. That's that fucking uh, vacuum hair cutter thing, remember? Because <laughs> oh. that's what they were saying my hair looked like. I was cutting it with. So I just found ABCD. Can't tell you who that's from. Oh, fuck. Is there a, war, is there a key with it, though? No. There's got to be. You know who puts shit on the fridge? That guy. You. There's two cigars with it. Oh, we're supposed to, we're, okay, now I know, I know uh, what that war is then. Woodford I know is. and a Virginia Black. I know what that is. Okay. I know what that is. If there's, leave the cigars with it though, that's, cause that's how I know. Yeah, I guess who puts shit on the fridge here? My bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't see any square bottles, bud. So look at, that's what they look like. See up by the midwinters? That's what they, those squares. I put them on Sean's chair. Here we are. Fucking Sean, dude. Uh, we're smoking an Alec. Went on a fucking Tuesday? An Alec <laughs> and Bradley. Gatekeeper. 
That's what we're smoking right now. I thought you were going to have a stroke that was going to let you fucking drown, too. <laughs> okay. That is You couldn't so... think of gatekeeper. No, after... I looked at you because I thought you were going to finish it. I stared at the back of your head for three seconds. <laughs> now you sound like you to your wife. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I could have swore that... Okay. I... Floby's a hair dryer that someone put the motor in the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up the vacuum bag. No, those ones are those Sam Houston's are from you because I drank the other ones. I drank the other Sam Houston's. Pennsylvania, New those, York. Those, those, the antique one hundred seven and the other, the old elk. The bottles are over there. Huh. What a guy. Dan looks like a turtle with that shield. How far back is Roger? Because the shield hasn't been. <laughs> I forget that you can actually go back, but when you chat, it's live. So it just kind of feels weird. A hundred percent. Um. Getting banned on Twitch. Listen, the um, Timothy, probably Timothy's big man. Timothy. He. Is also supposed to grow for like the next year and two months, supposedly. Favorite Canadian whiskey. Easy. Lot 40. Cash drink. Alberta cash drink rye? No. You think the lot 40 over that? Uh -huh. Did we compare them in the video? That feels like we would have in the Alberta one. Someone was just like, did you review this? It was like three months ago. I know. somebody. What, the weird thing is that somebody asked us that <laughs> probably like... Um, two months ago, too, they were like, have you revered Alberta, or have you reviewed it? And it was like, dude, we, like, probably, yeah. maybe three weeks ago we did. It was three months ago. I know, but I'm saying, like, when we did it, oh, somebody re emailed yeah. us, too, after that. Notes on pretzels? Little, uh, kind of bready. What are those from Better Made? Yep. Garbage. Okay. Hey. We hate Michigan? Well, when they sponsor us, I'll say they're, I like them. Because they Slightly are. Slightly salty. Better Made makes really good buttered, twisted pretzels. Mm -hmm. New patron, but longtime fan. Gordon. Tea. Two the, questions. Thoughts on the smoke wagon, uncut, unfiltered, and what's your favorite MGP source whiskey? Sam Houston fourteen question mark. Sam Houston fourteen. I think is Barton. What are the odds that it's under? What? Where the fuck is the mouse? Hey, you know what I'm gonna do this for you. Hey, you fucking moron. Hey, listen. Is to me. Ray behind this? Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> though. That's the problem. <laughs> I. I think I need to go to the doctor because I couldn't see Bro, that. Bro, I mean, your hand, you literally grabbed this. Mm -hmm. I can touch the mouse from here. Um, okay, hold on. Well, let's read, Let's answer the question in the Super Chat from Gordon. Oh, I found the mouse. It was right there. Thoughts. It was on my leg. <laughs> Idiot. Thought, that would be worse because it's touching you. Thoughts on uh, Smoke Wagon, Uncut, Unfiltered. Fantastic. fantastic. Thoughts best, on... M best MGP source? Boone County 14 year. Doesn't, they don't make it anymore. Or they don't do it anymore. Um... Same Houston 14 is good. Where do you see Boone County? For? Oh, the, I'm your answering favorite. the question. Oh, I would say uh, still made Valentine for us. Over Boone County 14. I mean, you can't get it anymore. Oh, I can okay. still get Valentine shit. Yeah, how'd it go? Good. Did you get it? I mean, I can. Did you? Uh-huh. Where? When? Uh, would they do the 13 last? Yeah. The... That's... Yeah, yeah, but that's... Oh, that's M that is MGP, isn't it? Yeah. Shit, you're right. Too shame. Go fuck yourself. I mean, I got a 13. Uh-huh. I got one on there, too. <laughs> I'll drink it right now. Yep. I'll open it. You guys ever had lock, stock, and barrel 16 to 18? Nope. Yes. Oh, someone sent us samples. No, you haven't had one of them. No, those. someone sent us the lock, stock, and 16, I thought. I know the, what was it, 18 was at Klein's at one time. Oh. I thought it was at Klein's that I wasn't there. Oh. I was down in Detroit. You were there. Nope. What did Justin bring? That wasn't that. That I pulled out a knife and said, I'll cut you. Promise of hope. Yeah, that was it. And then he brought Booker's 25. 25th, sorry. Anniversary. And then he brought the uh, senator or the ambassador, one of those unobtainable mm -hmm. MGPs. And then he brought, uh, what was the other unobtainable bottle of whiskey? It was fantastic. What was it? I don't Someone remember. Someone poured like a half a Glen out of it, and you were like. Somebody did that with the. Um, uh-huh. It irreplaceable bottle. Somebody out. poured that like three ounces of Promise of Hope. And I'm like, hey, bro, you got to chill the fuck out on that. 
Because that bottle is amazing, and he brought that to share, so let's be cool oh, about it. Um, Daniel Rose, the last knife I got was that uh, the Kaiser, the Sheepdog Mini. Uh, the mach- Well, actually, the, the last. The Butcher Blonde. last one I got was Bro. this thing. Bro. It's <laughs> Karambit. So Night Angel, who knows combat things because of his background. Which is military. Death service. Which is yeah. military. He said that you punch and follow through. That's how you use that knife correctly. Which makes sense. You know what that reminds me of? You think that, listen, hear me out. Sean's a closet murderer. He's a redneck. Those are different. So, <laughs> so Senator's one of my favorite MGP rides I've ever had, honestly. Um, I don't even know. and I haven't looked at releases this year to even know what I'm excited about. Uh, new Old Forester again. Okay. No, no, you're not excited. Shut your mouth. Okay. Hey, hold on. Somebody mark this clip. Like, take a fucking somebody screen ca- record this. Listen, because this is why I, I want you to know why. Because you're dumbass. In three months, when somebody asks us, and we know what's all coming out in 2021, somebody's gonna be like, "What's you guys looking forward to the most this year?" And you're gonna, dumbass is gonna go oh, that old Forester blah 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 that one the limited the blue the black the blah blah blah. You're gonna say that. Right, and I'm gonna be able to then go back. Thank God to somebody in chat. To, to you saying, hey, I'm not next day for your old Forester release. I'm gonna be able to do that. You know what I'm bummed about? I'm so glad your cigar's out. You know what I'm bummed about is uh, we don't have a Kentucky Owl Rye to look forward to this year. <laughs> I feel like we kind of air kissed. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> punch and follow through is Dan's favorite handy technique. How do you guys do it? <laughs> like a ketchup bottle? <laughs> yeah, hit it. Um, we don't have Cheers, a Kentucky Richie. Owl ride to look forward to. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Richie, how's it going? No, no, no. Oh, no, you said Sean? And me. What the fuck, Richie? I'm not in the chat, so you can't even tag me. He just typed that out in his own volition. That's even <laughs> more rude, Richie. You know, I'm still saying cheers, Richie. Old Forster Bloody Bar. I'm hearing good things. Yeah. Huh. That's what Dan does. But really, th- there's no know. batch five owl rye. Yeah. And we don't buy the bourbons generally. I guess we could next year be if we don't buy the... We're not going to buy the rye. Could buy the bourbon. I mean, we could buy an old batch. <laughs> of rye. <laughs> if, if we ever see... Okay, this is an interesting conversation. If we ever go into a store and we see a batch one or two Kentucky owl rye and it's one fifty. So... One hundred percent, I'm in because we're out. We don't have any more. One, the two probably still right. Still enjoy a lot. Three, I, we were, we have a lot of three left. So I never got three quarters of one. Yeah, so I pass on the three. The one man, the one though, they're all good. I like how he knows it's an unpopular opinion that no, he likes Noah's Mill and Rowan's Creek. Yeah. We'll say um, it's not like any other whiskey. I've tried very unique. Love Will It Ride too. Hey, like- try. Um, I'm not saying it's the same. And let me know if you've had it. Have you had any of the old Bardstown stuff, the Johnny Drum stuff? What's the other? There's like four of them that are all the kind of the same at different proofs and ages. I'm just Dan Barber. Cheers. Robotic. I'm going to keep fucking stroking this mic arm as long as I sit here. All right? It's comfy. I like to put my arm up here yeah, from time to time. Not? But what you do is. Well, you got you to gotta get it. It's never in the right you spot. You work it out for a while. And have it just come at you a little bit. Look at how floppy Sean's is. Can we talk about this? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As okay. much as I jerk my mic off, I've never done that. Oh. Sean, I guarantee Sean takes this table off the barrel it's sitting on in a minute here. You can tell how much I don't move my mic because I wasn't prepared for that. Mine must be on there. I move mine a lot, and it's never. Well, I didn't. <laughs> so it's just a, a screw, and I don't want it to like bite into the table because I like the table a lot. So it's just the bottom. I know. Well, and the top. I mean, it pressures on both fucking sides. Right, but the top's a circle to evenly distribute the pressure. Right. Okay. Uh, still a good physics. Ring. Physics. So the bottom. How's uh? How's force? Gravity. The uh, mc squared equals e. Nope. So. Uh, <laughs> Sean's mic is very fucking flaccid. So here's the weird thing. Sean's mic, I tightened it for... Dude, I sat in Sean's spot to shoot a State of the Junkies one week, like a fucking eight months ago, and I literally moved it once, and the mic almost fell off. I'm like, what is happening? This is always gets loose somehow. Yeah, for Sean not moving his mic, it loosens up often, weirdly. 
That was like watching Thompson girl play basketball, Aiden said. Oh, oh, my God. Dan doesn't jerk as hard as Sean. Maybe that's why. I'm I'm, I'm subtle and gentle. I'm, I normally am, but I had to try to be you. Just retarded. Lots of people just, try. Yeah. Flattery is, nope, nope, nope. Imitation. Damn it, motherfucker. I almost had it. <laughs> we were so close. Just flip around a little bit. Oh, once you sat in Sean's spot, did you get worse as taste? Oh. <gasps> Maybe that's when I lost the climbs right after that. You all planning to meet up on the bourbon trail anytime in the future? I don't know, man. <gasps> um, hey, we're not going to get political, but I'm going to say one statement, and we're going to move on with all of our lives at the same fucking time. Ready? Nick Merch just pu- he uh, paired with Barstool. He uh, Is that real? That was a rumor that he was going to that that was happening. He well, Cash App too. Hey, guess what? That's money. They gave away seventeen grand. These are money. This is just fucking money. Insane money. Grand. So, anyways. I'm going to say this one time. Okay. Fauci said, and, and he just used this as an example. Doesn't matter if you're a churchgoer. Fauci said everybody will be back singing in church without mask on by fall. Okay. So, in theory, I think what he's saying is back to normal. Yeah. If that's the case, then we'll fucking have a meet up in the fucking fall. What's happening there? I don't know. She's burning a little uneven, dude. Try again. Dan about to give the mod some work, Graham Hounds. <laughs> no, we're not. Because everybody's about to move the fuck on. About physics has entered the chat. Hey, We're listen, done. I think no matter where the fuck you stand on any of it, I think we can all agree as long as everybody can go back to normal, we're all fucking cool, right? I think we're all good with that. So, <sighs> yeah, you put politics in chat and I'll fucking get on this mouse and ban your ass. All right. No, he won't. He'll make a mod do it. Nah. I can't hear this over the overhead, so I don't know when it's. I, I can hear it from here, you deaf old fuck. Yeah, I can hear it. What you got to do is you give her one of these twists, and then you give her one of those. You Told you. Fucking nail. Look at that. Oh. Wait. Can you guys hear that? Yeah, we're getting... Oh, my gosh, bro. You're touching the tip. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to light it, and you're going away. Like, <laughs> like I'm trying to light it, and you're ever so slightly just moving. So, the the what Sean and I were thinking for the meetup, right, is a $400 entry fee. Do you agree? Per ticket. Families are 800. <laughs> Bring your kids. We'll all hang out <laughs> in a bar. No. We are going to hopefully have the meetup at a sh- at a bar. Yeah. Around Schmintucky area. Around Schmintchmanati. Okay, that's a torch now. That is not a cigar <laughs> anymore, sir. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Turn that fucking thing off. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Did you just put your hand over I'm it? Almost. Like, it was hot. Like, you forgot how fire worked. <laughs> Um, the meetup will be just come hang out with at the fucking bar. Chill. I kind of will like hopefully do something cool at the bar. I'd like to release something cool at the meetup, t- stuff like that. So that's kind of thoughts. the idea. If unlimited alcohol is included, no, 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 no. We can't, I can't afford, afford that. that. <laughs> um, let alone for just Dan. I can't afford that. Jordan hard last name. Here's the good. Here's the good thing, buddy. If this chat will. goes political, they're out <laughs> and you can stay. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it'll, it'll be at, in theory, it'll be at Larry's bar. Yeah. Last time I talked to Larry. That was the idea we had a long time ago. Right. But I talked to Larry. Larry was in like a stream chat, like Mm -hmm. a month ago. And I'm like, dude, still good for that. He goes, sounds great. And I'm like, cool, man. So in theory, it would be at Larry's bar, which is by Iowa's Kishu Wines. They're, but they're really good buddies with Larry. Daniel Kerber said maybe at Schlary's. (laughs) Yep. Maybe at Schlary's. And then we just all go fucking hang out. It'd be cool to like. By everybody around. I don't know. We'll fucking see. I, I, it'd be oh. really cool to release a barrel pick there or something. I'm not know. drunk. I'm very tired. Oh, bitch. At the meetup, are we doing a Team Sean versus Team Dan Fist? Are you serious? Do you realize how fucking crushed Team I'm Sean would get? I'm throwing out Team Sean weapons. <laughs> <laughs> see, you know what? Brass knuckles, this bitch. This is how you know we would lose because I wouldn't. I'd be like, we fucking got this, boys. And then Sean's like, I got machetes and fucking <laughs> daggers for everyone. There's only five of us, but we got a tank, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. No, it's just a thought process that's so Whiskey fucking Whiskey knife fight would take another meaning. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's funny as shit. Can you guys book a cigar roller for the event? Bro, I would like this event to have, like, sweet giveaways I'd like to release a barrel pick at it. I'd like our sponsors to chip in and be there. One of the best things I've seen from the the cabin thing that Bert was doing. I don't remember. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Where they had the cigar roller there. He gave him weed? Yeah. And he's like, just roll this big-ass blunt. But 
Joey Diaz. So Joey Diaz and um, Tom. Tom both speak fluent Spanish. Yes. And they're talking to this guy who is Cuban. In Spanish. In Spanish. Yeah. And Virg is like, I have no <laughs> idea what you guys are saying. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. A 300 grain broadheads. And said, I'll just stand in the middle and scream. All right. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm going to hire my brother. He's going to bring his employees. He's on my team. I, that's fair. I'd imagine. <laughs> Good luck, everybody it's your else. <laughs> that's the thing. This is, see, Sean and I's thought process are so different. Sean's like, let's get fucking smart. I'm like, fist fight this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hiring someone to get into a truck and just run her through the middle. Fuck. All right. Julie, Knight, thank you for being here. I appreciate this. The, the, the tur- I, this I'm going to turn this into a fucking turtle. Show. Yeah. No shit. Wait. How, hard, hard turn around here. Mm-hmm. Why are you going to a fucking salon to get your hair cut? What do you mean? Like, you got a bunch of chicks doing, like, hair. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Go to a barber. They cut men's hair. Okay, women can cut men's hair, too, you fucking sexist. I know. Now, not the women I go to. (laughs) 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 So, for real, I get what you're saying, because what you're saying is, I'm going now. I'm not going to a franchise, but I'm, go, I'm not going to an actual barbershop either. Yeah, right. This is not these people's fucking. You life got a career. Duramax. You could do a diesel mechanic. Exactly. Right. All right. Not Valvoline. Not With, being sexist on this, but barber. Like, okay, so I was overarching <laughs> oh. the whole thing. My barber does men's hair. He's got a girl that does women's. I hair. have women's hair, luscious, thick, long, huge. I think you're naming your ego. <laughs> uh, don't pay money for something you can do yourself. Exactly. You guys wait. I think I'd be better off buying like um, actual fucking clippers. Yeah. Probably. I think I'd be okay with actual clippers. I mean, you've been doing it with basically nothing. Literally a trimmer. Mm-hmm. A beard trimmer. Now, here's what I do. I'll show you guys next week. But I put my thumb on the edge of the blade, and I use my thumb as the guide. Right? So the, the, my thumb runs uh, on my skull. And then the clippers just cut whatever's left. That's how I do it. Taking me a year to figure this I out. I feel like I just blacked out bro. It's, from I, how upset I am about that. Ricky was walking around our bedroom last time. I was cutting my hair in the bathroom. And I go, fuck. That's all she heard. It goes, because the, the clippers are quiet, right? And then all of a sudden you go. Mm-hmm. And she go, I go, fuck. And she goes, like a lot. A little too much, huh? I go, ah, don't worry about it. And I walk out, and there's a big fucking spot right here in which I just hit basically my my head. Skull? <laughs> yeah. She's like, yeah, I think you uh, got a little too deep. <laughs> oh, gosh, man. Too bad you don't have a boardroom salon for men up there. The greatest boardroom salon. Sean's place sounds like the greatest. He can drink beer. Uh-huh. He can chill. Yep. And they sound cool. Uh-huh. So... I can talk to this person and I don't hate my life about it. Dimitri with lemon. I wait, wait till I bring out my fucking rechargeable $30 electric razor next week that I've been cutting my hair with. People will be like, all right, you know what? It could be a lot fucking worse. Where do you skip money in your life? Fair. Just fucking makes me laugh. Completely fair statement. Mm -hmm. I now. How much you got in coffee accessories? You think more? Okay. More than that. I just bought (laughs) it. Not just, but I do have, like, I got six ways to make coffee now, <laughs> right? Literally. That's what I'm saying. Literally. Now, <laughs> the worst part is, bro, the place I get my haircut is, like, 22 bucks. So it's not even expensive at all. And I go once every two months when I was going there. Might need to upgrade your life here a I, little bit. I don't mind. So I'm literally more nervous about... Going to someone new, and they're like, mm-hmm. what do you want? And I'm like, don't fuck it up. That's it. I want to hire somebody super expensive one time and be like, make me look fucking awesome. Take pictures. And of then what? you go to every barber ever and be like, just recreate this. I don't want to go to every barber ever. That's terrible. No, no, no. Like, you just go to a cheaper one after that and have them cut it that way. But they'll fuck it up. You don't know that. Bro, the ladies in there have, like, my haircut on file. $800 a year haircut membership? Before now. That seems like a lot, right? That's almost a hundred a month. Okay, I do that's forty. Light. I used to go monthly. Forty a haircut. That's with tip. 
I, listen, I'm Sean told me that he could drink beer at his, and I'm literally immediately in on the beer alone. Yeah. You fuck my hair up for a beer. <laughs> a decent beer. A Bud Heavy, you can fuck my hair up. All right, you're in. Yeah. Like, I, you're sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. Matt. No, no, no. I, I just stopped going because everything was legit closed oh, yeah. in Michigan. Sean and I both were just like, fuck it for a while. And then I think Sean and I both realized, like, we got to do something about it because it's getting bad for both of us. So I just cut my own fucking hair. And then Sean, like, the Sean's barber opened back yeah. up. That's kind of, that's actually how we ran yeah. it. It's fantastic. But case of beer, we shave your head. I, not a, I, listen, see, that's a little What's different. What's the case? Pliny the Younger? Pliny and a cut? I mean, I agree, Daniel. I agree. Dude, we could do haircuts at the meetup. <laughs> I just like sports clips will fuck your shit up, bro. I went to sports clips one time, never fucking again ever. She's like, "What do you want?" I'm like, "Just keep it the same. Let's take two inches off the whole thing. Two inches off the whole thing. Call it good." I swear to God, I walked out of there with four inches off one side, (laughs) six off another. I didn't even have six to begin with, and then the top looked like I just took a fucking just kitchen scissors to it. Okay, Alec, that's the most baller shit I've ever fucking heard in my life. If we get a, hey, will your barber come here and just cut both our hair? We smoke Probably. cigars and drink. Fuck. What are we doing? Hey, buddy, hundred bucks. Whatever you want to drink, you can take cigars with you. Cut two haircuts. I I talk to him. What the fuck are we doing? I swear to God. This is it. What are we doing? We are, why? I'm living <laughs> like I can't afford a fucking haircut. And I just realized it. What the fuck? Oh, uh, bro. Team haircuts? Oh, my gosh. I I have, I've never thought about pitching that because he really he doesn't drink. Oh shit! Sure. He does smoke cigars though. Okay. So, um, that that is be, he offended by alcohol? No, no. Oh, okay. It's just a personal okay. choice. He okay. doesn't drink. Um. So, <laughs> Jordan hard last name said I literally got out of the chair and walked out. She messed it up so bad. Dude, that's um, so frustrating, man. Our buddy Aaron one time got a haircut so bad. He wouldn't let his wife take pictures of it to send it to us. I'd have loved to have seen He him. was like, if you take a picture, I will break your phone in half. He went and bought, with a hat on, went and bought clippers and just shaved all of his hair off. See, I'd imagine he doesn't look fucking terrible shaving his head. I have a huge dent in my fucking head. You're Tim. I have a huge, no, it's bigger. Just it's way fucking bigger. I, had, I thought I had a brain tumor. <laughs> Did you not, I told Ricky this. Like, literally within the last month, I swear to God. I wish she was still in chat right now. I literally... <laughs> dude, uh, in a sample, d- JW, thanks for offering that, man. That's super nice of you. Yeah, yeah, email us at bourbonjunk at gmail.com. If you didn't... I know you, at one point you said you didn't hear it earlier. Hopefully, um, you got our email. If you do, that'd be fucking amazing, man. I appreciate you offering that. So... My wife, a cosmetologist, said, Oh, fuck, when you said two inches. What's a cosmet? Is that a makeup artist? No. I, I'm not trying to demean. So, like, cosmetology, they go to school for, like, haircuts and shit. Okay. I'm fucking sorry. That I don't know. Cosmetology makes me think of two things. Stars, like astrology. Okay. And makeup. Like cosmos, yeah. Cosmopolitan makes me think of makeup. Cosmetology makes me think of Cosmopolitan magazine. Cosmetolan doesn't think drink? No, the no, Cosmo? no drink at all. No, what the fuck is a Cosmo? Besides space. It's a drink. No, no, it's not a smooth brain tumor. It's a I... Cosmopolitan is the name, but people call him a Cosmo. Is it good? It's it's a, a mixy drink. We need to make some pretty cool drinks. Nope. <laughs> I think we do. People really like the old-fashioned Oh, video. Gary, I, I like Red Reed Ride a lot. Dan doesn't. No, no, no. No, that's not true. I do Dan like it. Dan fucking hates it. No. <laughs> Not sure I do like he it. He said, if you talk about Raid Raid Rye, it's going to start a fist fight. So I looked over <laughs> it last time. I have no choice now. <laughs> he said, Dan, you're dumb. <laughs> I'm not, listen, I'm sorry, dude. I'm thinking of Presbyterians. That's a fucking religion. What? Okay, hold on. <laughs> listen, I... 
like Rare Breed Rye. I don't think it's as cool. Of it a didn't s- live up to the hype that you thought it would It doesn't have. live up to Rare Breed for me. Rare Breed Bourbon is <laughs> such a good value, and I don't think Rare Breed Rye is as good of a value. Dan Chuck, the only guy that goes into a cosmetology school and asks where the telescopes are. Okay, P- Cosmopolitan Magazine sounds a lot like cosmetology, right? Can we agree? Like a barber, Dan works for tips. The difference that's, is it's that's because cosmopolitan. nobody will stick the whole thing in, Aiden Craig said. It's not a tumor. <laughs> okay, let me tell you why I thought it was a tumor. Because I have a huge dent in my head, for real, in my skull. Usually, like, an, uh, nope. tumors take space. Nope. So nope. an absence of space wouldn't recommend. You'd think that. Google it. Don't. Terrifying. If you ever feel a... Uh, I looked for a indentation in skull on on the Google, right? It can be a form of um, deteri- deteriorating bone mass. Okay. Which is also not good. Some form of a special tumor that actually makes your skull concave. Okay. Or it can be a blood thing. Or trauma. WebMD. Just the whole internet, like <laughs> everywhere. People pretty much agree on these ones. So it could be childhood trauma that wasn't treated correctly, it said. And then I'm like, fuck, I got a lot of concussions, but I might have a brain tumor. Cosmetics, makeup. Cosmetology, makeup artist. Logic checks out. Still dumb AF. See, logic does check out. My logic is always fucking... I like basically <laughs> minored in logic, dude. <laughs> Stop using logic and reasoning to help him out. <laughs> Good bourbon smoke cigars with uh, basically any Knob Creek pick ever. Can't go wrong. Or a Russell's pick. Yeah. You can get either of those. Um, hands down, they'll probably pair with just about anything. Mm-hmm. True. They're uh, like a standby. If I, if I can't find something to really pair with something, right. you just grab one of those and you're like, oh, fuck, it's good. I agree. Con Cavill. <laughs> I, I didn't say con. No, he said uh, that's an exclamation point. Concave. What do yeah. you say? How do you say it? It's concave. What the fuck's your problem with how I said that? Do you know the opposite of that? Yeah. What? Concave is one way. Yeah. And then con... Press. No, way. you mm. don't say it. Don't say it. Concave and... Concave. Concurrent. Oh, no. You're saying it stupid again. <laughs> <laughs> Conve... Vect. X. Convections. Convex. Fuck. <laughs> You know, we tried. Here we are. Best bourbon to smoke a joint with? I don't I don't know. I don't have your answer on that one. But I ain't got that. You guys ever Early had some blend dice? Yes. It's yep. good. It is uh, MGP. And it is good, but it's honestly, it's usually not as good as the other one. Um, <laughs> I just, okay, bro. This day of it, wow, with 42 fucking periods after it, Brian, is fucking rough, dude. Okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, shit. Hi, West UPK. Thoughts? Why discontinue? Just got about. Uh, Hi, West is discontinuing because it doesn't. It sits on shelves everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's priced too high, in my personal It's like opinion. 70 Yeah, it's $70, $80. Yeah. And that's, it, listen. It should be like 55 I like it, dude. And I think, yeah, I think if it was 60 I think people buy the shit out of it. It's good whiskey. It's weird as fuck, dude. It's a love hate because it's finished in vermouth barrels. So. It's smarter than a sixth grader? Not a chance. <sighs> Depends on what we're talking about. Um, if it's women. I mean, no. He might do a uh, like color by numbers faster than them. It's close. <laughs> Mike just said, coincidentally, Dan Skull Dent is a vocabulary area of the brain. So listen, it's right here, literally dead top center. It's where you put your headset when you like. You're like one of the dumbest smart people I know. Fair. I completely agree. I, I think you're smarter book wise. You're a hundred percent smarter and dumber than me, right? <laughs> But <laughs> <laughs> like where your head's at, keep going. I don't. I don't really have anything to finish that out with. Okay. It's weird because I'm like way smarter than Sean when it comes to the Duke, I don't know, uh-huh. like philosophy. <laughs> okay. And uh, it. That's probably it. And yeah, then, there. And then Sean's better at life. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I don't know, man. See, we'll figure out later. We had in the life. Duke. No, we've seen it. I've yeah. seen tons of bottles of it. No, no, no. Tin the Tatman's dent makes my dent look like a fucking, like the earth left. <laughs> right? I don't know what that means. Okay, you know when you drive down the road and it goes, bump, and it's a little bump, okay. you drive over it. Yeah. Mine is like fucking bridges out, <laughs> comparably. <laughs> Who wins in Jeopardy? Oh, my God, it's not even close. Unfortunately, Sean's 92 years old in his soul. 
right? So Sean and Gabby sit at home and watch old people game shows. Jeopardy's amazing. And play them. Yeah. So. <laughs> really Dan skip. says concave. Concave? Yep. It's concave? Why do you keep saying it like that? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't know. No. Somebody say how you're supposed you said to say it. Concave. I'm reading both. Con. Con. Urban said both. Con or con? Con. Concave. Concave. That's annoying. Convex. It's like saying Jeremy Sires. You're it's correct. like saying Poyol. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like hard for your mouth to do. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, like, you said it right, and then you were like, he's making fun of me on the second one. I'm going to keep ripping that. No, well, I didn't know which one he was saying was right. Con. Like, like Genghis. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Holy shit. So, uh, <laughs> well, I lost some breath. Why on that didn't one. somebody just say, like, Genghis? We would have been fucking good, dude. <laughs> oh, my shit. <laughs> wow. That was a real spit take right there. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I just left Elijah Craig 140 <laughs> proof in my mouth for so fucking long. <laughs> Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like Genghis. <laughs> so come to find out, I think I hit my head on so much shit and had so many concussions that my skull formed incorrectly. <laughs> oh. oh then looks like he cuts. Okay. I've heard the flow. What does the floby thing do to your hair? It. It, uh, that's the vacuum hair cutter thing. I know. Thing. What does it do, though? Well, I got to see it, what it does, apparently. I don't know, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, we do like the old Forrester barrel strength. <laughs> single barrels. I don't know how that makes it through a chat filter, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the best bourbon food? Oh. Chocolate? <laughs> Dad's wearing some of my pretzel. I have a note. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Jason, come game. You're doing great, sweetie. Team two. <laughs> uh, see, when you... Listen, I'm going to be honest. You spell it like that, and I get it. See? A clipper attachment to a shop vac. Holy shit. I... I, I you know... No, 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 I just cut my the hair into the sink. The second cut from Wayne's World. Holy I was, shit. I that. fell down the stairs as a baby. That's true. 100%. How, how many times, bud? Once. Okay. Hard. But I've had like seven concussions that have been verified by doctors. So, I don't know. The new Old Forcer, they had the label and everything's already approved. Holy and it, shit, I, I can't remember what it's called. Today so yeah, I'm Bourbon Junkies. I'm Dan. He's Sean. You asked for it. We're doing. Today we cut Dan's hair with the Floby. I don't know what the fuck. I got to see a Floby. Old Scout Rise are really good. It gives you a single length. Oh my gosh, that's rough. The weird thing is the the uh, depression in my skull is where your soft spot would be as a baby. If you've had a baby, if you've had still a child. On this, huh? What? What? What did you say? <laughs> I said we're still on this, huh? Yeah, well, people, somebody said. <laughs> Holy shit. Somebody said Dan had late hardening fontanellas. Oh, Justin yeah. Davidson, welcome to BJ Fam. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. CTE. Oh, Holy yeah. shit! I that was a good laugh. I haven't laughed that hard in a while. I needed it. I needed a, a good decompression. This that did it for me. Oh, like Genghis. It's like crying, but <laughs> the opposite. Uh, I like. There are so many words or so many things you could have gone with, and Genghis Khan is what you went with. <laughs> well, the way he spelt it made me think Gang. I think that's how you spell Genghis Khan. Isn't that what George Clooney used to cut, dude? Okay, Irish whiskey question: Have you had Conamera? Kane Mara? Kane Mara? Mm mm. Not that I don't think I've ever even heard of that. Have you? What is that? Kane um oh, robotic. yeah. Robotic. Uh someone asked about that before. Really? I've not had it. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Jesus, man. That was it's just rough. Every now and then you shock me. <laughs> and then every now and then you just put her through the roof. Uh, Urban, I'm like the sweetest person ever, dude. Maybe not, but I'm like kind of like a nice guy. I shall pour an old Scott Rye as well. I'm a bourbon junkie whore. <laughs> dude, all right. All right, bro. Now, uh, Connemara's peated Irish. Interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone, I remember this conversation that we've talked about but before. But we've not had it. Not had okay. it. Okay. Because we're like, that's got to be wild. Jermaine Compton, sir, I've heard that that, uh, E.H. Taylor that's coming out this year is a lot like an Eagle Rare. Oh, the Warehouse C-10 year? Yeah. I bet I've it's a it, billion dollars. I've heard it's Eagle Rare. 
Uh, but at a hundred proof. My father, Fonescia. Definitely not right. Uh, what's it look like? We've not. We've not tried Fonesca. I I just know the. I like the Green Bands one. Yeah, I, a lot. That's like a Maduro wrapper. Yeah, I don't know what the the, the dark is. red is really good, and then the pinks are nice and light. I, I literally love, don't know the names. I love the My Father's Dom Pepin, Pepins, Pepins, uh, like Flora de las Antilles or something like that. I always say it fucking wrong. That's the red band one. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. I like that. That was like that was one of my favorite um, early cigars. Yeah, yeah. I still like them. I had one not that long ago. I was like, really? fuck these these hold up. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Opalencia is the green. Okay, those are really good. We're, like, due for some cigar content, like a nice weekend video, maybe. It's uh, a little cold in Michigan. I, I had this conversation with Dan Rose, and I was like, cause he's like, you want me to send some sticks? I was like, dude, we have a lot right now. We're not smoking as much. There's something I really enjoy about smoking outside. Oh, it's great. No, it's the best. When smoking it, in here, you're nice. like, okay, it's not bad, but there's just not the same as being outside by, like, the fire. Well, the Just other thing, the it other thing, I at least for me, and maybe not for you, Fuck. but probably for you. The other thing is, is when it's just a nice day. When there were days when we were shooting like Lux videos and cigar content, Sean, that I know, Alex. Hurt my soul. I know. So when we were out shooting those videos outside, there's something so nice to a beautiful day with a blue sky and a little sun, a few yeah. clouds, and a cigar. Yep. There's something to that whole experience, the whole thing it, together, it, it hits right? It different. It does. It's um, like having a, a cheap beer in the shower. It's better. Scientifically proven. Yeah. Physics. Yep. Alex said that pronunciation hurt his soul. I get that. Archery Talk said favorite pocket knife. Um, right now, it's still my bug out. I love my bug out. I've really been From carrying the crap out of that uh, sheepdog, the Kaiser Sheepdog Mini. I like that one a lot. It's new. I got I'm, Today, I carried this one around. My that little, little Italian one. My little fox. Yep. And That's I really like this thing. This this thing is sharp as fuck. Was. Still probably. I only cut two boxes with it today. Uh here you go. You think you're sharpening this? Yes. That thing's a piece of shit. I just sharpened it not long ago. I would guarantee this destroys. Um yeah, there's just, there there is something. Like I here's what happens in Michigan. It's probably also what Sean's experiencing. You miss the sunny days. Because now that it's winter. The sun, you mean? Yeah. Just in general. Now that it's winter, every day is gray as fuck and cold and shitty. Now, I will my say. My favorite knife is my Glock. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, that's decent. I want you to do it, like, because you watched me cut paper once it wasn't great. You were just like, yeah. <laughs> you were like, look, okay. 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 We'll give it a sec. Okay. Not bad. This is my knife, taking into consideration. That's not, not bad. bad, right? I mean, so it, it not as t- good. tore it through there. It did. It tore a little, Means comparatively. You, you definitely have a, a fold in the blade somewhere. I got a fold in the blade somewhere, clearly. Um, what are the pros of getting used to barrel-proof whiskeys? What are the... C- Go ahead. Keep going. Did you read it? Did you see how I spelt cons? Yep. Keep going. I sent uh, Jeremy. So I've got one one kitchen knife that I can... Did I show you that video? Yes. Oh, wait, that me. one kitchen knife. It's fantastic. It's just like, and I was like, ain't no sharpening service beating me, sir. Yeah, you did send that to me. Yeah. So, um. <laughs> I saw the sun today in Wisconsin and it startled me. Yeah, uh, I mean, we probably got sun a week ago, I think. I was explaining this, I think it was to Alec, about how Alec goes, dude, it sucks and it rains for like a day here. Like 24 hours or something like that, right? Florida's known for, like, they get their, like, time periods. I think it was uh, Cletus where he posted. He was like, well, it's 11, 11 a.m. Well, there's the there's the rain. It'll be done in 45 minutes. What the fuck? Yeah. All right, cool. And I told him, I'm like, dude, I think last winter we went 18 days without a sunny day. Yeah. Like, it was like a record or something. Yeah, they were like, hey, welcome to being miserable. Yeah. Cool. And it was like. Take, shove that vitamin D in your asshole so it gets in your bloodstream before you get fucking depression. But how do you take pills? Wait, what? Huh? That's the fastest way. When you drink and we're not streaming, where do you put it? In your mouth or your butt? Mouth. <laughs> so, yeah, dude. It's just, um, you know, Midwest is depressing in winter. Now, here's what I'll say. This is what this is where I was going with this. So we went snowboarding last night. Mm-hmm. We took Holden. We bought Holden a new snowboard for his birthday. How'd they go? We got him a nice-ass Solomon. Right. Well, well, so he had a, we bought him like his first number was a little Burton. Right. Yeah. 
and it's a kid's board. So there's no metal edge or anything on it. Okay. Well, bro, that shit's fucking rough. Sketchy. R- well, it's like a fucking, You hit ice and you're like, good yeah, luck. It's a skateboard yeah. on snow, right? Yep. So we got him. <laughs> he outgrew it this year. He's too tall. So we got him a Salomon that's like the It's up to here. So it's a little tall. Oh, yeah. But it'll sure. last two years. Yeah. Where his other one lasted one. And these snowboards are $200. Because, because you know, I don't know why. Apparently kids don't snowboard. No. Come to find out. Five-year-olds don't snowboard a whole lot. No, they go to the X Games after a while. That's they true. Keep going. Yeah, Sean White <laughs> yeah. throws his orange hair out and does 18 flips in the air. Fred, whatever his name was. Yeah. So we take him to, this is the second time. Last night we went to Snow Snake. Yep. And he's fucking murking shit. Dude, uh, Snow Snake is hands down the best place ever to learn to snowboard. It's not They've got terrible. that long they got ass a belt. Uh, bunny hill. Well, they have a belt now. Oh, really? So now if you want to get up the long bunny hill, you go rope, which yep. fucking blows. Yep. I have to haul him up. Kids don't belt, get that. Right? Yep. And so, but now they have a belt that takes you halfway up the bunny hill. Oh, perfect. You just, you literally glide your snowboard onto it. It just hauls your ass up. So anyways, we do that for a while. And I told him, I go, listen, dude, we're going to try the tow rope twice. Tow ropes are fucking rough, It's rough, yeah. And I'm like, we're going to try the tow rope twice. If you do good, then we'll figure it out. He did fucking incredible. He makes it literally almost to the top on his third try. And that's a long ass fucking rope. Makes it almost to the top. And then he gets up and he goes, I'm going to go down now. I'm like, well, let me get in front of you because I got to stop him. We're oh, learning you're how a to, bullet. We're learning yeah. how to stop, right? Yeah. Well, because if it's that tall, him yeah. flexing at the turn, yeah. you're just a bullet, right? <laughs> and and it's a new snowboard. It was waxed, bro. I put a snowboard on the fucking snow nice. and it ran away. I had to go chase it, and so I go down, and then he passes me, and then he just turns and stops and goes down, turns and stops. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? We can do this now. So I look at him. I go, if you can do that one more time, we'll go off the chairlift. We don't have mountains. We've got hills. Yeah, we have hills here. Yeah, Snow Snake is a really small fucking place. Oh, that's too. a hill hill. But like yeah. I said, it's the best place ever to learn because they literally have, like, is it still like a quarter mile on their bunny hill? No. It feels like forever. It did when we were younger, for sure. It might be it. But, so, dude, I put him, I go, if you go down, the, if we do this one more time, you go down, we go up the ski lift. Now, here's the shitty part about Snow Snake. It's either. This or this. Exactly. <laughs> so he does it again. Nate Russell Knight, buddy, thanks for being here. He does it again. We go up the ski lift, and we get off, me, him, and Ricky, and I carry him off the ski lift. We get to the top, and he looks, and he goes, I can see everything from up here. I'm like, yeah. yeah. So you've never, I, you know, he's never been up a ski lift. So, bro, he shreds down the hill like a little fucking pro at five years old. This guy, like, flies by Ricky, almost dies, and goes, he's a lot better than I am. And grown man. And I'm like, yeah, hundred percent. Brad almost died there. Remember? <laughs> yeah. On the tabletop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he literally almost broke his back. It's uh-huh. the only time we've ever seen Brad on muscle relaxers. Yeah. We're like, we're going snowboarding. He's like, you guys are going without me. He's in the fucking car. We weren't, we were going to your parents <laughs> to get the, the snowmobile out of the river. And he goes, he just leaned forward and goes, you guys are going snowboarding without me. He was like, Brad, we're, <laughs> we're not going snowboarding. Oh. What? He was like, why did you guys say you're going snowboarding without me? He's like, Brad, I need you Dial it back on the fucking opiates right now. <laughs> Did you get off those muscle relaxers for a sec? So we go down, and he shreds, and he does fucking great the whole time. But we were leaving. He's done. We stayed. We snowboarded for four fucking hours with mm-hmm. him. He took one break. I'm like, I'm going to go up, <sighs> and I just want to I just want to go up. By, I'm gonna, you're, they're going to get in the car. I'm going to go up by myself. Yeah. I go up. Bro, there's something. It's a 20-second line when you're going. Right. <laughs> there, there's something weirdly meditative. About snowboarding and chill. Yeah. It's just so relaxing. You can just flow. You can just chill. Like when we were in Colorado, right. we could only go for like a minute before we literally just collapsed because we didn't have the lung capacity. Right. Yeah. But that was amazing. Dude, there's just... And and we haven't... Ricky and I haven't skied. We did. We went twice last year, but never without Holden. Yeah. So it was always tra- like learning. Yep. This is the first time I snowboarded alone on a, like kind of a hill. The hills are steep there. They're not fucking long, but they're steep. You get two big drops. Yeah. Beep. And I'm like, Beep. bro, I'm just fucking chilling. I feel so relaxed right now. It was fucking incredible. M&M's over Skittles? Oh, what the sugar fuck? Kitty. Do you hate happiness? Oh, uh, well. Peanut you do butter. Like, peanut, I was going to say the peanut butter or the brownies. Oh. I have the brownies. Fuck, are those good? The caramel ones are good too. Actually, now that you say that, you know what? Peanut ones are really good. You know, it's like Jack Daniels. Everything other than the fucking the normal, standard the is good. Are shit, by the way. If you ever make it to Traverse City, Low Bar is an awesome whiskey bar. That's a really good piece of information. Never heard of it. Me either. And I've been to Traverse City several times. Oh, yeah. Damn, dude. That's so fucking interesting. Tommy D for sure, man. Hundred percent. It was crazy. I'm, I looked at him like, bro. Give me five. You're fucking pro. What the hell's going on here? And then he's like jumping around. I go, okay, let's give it a minute before we start trying to do tricks and shit. All right. I live where M and M's are made. Where the hell are they made? 
Where are they? Where's Mars at? Oh, the Krispies are good, too. No, I don't like the Krispies a lot, really? dude. They're okay. Oh, you don't like pretzels. You're I, a hater. I think there are just better. I think there's way better M&M. Um, well, Dan's going to say hi Chew. Starburst or hi Chew. He oh literally has a fun. bag of hi Chews over there in there. Holy clothes. Those are Holden's, but I mean, they're out here. <laughs> yeah, they're yours. Well, say that right. They literally, we went and saw the, oh, bro, let's talk about this. Holy shit. I saw a movie. <gasps> movie theaters are open. What? Oh, my fuck. You, and nobody's going. Perfect. Now's the time. Would you watch? We had the whole theater to ourselves, swear to God. Okay. In Would the you? VIP seats. I brought my watch? fucking rag proper. I brought some Lost Monarch. I got holding got some high chews. We went and saw Pinocchio. Did you know there was a new Pinocchio? Hold up okay. to that. Nashville and West New Jersey. Northwest New Jersey. Those are weird places. Huh. Nashville doesn't, I guess, surprise me, but New Jersey kind of does. Anyways, there's uh, a new Pinocchio? Bro, okay. I got tricked. I got duped into this. There's a monster. We gave holding options. We said, we'll take you to a movie because NCG's open. Let's fucking do it. Yeah. Night Angel, a lot of stuff's open, man. He's Honestly. Huh? He's in Dayton. Night Angel? Yeah. He's not in Michigan right now. Oh. He's is in, that where he's from? He's in uh, Stan, which is overseas. Okay. Um, but I was trying to not dox you or anything. Yeah, he can say it if you want. Yeah. But um, he's not here right now. But anyway, Screwball's not that bad. Screwball? I, if you like flavor whiskey, it's yeah. good whiskey. If you can do the sugar part of flavored whiskey. Oh, Mamba's. Mamba's? Yes. Fuck. Oh, get the fuck out of here with the Starburst shit. Starburst is among the worst fucking candy. It, it is It is immediately. Now, I'll give you the Mamba's high chew argument because they're a little Mamba's different. Mamba's pretty good. I get it. They're both great. Starburst and Now and Laters are both fucking trash. Now and Laters are literally the poorest candy. You're going to argue with the fat guy here? Yeah, I've, I've eaten more fucking fruity candy <laughs> today than you've seen at a gas station. Um,. Things are closed in other states? Uh, yeah. Hella closed. Fuck, he's in fucking Florida where everybody's just making out with COVID. So anyways, um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys are still doing that down there or not. Okay. Are you going to make fun of you on yours? And then I just hit a fucking spot. A spot? Where, well, I haven't touched mine in a few minutes. I've so. been touching mine. Pink Starburst is good, but they're not as good as any high chew, and they're not as good as any Mamba. Yeah, but how many yellows I have to eat to get to, like, one pink? Of Mambas? No, this, no, the Starburst. This is why you go with high chew. You make it in you while they're cutting your hair. <laughs> Bro, is there something wrong with that? All right. Who who was that? Roger, Roger Mays. Hey, who was? Hey, is, maybe. If I go to the right place. If I go to Sean's place, I'm getting a beer. I try the Redwood Empire. Damn, dude. Well, it's good. I, Redwood Empire is still kind of a sleeper, honestly. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I 100% still think it is. Yeah. People still aren't buying all of it. The problem with that type of candy is having to unwrap each individual piece. Completely agree with you, Matt. I completely agree. Matt, Just give uh, Matt, me a stick you and I are with on the same page. Yes. <laughs> you and I are on the same page. Laffy Taffy figured it out. Just give me a whole stick of fucking pink. Yeah. Arr. Yep. Done. What the fuck? Have you guys not had high chews or mambas? Because if you think Starbursts are good comparably, you're I fucking like Starburst. crazy, man. And Mambas, shit stomp Starburst. Mambas aren't even close. And high chews, I would say, are equivalent to Mambas. Um, so Ricky tells me movie theaters open. One of my favorite things in the whole fucking world is watching movies in a theater. I don't know why I don't, it, it doesn't make any sense. I like to go there. I, there's something about being in the movie theater. You're not at home and you can just fucking get away from everything at the same time. You can watch a bad movie in a movie theater Bro, and still have a good time. I, yeah. I have such low standards for enjoying a movie in a theater right because I'm in a theater, right? Record 22 beats 24 all day. Joey, thanks for being here, dude. Hey, Joey, thanks for the game, man. That was dude, fun. That was a lot of fun. And thank you for thanks all the for gifts. the smokes. They were amazing. Thanks for have, the dots. I'm going to have all those tomorrow. All those cigars. So No, you won't. <laughs> no, you will not. Bro, you oh, sent dude. some hitter shit, and I appreciate it. Yeah. You. Um, If you find a haystack port, I'll immediately buy it for 150 or under. Yeah. So, anyways, the theater's open. Mon so there's not a bunch in theaters right now, unfortunately, because yeah. there aren't as many movies as normal. Shocker. Yeah. Most of them are going to Netflix, HBO right. Max, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Disney Plus. So in theaters, we need like a kind of a kid's movie. Holden's five. Yeah. Okay, That's there's right. Monster Hunter. You'd like that. Remember that game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought, dude, That's Holden. That's the uh, Resident Evil, Evil chick. Oh, yeah, it that. is, yeah. isn't it? Shit. Uh, I didn't realize that. 
Alec, name, that's why you take. Can't think of her right I now. I just took my rag proper flask full of lost monarch, and dude, hundred percent, I agree with you. Nope, not gonna come. So what? Her name. Oh, okay. So um, not a problem. Enjoy them. We'll do it again around hundred k. That'd be that'd be fucking awesome, dude. I appreciate you, man. You're amazing. Okay, so. NCG's open. Ricky goes, here's the movies. There's Monster Hunter. There's Pinocchio. Someone tell me her name, please. And it's going to drive me nuts. There's like one other person, right? Or one other movie. So I'm like, let's watch the trailers. So we watched the Monster Hunter trailer. The Pinocchio is a live action movie. <laughs> Sorry. Are you the Good Jordan? Shepherd. Jeez, yeah. Oh, Not true. Me. I watched The Good Shepherd in the... Yeah, Mia Jonovich. There you go. Uh, in theaters, I won the slip my wrist with a spork. Why? Lilu from The Fifth God. Element. Yeah. Tommy D, I thought those were the flasks. Oh, fucking Tommy, damn it. Anyways. Why is he in here? One of our patrons thought that our reg proper was our gift, our reward, our patron reward. 12 months. And I'm like, bro, we can't afford that. They're like $40, $50 flasks. To us. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we have to ship them again. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Jamie Lee Curtis. But, okay, so anyways, <laughs> I felt bad because I'm like, bro, we we just made a video with those flasks. Bird we didn't. Ben? We have not never sold them or anything. Um, Mia Milkova. Oh my gosh, John. Okay, bro, you can't be naming people like that in here. Fucking. Okay, I need you to listen to my fucking. Movie. I'm listening. You know what? Are you ready to listen? I'm listening. Okay. Yeah, you went to Pinocchio. Check. No, I want to tell you how we got to it because it matters a little bit. Okay, it was either Monster Hunter. Yeah, Pinocchio or a third movie. I don't know what the third one was. Fuck it. So, anyways, sounds like it really mattered. Yeah. So we watch the trailers. Ricky and I watch them. And I go, man, when we were playing, remember when we were in the Monster Hunter? Yeah. Holden loved playing Monster Hunter with me. So I'm like, he might kind of like, if he remembers playing Monster Hunter, he might be in the Monster Hunter movie because he played the game. So Ricky shows Holden the trailers. The Pinocchio is a live action Pinocchio. How do you do that? I didn't know that. Have you seen a trailer for it? No. Me neither. This is why it feels kind of weird. And it says it came out in December. So it's been out for a month. Well, not even. What's it? The 18th, 20th? So, it's been a month. The movie's been out for a fucking month, and I haven't even heard of it. And it's Pinocchio, so it should be a big fucking deal. And it's Disney? I I, who made I, it? I honestly don't. I still, right now, saw the movie. Don't know I don't who know who it. owns uh, Pinocchio, I guess. Right. So, Ricky goes and shows holding the trailers. Okay. Is that a movie for five-year-olds? Neither of these are movies for five-year-olds. Come to find out. We found out in the theater. Pinocchio's really dark. Well, you should I see mean, this it, one. It's oh, you should see this one. Real dark. Oh my fuck, bro! Now we'll get. Uh, listen, Jordan. It's because Sean keeps reading chat, and then we get distracted. That's why these stories are so. Funny. I apologize, but I'm I'm trying to be here with you people. I hate this motherfucker. You get it. I'm not telling the story anymore. Fuck this movie, dude. So it's like uh, Hunchback Notre, Notre Dame, like the actual story. Of that super fucking dark. Disney yeah, yeah, likes yeah. to tape super right, fucking dark sure. shit. And they're like, Holy let's make a kid movie Hunchback. under this. Yeah. On Disney. Real story, though. Not the Real book dark. type shit. Yeah. Okay. So we go. We fucking see that. We get in the theater. I'm chilling. I'm happy. We got our shit. We got the whole theater ourselves. I'm like, this is the best case scenario ever. This is exactly what you want. We got the VIP seats. They're heated. They lean back type shit. We're sitting. Yeah, what the classic core line switcheroo. 100%. This is what happens. We get in there. Movie starts. I'm like... Are the words desync to the guys? It's uh, Geppetto is talking. Oh, is it dubbed? Geppetto's like, and then he's like, hello. I'm like, what the? F-? I look at Ricky and go, what, what was that? It's a dub movie. And she goes, it's in a different language. And I go, what? And then I look at him and they have really thick. Now, now what I can hear, they have super thick Italian accents. What you can fucking see is they're speaking fucking Italian or French or some shit. That I don't fucking speak. Got it. You right? don't know. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Could have been Spanish, really. Just wrap her up. You don't know. Spanish. <laughs> Bro, this is so fucking crazy. The movie is so fucking crazy. And it's one of, and I hate dubbed movies. Yeah. I looked at Ricky and I was like, this is your fault. I'm. You've ruined my entire movie going experience. I haven't Did been to you, a You movie. said you watched a trailer for this? Yes. And you didn't realize then? A hundred percent. Maybe that's on me. Now that you say it like that, fuck. My bad. I hate the fucking story of Pinocchio, by you the way. You know how many times I've watched, like, a trailer on Netflix, mm-hmm. and as soon as they it's Talk. desynced, I'm like, nope. I don't feel like reading for two hours. I need hours. to rewatch the trailer now. Yeah. So anyways, whatever. I think when I was watching the trailer, I'm like, I hate Pinocchio. I don't want to fucking see this movie. I hate the show, the movie, the Disney movie. I fucking hate it. Mm-hmm. Bro, 
we get 15, 20 minutes into this dub movie, and I'm fucking in. I've watched two dub movies in my life I liked. This is the second one. Okay. What were the other two? No, there's only one other one. Oh, this what's the, the other second. one? The other dub movie was, um, oh, Ricky and I were just talking about it yesterday. What the fuck was it? I'll think about it. Was it the platform? Is the platform dubbed? Yep. That movie. The, the one where it goes that. down yes. through. The food. The Netflix one. Fucking yeah. love that movie. Such I, I a good movie. I think that one's dubbed. Ooh, it's so good. I'm pretty sure. Because I wanted to watch that Ragnarok series. Is it dubbed? Ne- yeah. It's rough. It's, it's and just, then the other one is like. Kind of throws you off. The right? Rain or something like that. Like, interesting concept, but it dubbed. It was like, I don't know if I can do this because I can't you do can't anything else. Yeah. No, no. Like, I can't sit around. I'm like, if I talk to Rick or Ricky, if I talk to Gabby or something, oh, and it was like, I wanted to say, like, talk know, to your I wife. Know. And it was like, but if I turn and do anything, like, I have to have a 100% undivided no, focus on this. No, you're not reading. This. No, in that you are. In this Pinocchio note, they're speaking English. They had English voice actors speak over the part. That's dubbed. I'm thinking subbed. You're thinking, a yeah, you're thinking, like, captions. Yep. So, anyways, he's talking. Yep, that's why Bob Beth Berman should have dubbed or subbed. Bro, thick yeah. Italian accent, right? How do you know that? What? That they have thick Italian. Can you hear it? Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm I, telling you. They're, so are you reading? No. Th- there's voice actors speaking over their... So that's dubbed. So yes. you can't tell that they're speaking Italian. Their mouths don't match their words it could be at all. An, it could be Russian for all you know. I know, but the, the movie's based in Italy. Let me just help you out. His name his name's Geppetto? Nah. It is. Sounds uh, Ethiopian. <laughs> they don't look Ethiopian. All right. They look like Italians. <laughs> they look like very poor Italians, actually. He's very, he wears the same Like they're clothes. poppers? Yeah, sure. Whatever that means. So anyways, the movie kicks off 20 minutes in. I'm fucking past the dumb <laughs> dub shit, right? I'm past it. The movie is one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life. I swear to God, I'd go see it again in How theaters about for tomorrow. a five-year-old? Little, little, uh, <laughs> I, I had to look at it and be like, that's not real. Don't, that's not real. Now, bro, it's the most whimsical, like, mystical... It's, it, it'll, like, kind of remind you, like, Alice in Wonderland type shit. Because all the people in the... All the characters... You've seen normal Pinocchio. Yep. There's, like, the fox and the cat. There's the fairy. Oh, you're thinking Alice in Wonderland. No, I'm not. I'm thinking <laughs> Pinocchio. There's all these characters, but they're people in the movie, but they're, like, meshed with an animal. Okay. I don't know the last time I've seen Pinocchio. So, like... Uh, you, what I'm now do learning. Do you remember uh, the cricket, Jiminy? Ending sucked. Fuck. All right, good. There you go. Watch that. Don't fucking watch it. You know, um, whims- I, dude, whimsical is literally one of the only words I can use to explain this fucking movie. It's one of the most beautiful cinematography type movies I've ever seen in my life. Every shot is fucking gorgeous. Like, it's so well fucking put together. It's insane, man. I swear to God. I swear to God, it's so fucking good. So furry. There's like, Jiminy Cricket is in it. Uh-huh. And it's a, it's a, uh, it's a little person. That is correct. Yep. But he's painted as a cricket and he's got antennas on his head. What the fuck, dude? And it, he's fucking hilarious because he like pops up and he's a, he's a human being. It's not a cricket. So he pops up like in their rafters. He's like, Hey, <laughs> it's a fucking person. You're like, what the fuck? He just comes out of nowhere. Oh, it's so good. But. He turns into a donkey at one point. I'm not spoiling fucking Pinocchio for anybody here. He turns into a donkey. They try to drown the donkey, but Pinocchio's a donkey. So you're watching Pinocchio drown. Why? Because they tie a brick to his leg and throw him in the fucking ocean. I don't know if this happened in real Pinocchio or not. But this happens in this movie. And Holden, I, Holden like, I look over and he's getting tears in his eyes. And I go, listen, that's not real. And Holden goes, well, it looks like he's, <laughs> it looks. Bro, I felt still so a bad. huge cricket. Bro, I, I felt so I, <laughs> I felt I felt so fucking bad. No, I wasn't high. Freedom. Fuck. Holy shit. I feel like we need to left turn this. We need to talk about something else. No. It's amazing. I can't talk about this anymore. It's so good. I can't share this ride that you went on. Bro. About Pinocchio. Well, he's got this fairy that she's like a fairy godmother that overlooks him or like watches over him. I told Holden, I go, the fairy's going to save him. Pinocchio doesn't die in the middle of the fucking movie. We don't need CPS in chat. Everybody re fucking lax, okay? It's not a horror movie. It's so fucking good. Wait, hold on. How many? There, why are there, up and stabbed Dan. Why the fuck are there 400 people in here watching this shit? Okay. 
That's what I keep wondering. That's why I want to turn this conversation around. So. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Old dick nose. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this. Oh, man. Okay, real talk. Yeah. You don't wear masks for, like, extended periods of time. Correct. My ears are fucking sore again. From wearing one? Yeah. From pulling? God damn. All right, chat. You guys can see this. Where's my screen thinger? Now. All right. Well, fuck. Said, wrong screen. I'll, I'll change it. Hold on. Just put it on that screen, dummy. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change this. Yeah. All right. Chat. This is the trailer for the movie. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. Can you guys hear that? Tell me if you can hear that. Well, I Are can't. they hearing it through the soundboard and not the computer? No. Yeah, they are. Dan's working on it. Dan's working on it. it. Let's try now. Fuck. You guys aren't hearing it. I want you guys to see this shit. Oh, you can hear it? Here, watch. Oh, they said if I shut up, they could hear it. All right, I'll shut up. I got you. I am a shot. My shot is born. From one day to the next. What do you mean from one day? From one minute to the next. Watch me, eh? And one and two. If you do like me, in two or three days, you'll be walking by your... Pinocchio! Who are you? Pinocchio. Ah, I know a certain place called the Field of Miracles. <laughs> Put him in prison! Oh, call me prison! <laughs> What's going on with Widows? You guys get the fucking gist. Let me hide the old screen ski. There we go. Dude, Nailed that's it. one of the weirdest trailers I think I've ever watched in yep. my fucking so, life. So, here's the thing. Holden sees that. Okay, don't... T- okay. Holy shit. I what has my life come to? I keep asking myself that now. Listen. It's... I swear to God, it is one of the best fucking movies I've ever seen in my life. For real. It's so good. The story is so well done. Now... Come to find out, that on Rotten Tomatoes has like a kajillion percent from everyone. It was made in December, or put out in December, from overseas. And they translate, it's only in French and English, I think, or the two languages it's in. And it's fucking incredible. He, he did get eaten by a dinosaur whale. That part's actually happy when he gets swallowed by the, di- the dinosaur whale. You know what though. we should do? Yeah. You can do Okay. Very obviously a foreign dub film. Yeah, you're right. Okay, Tommy D. My friend works in social services. <clears throat> well, he works in CPS. No, he's moved. Oh, damn it. He was my out. I mean, he still knows people. <laughs> Hot buttery rolls. <laughs> he said I think I had time to an undersea break. <laughs> you know what? So someone asked about this earlier. The the thinger? Yeah. The the calendar? Put yeah. it. Can you show it to them? Yeah, Put I can. it up there and do, move the chat down here so we can see the chat then. Let's look at the calendar together. Bro, I swear to God, that movie's fucking incredible. And if you can I want watch to it, watch down. it. Okay, what you should do is orient this so it's up and down. I'm tired of this left and right bullshit. Hey, bitch, do you know how to do it? Yeah. Then do it. Okay, I will after this. Me too. Then you know how to do it. Do you think I don't hold, wait, pause your fucking life? Do you not think I know how to do that? No. I've worked in IT for 32 years. Doesn't mean shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the Scroll old to the top. release calendar, because someone asked earlier. Make that bigger. Yeah, I'm going to have to. If you just smack it to the top of the screen, it'll smack it to the bottom for you. Do it that way, too. All right. So. 
I think that's for real. Fuck. This is what we normally look at when we're looking at releases for the year. Actually, we've got some of that coming. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, we hopefully. One of those. We're supposed to get one of those from Ezra. Yeah. Uh, I would like that a lot. I, lo- I love the normal standard Ezra books. So not a lot in January. Well, this is all like not everything's out yet either. Yeah. So. This is a more boring <laughs> calendar. <laughs> it's super blurry. Mm. Is it really? The screen is super blurry. Is it blurry for anyone else? Oh, no. You need to squint more. Um, literally nothing in February. Perfect. Oh, new batch proof. Okay. Oh, it's a low. Look at how low it 119? is. 119? That's the lowest I've ever seen. I mean, the last one was 123. He said it's fine. Okay. 123? Yeah. Okay. 123.6 was 2020, oh, okay. and we liked that one a lot. Is that it so far? Yeah. I mean, year? so barrel oh, no, 28, no. maybe. Whatever. <sighs> Blade and Bow 22 year. Oh, they're doing oh, it again. Oh, okay. Blood Oath Pack 7. Excited for that. Fit Spring. Sure. <sighs> All right. No, they're gonna keep, people keep buying them. They'll keep like, doing this them. seems so bleak. I mean, the first half of the year is always Well, because, no, no, no. It's, it's just because the this Hunt. calendar will fill out as we move forward. Because well, when they don't put stuff on here until TTB approves it. Yeah. So, like, they get the new labels and shit, and then they'll update it. Yep. So, from there, I mean, like, we have one in May. All right. For now. Yeah. There will be more. That's one. Damn, I that's mean, late in the year. For the first June? batch, yeah. Fuck! Holy shit, that is late. That's so ooh, late. that sounds amazing. Everybody's jumping on that. Oak. Masters keep toasted. Oak. So June will be the month in which. So this is when these are released to distributors, not when they'll be on shelves. Also, I mean, I can say a new each other is probably great. Who knows? We'll never see a bottle of that. Michigan will get three bottles, and they will hopefully. Yeah. And They'll go into raffles or something. Maybe. Yeah. So uh, we haven't seen any 15 yet. So to say 16, probably good. You know what the shitty part is? That E.H. Taylor, realistically, should be <laughs> so available because yeah. it's only 10 years old and 100 proof. Man, I can't wait to not find the E.H. Taylor. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that. True. like I said, that's going to be most of the world. I, I bet that this is a super low bottle count. 12,000 maybe. Right. What? No, the E.H. Taylor? Yeah. Warehouse C, 10 years? I don't know. But it's 10 years old. That's not that old. And it's 100 proof, not barrel proof. So maybe... 20,000? I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I, I hope there's a lot. But... but um, I'm 101 ex- proof toasted. So Is there anything that's that high for a toasted barrel? Other than Mictors? Mictors? Yeah, barrel proof. Okay. I'm on board um, with that. What's Another that? barrel. Old Forcer's 93 proof. The Elijah Craig's low proof. Woodford Double Oak. Low proof. 90. Yep. Yeah. Yellowstone yeah. Limited. So I'm jaded nope. because of the we're, 2020. We're skipping that one. And then we're already September. See, nothing's on this And it's list like, yet, all right, man. cool. King this Kentucky. Is, all right. This is stuff that comes out every year right yeah, now. Yeah, interested in something. Uh, depending on what Chapter 5 is going to be, if they do another rice grain, if that's like an oat grain, right. I don't know. Not excited about that. Birthday bourbon. So, like, nothing has really populated up here. For me to be like, oh, I hear this is coming out. I'm super excited about it. Wait, the old Forcer like, one's not on here yet. All these are standard releases that you'll get every year. Look at no releases, barrel. All right, I'm gonna bring this back. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the? I gotta find that old Forester one. I gotta see what that shit is. It's not on that list. So it, there's not saying that nothing will come out this year that I won't be excited about. But right now we're yeah, in that we're announced. we're in that stage that uh, we don't know. Hasn't been announced yet. I'll look befuddled. Yeah, because, I don't know. Bro, the, that list looks like that almost every January. And then, like, by f- the middle, late February, maybe March, it'll be, like, hyper-populated That's comparable. true. ECVPs aren't on there. Old Forester. I don't know if they ever, like, wow, that's some hype shit right there. The ECVPs aren't on there, but stags are. Either Sazrak submitted that. Yeah. Or... Okay, what's this new... I'm trying to find the new Old Forester. That new new? It was on Instagram every fucking where, dude. Really? Yeah. I I actually don't know what it is, so... It's something. The problem... It it shares the same label as the 150 did. 
Oh. It's got that is it, white. Is it in the brown bottle? I don't know if it's in the brown bottle. It's got that white label. What nope. is going on? Oh, that was an Instagram story. That's yourself talking. That was me. I hate you. Old Forest 151st anniversary. Is that what it is? <laughs> no, that's no. pretty sure they're lying. Did Mash and Drum put it out? Who uh, put it out? Deathless Dog said the new Old Forester is going to be 375. Is that real? Do you know what the name was? Do you remember what the name was? I'm trying to find the name. Yeah, Whiskey Samurai is supposed to be like 40 bucks, dude. And it's not that limited either, so I don't, that's ridiculous. Ezra 7 for 130? Yeah, it is supposed to be 40. Holy shit. Old Forester for sure wasn't the one that published the fucking. Man. Man, I can't find Community it. Community Agenda? Fix the world, right? The community agenda. Uh, yeah, that's what uh, Zachary Jones said. What's the community agenda? Fix the world. Hang out with people. So here's another thing that's coming out this year. Old Forcer 117, is that what it, yeah, the 117 series. So Angel's Envy is launching a new thing, and they're barrel picks. Okay. Angel's oh, Envy. stag picks are coming out. Yeah, I cool. guess I'm excited about those. I, um, you know. It would be great to find one. That'd be cool. So, Angels Envy Barrel from their new private High selection Angel program. Share bottle barrels. Um, they dro- Oh, it just started. Dropped in Louisville today. This one adds an additional oh. 20 proof to the standard release. Came from a single port cask. So, it's Angels Port Finished, single barrel, 20 proof higher. I'm interested in that. What's the proof on it then? Um, what, 110? 105, something like that. Are they 90? 90, I, I think. I was going to say, I don't know the actual 90. proof on those. What does it say? Yeah. Yep, so the proof on this one's 106.2. I like that. A 106 proof? Dan's Instagram messages agenda? No, well, I was posting that we were live streaming tonight. That's what um, it was. Okay, man, I don't know. I would Forrester like to... What? 117 series. I would like to find an old Forester 100 pick, like the 100 proof picks. Yeah. That'd, that'd be, be cool to yeah. find one of those. We haven't seen... Any of those yet? Um, I can't even find the 117 thing you guys are talking about. I know I saw it on Instagram, and I had no idea who. There are bottles that like that were on that list. I'd love to find any BTAC. I guess in 2021 would be awesome. Any of the King Kentucky that we didn't get to see this year. King Kentucky would be the most. Um, The Russells, the new Russells, um, was it 2003? That shit. Larceny A121 dropped last Friday, Michigan. Look at. We f- we finally have a C920 sitting right in front of us that's not open. And right here. <laughs> and we'll, we're going to do a review on it. So, Kay Harry sent us this. And uh, because we don't have one and we can't find them up here can't right now. Stop me now. Check your Insta DMs. Buddy, there's, I'm, I'm going to say this in the nicest way possible. There's a shit ton of them. Um, I would... Man. Leo? Is it under Leo? I'm trying to find it. I would imagine that a uh, Stag Jr. store pick, if we even see one, would be incredible. Minimum Hundy. If we see one? Yeah. Probably. Probably. Min. That's it. They, they sliding us a deal, Hundy. My store is OF Barrel Proof Pick, if you want me to drive up to Michigan. <laughs> Pro. I bet they, like, if... If they're actually around, like a store gets them in Michigan, 120. Easy. I mean, it depends who gets it. Does our, buddy, does our buddy get it? I think a hundy, even buddy price. I'm okay at 100. Yeah. 120, you're kind of pushing. Yeah. 200, what the fuck are we doing here? Okay, Leo, I found it. There, thanks, buddy. Okay. Old Forester, the 117 series. This is the new Old Forester. Okay. The 117 series, High Angel Share Barrels, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, batch number one, release date March 2021. Proof 110, 55%. It isn't a 375 mil. Okay. Um, Selected by Master Taster Jackie Zykin. That's all the new. Probably enjoy it then. Dude, 375, 50. huh? Maybe there'll be more of them. It's trying to do a saffle. Yeah, maybe there'll be... Well, I mean, hopefully there'll be a lot of it then. It's not barrel hope, proof. yeah. It does share that same label, though. It's the same I'm, label as the 150s. I'm just not a fan with that. Yeah. I hope it, I hope it's in a clear bottle, personally. If they're doing 375s, it could be in a clear bottle. Because it's could. not in that bottle. It, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But 
The Bourbon News. Uh, Leo just sent me a picture of that. What's Old Forester having at 375? Literally, that I know of, nothing. I can't. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm just, sure they well, have the one, like the 86 does, proof, the hundred series. Yeah. That none of their whiskey rose in 375. Does Ron Foreman have anything that's in a Jacks? Okay, maybe they just the Jack single barrel. No, oh, that's right, such I would, a, Yeah, never mind. The Jack single barrel 375 is the same yeah. bottle shape. I was gonna say the maybe they ones. can rip off a yeah. bottle that they already have, but if they're gonna do 375s, it'll be a one off. 375 is weird, man. If they're high angel share, stands the reason there would be less juice available. But they're in 375s and they're 110 proof. Could be Jackie doing Jackie things that is like, all right, well I want more of this out in the market. That's true. Could be. Definitely could be. Why don't you say Opperman when we know? Oh, uh, there's multiples. There's multiple Oppermans. That's that A shit right there. This smells so much better than B. Holy shit. Now, we'll review this at some point. B was so. more Heaven Hill, though. Like, literally right on the mark of what Heaven Hill is. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we'll review that. We could review that in, like, what? Not next week, but the following? That could be our next Monday that we shoot. We already shot one for next week. <sighs> That's rich. Bro, you can't give too much away, bro. We got to review that. It could, it'll could, it be open for a couple weeks now, too, which will be nice. Ooh, that That'll be perfect. Hot. Uh, I don't think Saffle, Saffle was, like, semi-limited, but it seemingly, like, sat on shelves because it's a $50, 375 or whatever. So. That reminds me a lot of A. Yeah? Yeah. It's definitely not like B. Put it that way. Nope. That reminds me of why I liked A. Uh-huh. When, it, when it came out and it was like, okay, that restores my faith in Larceny a little bit more. Maybe I'll like the barrel proofs. B was like, eh. C might bring it back. I'm excited to see what that does with a little bit of air now. Leave it for us behind the scenes on Patreon for which one? What you talking about, buddy? Uh, a was most complicated. B was super peanut. C was most balanced. C's my fave, Aiden said. I, dude, the A, when that first hit. We were excited. Yeah. yeah. But I've always said we go against against the grain on Heaven Hill products mm-hmm. the most. True. Those are always ones that we like them. People are like, that's awful. True. And we're just like, all right, more for us. It's just, I think what happens is people who really like Heaven Hill go into bees, and they're like, dude, this is, we're back to Heaven Hill. Because Jason is a big fan I, of Heaven Hill, and he loves, like him and Fred both love the, the bees a lot because mm-hmm. they're very Heaven Hill. I think that um, it's Bourbon Night does too. Yeah. I think that they generally like bees a lot. Like well, the, they like Bookers a lot. The so Elijah makes Craig sense, Barrel yeah. Proofs and stuff. I think they like me. All right, everybody. It's time to shut sh- her down. It's time to shut her down. Yeah. Um. All right. B just hit the heart. Dude, B was fucking so nutty, man. Um. That was so nutty. It's been a good night. All Thanks right. Thanks for being here. I'm going to close. Can we close both these? and close these. Do that. Get back here. Get to here. All right, we're good. All right. There's still 400 of you guys, crazy people in here. I, I love appreciate you guys. you guys. Thank you guys for being here and sticking around, hanging out. Absolutely. Um, We'll be here Thursday. We got a video shot for Thursday. and then Yeah, that's going to be a fun one, we too. We already shot Monday's video. I think people will like Thursday. And then it's when, a question we get asked a lot. When Hey, Jamie, thanks for being here. I'm glad that uh, you could stop by for a little bit. Um, Twitch next, not tonight. Got to fucking wake up in seven hours. Don't yep, worry about hours. that. So, um, what I wanted to say was, how what, long? What before time you guys... is it in Hawaii? Uh, it's four o'clock. I mean, they've got to be four hours behind us. I have no idea what time it is. Well, if California is three, they're more west than California. They've got to be like four hours behind us. You know what's funny? I never even thought about. I know, like China and Australia and Europe are different times, like a lot of different times. Uh-huh. Like it's way off. I never thought about different time zones with America than the three. I'm just like, yeah, there's I don't I don't know if they're on uh Pacific time or not. I'm gonna go live on IG if you do <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay, yeah, they said it's seven, that's four hours. Stanley, put your uh IG in chat or something, buddy. So people if people want to hang out, they can stop by. Um Yeah, Night Angel, thanks for the morning fun. Thanks for being here, dude. Also, um what was I gonna say? I don't even remember. I'm thank sorry. You, thank I you guys for being it. here. It's fine. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate the support. You guys are fucking amazing. We'll be here again next Tuesday. It's 3 p.m. in Japan. Shit. That real? It's fucking daytime. Go to work. God damn. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. I love you guys very much. Thanks for being here. We'll see you guys on Thursday. Thanks for a nice chill stream. Yeah. Making fun of Dan not knowing words and Fuck. 
not being able to do push-ups and shit. Okay. <laughs> Eastern, right. Central, Mountain, Pacific. Dan only knows three. Yeah, because the mountain one doesn't fucking count. That's why. <laughs> we all agree, right? We all agree the mountain one's dumb. Everybody either lives in Central, Pacific, or Eastern. The mountain one. And then that li- one little. Yeah, three people live in the mountain time zone. All right. Thanks for entertaining me, Dan. Sean, do better. That, Zachary Jones, you know what? You're fucking amazing. He gives you so many backhanded comments. I know. <laughs> it's like, all right, cool. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, Sean, guys. Sean, check the Gmail, said Ron. All right. We'll do. See you guys later.